Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some cheeky Icarus. What were we doing? I think we were building a stone base, weren't we? Now, I did, if I remember, I said I'd take that antibiotic for the pneumonia. So we should be logging in in the morning in the back cave, shouldn't we? So I just need to run out and then go back. So it should be morning and we shouldn't have pneumonia in case there's a bear outside, so... I did remember to do it just after the stream. I said I'd take it, but I didn't want to take it while we were having the uh, the end of stream natter. I didn't want to take it, get rid of the pneumonia, and then end up with pneumonia again two minutes later. Uh, good morning, Fripps. Good morning, Alison. Morning, Johnny. Morning, Caskill. Johnny, thank you very much for the four, my friend. Thank you very, very much for the four. A very early morning sub. Thank you very much indeed, mate. I hope you're well. Morning, Koyubi. Morning, Bumble Horse. Morning, Space Happy. Morning, Stripey Pants. Morning, Valiant. Morning, Yessi. How are you today, Yessi? How's the, uh, how's the throat and everything doing, bro? All right, so we want to go for this one, don't we? It actually shows that I'm in a cave on the backdrop, but... I don't think I've noticed that before. Obviously not my cave, but... Uh, right, let's hope this... Uh, let's hope this all works out for us. Wasn't too bad yesterday, was it? I think I think I moved a little bit to the left. I should be logging into the left, looking out of the first box. How's the uh, World of Warcraft gold going, Valiant, for your mount? Is it all okay? <laughs> you let, 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 let those textures load in. <laughs> okay, all right, we should be all right. Yeah, we're going to get this area again, aren't we? What are we doing? We're doing okay on uh, levels as well, actually, by the looks of it. Right, where are you, my little devils? Number one. Two. One. We've got one at the back as well, or... We have... There we go. Right, we're in. <laughs> oh, what a start. This is not the easiest start, is it? Right, what are we up to then? Let's, let's get some food down us. I think we'd, we just had a sleep, hadn't we? I think we were going to go back. We want to go and do this, don't we? With the stone base. Now, what else was going on over at the stone base? I mean, there's no reason. I, I would like to expand it a little bit. But the thing is, is it, it does take quite a lot of ingots, doesn't it? If I remember. Uh, we've got no more iron ore in there. Uh, I've got 
I mean, we don't want to use it all, do we? Because some of it I need to repair things like that. That requires the workbench with bone. Oh, well, my stamina just plummeted then. Um, I mean, we could take that, couldn't we? Or we'll make a campfire as well would make sense, wouldn't it? If we got any, is there any stone left in there? A very warm welcome to Gold Sub Wookie Nookie. Wookie! Wookie Nookie! How are you doing? How's you and Mrs. Wookie doing, bruh? How's, uh, how's she doing, fella? Nice to see you, Wookie. Uh, I read there's only 40 levels you can get the entire track tree. There's a bit disappointing. Ah, well, you've heard wrong then. Uh, there's actually 99 levels, Kyubi. So, uh, the gold farming has taken a real stall, honestly. I spent a bit of gold to make those primal moon cloth bags that sell for a fair bit. But because of how much they cost, not many people want to buy them. I did, I did think you were gambling a lot with that one. Yeah, no, normally things like that is people will just get get their own mates or guild members to make them, won't they? Or even do it themselves. Yeah, it's 99 levels, uh, Koyubi. Yeah, it's in fact that was updated on a patch on Tuesday, I think, Koyubi. So yeah, it's uh, the game's evolving quite rapidly. In fact, I don't know if there was a patch yesterday. If there was, there's been a patch nearly every day, I think. Uh. What else? We've got a door. I suppose there's some standing torches would be nice, actually. Uh, how do we make standing torches? I need some sulfur. We should have loads of sulfur kicking about, shouldn't we? And I'll probably put all of that in there. Mm, some of it's in there. Where's the rest of it? I'll pop it in a box somewhere. Well, let's take that. Let's make some... I don't know where to go. I, I, I'm almost... Ugh. I know it's ridiculous, but I'd really like to try and get into that cave. You know the one, uh, oh gosh, I need fiber. Um, do I need loads of fiber kicking about anywhere? Some sticks, I suppose I could go and get some fiber. It's not like it's hard to find, is it? Um, did I leave any on the crafting? Yeah, th this is a nightmare. Uh, well, there's five ingots in there as well. Yeah, this is a nightmare cave coyote. <laughs> it's it's so jam-packed with all my crap, it's ridiculous. Uh, we'll also take a drink while we're here. What time is it? It's 10.19, so we can definitely get over there, can't we? Uh, we Oh, we have no oxide, do we? Actually, that's a good point. That's a really good point. Um, but I've got quite a lot in my suit. Uh... Standing torches. How many can I actually make? Let's make... Well, I can only make one so until we get some more. Um, if I take... If I take this... With the nails... A very what, what warm else does welcome it require to, gold to make the na Oh, wood. Wood's gonna, wood would be problematic, but leather. Can we take some more leather boots? Morning, Shades. Morning, morning, morning. How are you? Let's see if we can, let's see if we can get a little wave out to you when we walk here. How, how, how would we do that? Oh no. How would I do that? I'd have to do that. Grum BBB, it's Friday. Grum, where is the happy dance? <laughs> <laughs> we do, I don't think I, I don't think I have dances in this, do I? I, I, I know there's emotes, but I, and I swear, you know what's really weird is when I was setting up the stream controller, right, right, right after like the first stream or whatever it was. I've got pneumonia again. You absolute bastard. Um, I've got no yeast, have I? I don't think. Hang on, that's not my herbal. It's over there, isn't it? Oh, I have got yeast. I have got yeast. So what else do I need? I need some charcoal, which we'll have, and epoxy. Now, epoxy is made in that, isn't it? Epoxy, 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 and you need tree sap. How the hell do you get tree sap sticks? How much tree sap do you need? Four. So if I make four tree sap from the sticks I've got, I can then make an epoxy with the sulfur. 
close that. And then I should... Oh, and I need a bit of charcoal as well, don't I? Which I can get from the campfire. It'll be so... I'll tell you, next planet, we're, we're making a proper base, man. I, I, I need to start... I, I want to build in this guy. We'll see what the mission is and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So if I do that, pop some sulfur in there. Oh, shit. Did I not make the epoxy? Uh... Did I not actually make the epoxy in the mortar and Oh, I did, but I, it stays in the inventory, doesn't it? That's my bad. Um, leave that in there. I don't need to take any sulfur with me, do I? Uh, so epoxy. And make a tonic. I can only make... Oh, I should have made another epoxy. That's so cool. I thought the crafting's really well done in this. It's just, it just feels right, you know? If I, and, and it also feels like there's a really nice flow to it once you've got like a proper base built, or at least I hope so anyway. Uh, Azzy, thank you very much for the 1,000 bits, dude. <laughs> How are you, mate? Thank you very, very much, dude. Uh, if you don't sell, you can use them yourself and get the extra bag of bonus, but if I sell them, you can get a ton of gold. I don't know if it's the right term, but yeah, I was going to say, if only I use, you, sometimes you've just got to ride it out as well, haven't you? Uh, you know, wow trading ebbs and flows big 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 hit of players at the weekend mate you never know you might strike gold this weekend morning shades morning wookie miss jamie thank you for the host and azzy thank you so much that's a lot of bits azzy thank you very very much did anyone see the hellblade 2 no is is hell is a hellblade that senua sacrifice guy i always get confused with them um, with, with, with that stuff if i press nine can i just do that and get rid of my pneumonia I can. Yeah, is it Hellblade Center was sacrificed? Because it was it was it Jeff Keighley's Game Awards or something? Was there anything? To, uh, was there anything to, my my mum's coming today. Grum mum is Grum B B B. Oh, Lassie, thank you for the thirteen hundred bits, my friend. That's a lot of bits, dude. Thank you very very much, mate. Very kind of you. We'll kill that and take some fresh meat with us. And cook it up. What was that? Right, today is the day I need to... I need to... Oh, there's a wolf down there. Memory must Grum, not crack... Oh, whoa, Grum, look at that bear. Look at that bear. Look at that bear just racing in. Are, are we going to go for it? He's already seen me. He's already seen me. And there's a wolf over there. Which means I can't do my dodge thing over there. If I run over here... we got to do is hope that wolf doesn't come in. If the wolf comes in, we've got a big problem. He is here. The wolf is coming in. The wolf is coming in, and he has seen me. Hey, what about that, boys? We're starting to, we're starting to notice the jigsaw puzzle pieces, aren't we? I, I knew I'd got a problem there. I saw the bear, and he was actually, he was actually running, which means he's probably already got a bead on me. I saw the wolf, and the wolf will come and investigate, won't he? Because the second the bear goes down, it counts as a fresh kill. And he'll prioritise it, so... I think we did quite well there. I, only a low level, only a low level, but that's not the point. The point is, is we didn't make a mistake. I didn't crouch. I was just literally saying, well, like, today's the day I've got to not go into that muscle memory crouch panic that I do in so many games. I still don't know why. I don't know what game that, that triggered that, but I'm a bugger for it, aren't I? Oh, Jesus, what a start, man. And it, I, that should have given us a good chunk of X, XP as well, I would have thought. I got the hiccups. Let's bring you over here. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that, that's on. Uh, oh, I've not got my knife out, have I? Uh, you'd leave the device behind. Well, what I'm hoping is I'm going to get some wood on the way. And what we're going to do is I'm going to make a box in that, in, that, in that house and put it in there, dude. So I'd like to get to the bot. I want to get into the home and get... Did I actually pick it up? I didn't pick it up. I want, I want to get into the new metal hat. Metal house. Into, God, I'm half, half asleep, mate. I tell you, I'm, I'm so tired today. It's ridiculous. That's why we've, we've had a bit of bother. Good mum was going to be coming up um, before Christmas, but 
a few things have led to other things so she's actually coming up today so i've been trying to get everything ready for her on top of work and everything um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna make some silly mistakes today i think i want to take that with us now it's got nothing in it or not a lot in it anyway now how much does it weigh to what I'd like to do is get that station over there, the masonry bench. Get a box down. And a campfire. So that we kind of sell sufficient over there. If that makes sense. So we can expand if we want to. We'll have a little we'll have a little play around over there. And then what we'll do is we'll get that scanner put down. What I'm expecting though is that the scanner will trigger some sort of like response maybe polar bears who knows dudes it might not and you know I, I don't i genuinely don't know but the last couple of times we've done any sort of scan or anything something's happened hasn't it so i'm inclined to believe the same thing will happen here i think we'll travel light now it's uh it's weird. The, the map is definitely some, something that is weirdly implemented, isn't it? There's, the, the, there's more going on with the map than we would like to think. Maybe why we can't put annotations down. It's clearly, it's clearly not just a simple map, is it? The amount of time it takes for that fog of war. Probably your server side or something, isn't it? Azzy, thank you so much, dude. Was that another 200 bits as well? It was, wasn't it? That's 1,500 bits, Azzy. Thank you very, very, very much, my friend. That's extremely kind of you, bro. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very, very much. Have you got nice plans for the weekend, Azzy? You up to anything, bro? Morning, Swazza. Um, thanks, Azzy. Thank you. <laughs> Hellblade 2 looks awesome. Can't wait to get my hands on it. I can't remember the first one. I actually didn't think I'd played it. I thought that was still in the back catalogue to play as a, as a super cool game. But apparently I have played it. I just... Well, I'll have to go back on the VOD and just go, Oh, shit, it's that game, you know? Oh, Christ, my headset. I need to do my headset. I need to start getting more berries. I need to start mixing my food up a little bit. We were talking about it yesterday. Different foods give different buffs, don't they? make all the difference with stamina and what have you in the uh, in the arctic bone i think we won't hang around for too long i think i think we'll set we'll definitely hit 22 before we leave but we might not i mean i'm, I'm saying that we, we might not actually that was a bear Maybe not. Uh, the GSE artwork was finished, so I posted... Oh, I've, sorry, I've not been on Discord very much. I had a very quick jump over there. I, I know Retro's had some terrible news. Um, I, and I quickly... I managed to catch... Uh, Dizzy's um, beginnings of his custom... Well... Where the hell... Where's the sulfur that I just picked up? Oh, God damn it, it's down there. Get rid of that. It's just a bit of XP, isn't it? Might as well grab it when we can. Um, you spilt coffee on your keyboard yesterday. It's basically F, so I have to use my missus's little pink keyboard for today while I wait for a new one to come through. What are you getting? Th did you get anything there? I, I did mine. Uh, I I've still got, and it, it is years old, because I don't really use the keyboard on the gaming rig that much, as, as I'm sure you know. And then many, many moons ago one of i got a really good deal on a razor and i'm not a big razor fan these days at all but i suppose at the time the prices weren't that bad actually and i got a really good deal on one of, i think it was scan.co.uk it was the razor black widow uh, and it, it, it's a hideous keyboard mate absolutely hideous keyboard but i still have it and, and i spilled coffee on it at the very start of the stream um, i can't remember what I, i'd broken routine and uh, i hadn't got my yeti mug and uh I went to go and push a button and the, the cup was higher than the Yeti mug. Plus, obviously, it didn't have a lid on it. And, and hey, ho, presto, it went in. And I managed to yank it all out. It was a nightmare there because I have all my cables really, like, hardwired in. And um, I managed to flip it. I just managed to flip it. And I stripped it all down and then basically just, like, fucking swabbed the hell out of it with... Um, 
I have like a 99.8 or 9% whatever it is alcohol solution that I use. And I managed to douse it in sort of that. And, and I did save it. I did save it, mate. For about a week after, though, the space bar was just a little clicky. Did just a little sticky on, on the rise. Um, so I thought, oh, no. I, I can't justify a new keyboard, you see. I, I don't use it that often. And, and, you know, the Razer Black Widow, you know, it's, it's a very loud, clunky... It's hideous. It's way too big. It's, it's an awful keyboard, man. <laughs> but yeah, I don't use it enough to, to ever think about getting a new one. I did look into the Corsair. Uh, is it the K? The, I was going to say the K something, but I can't remember. Which looked like a really nice one. But that's when I was playing WoW and I wanted a slightly uh, less audible keyboard. But they were like about 160 pounds because they had two variants. They had version one and version two. There was literally no difference between them other than one was the newer variant, which I think had like a, an aluminium logo instead of a plastic logo and, and a couple of very minor other upgrades. Certainly not worth the 80 pound difference in price, you know. I wouldn't know what I'd get if I was looking for a keyboard. I need some of my headset out because... Uh, if the sound goes, I'm going to be in trouble with alerts for a whole of theirs. Now, do we do we wait for him? I don't think we're going to have time, are we? I think I'm going to have to skirt around that side and come up back there, aren't I? Let's hope he doesn't turn. I'm already slow today. Because of the cold. I have a bad feeling we're too close to him, you know. He turns. We'll just keep blocking line of sight. Which way is he looking? Oh shit, he's looking that way. I think I can run though. I think we might have got away with that. I've just got to be careful because there is another one up on that ridge there, isn't there? Quite often. Let's just hope one hasn't come up here where the base is. We can get in and get the campfire down. We should be alright for a bit, shouldn't we? A red storm. It's perfect as well because we'll finally get to see a red storm in a stone building, won't we? Oh my god, it's something like that. Does it look alright to you? Is it like it? Oh no, it's because it's on a funny angle. We're in. We are in. Now. Do I need to close the windows up? <laughs> Should I? I think I do, don't I? Oh no. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we're just cold because it is cold. Uh, pop that up there. How are you doing, Shades? How's uh, how is the? Sorry, but I was going to ask you. How's the server merge? How's it all gone? Or, or is it all happening? Or is it actually happening today? Oh, that is not how you do that, is it? You silly Billy. Good morning, Grum. It's that Coffee. time of the month again. Well oh. deserved, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what you meant there. <laughs> Retro, oh, mate. Azzy, thank you so much. Retro, honestly, my, my sincerest of uh, condolences to you and the family, mate. I was, I honestly, dude, I, I don't often get much of a chance to catch this school in the mornings, especially I was just saying about uh, family visiting me this weekend and... Uh, it was the first thing I read, mate. I just thought, oh, dude. It, it's just so so punishing right now for so many people, Retro. My, uh, my deepest of thoughts, all my strength that I can send you, mate. And to the family as well, bro. I hope... Uh, I, know, I know you're not in chat today, so I don't expect uh, anything really, mate. But keep your head down, man, and do what you got to do, ain't you, bro? You ever want to know, mate. Give us a shout over on Discord, bro. And thank you for the 18, mate. Thank you very much for the 18, and thank you for the Prime. The 60% keyboard stuff. Are they the ones that don't have the print screen and, and that? Is that those, is it? They don't have, like, the, the cursor keys and delete and end and all that? Or, or is that something else? Uh, you've got a Steel Series mouse, I love it, so I thought I'd give that. Yeah, and the, presumably all the software. It, it, I mean, it's a big part of it, isn't it? Once you're into, like, like an ecosystem with a particular manufacturer, you know, you, you don't want Logitech software and Razer software, and, you know what I mean? This becomes a pain in the butt, doesn't it? 
Where do you think? You think what? Why do you think it's so cold? Do you think it's because I've actually got windows open? Do you think? Do you think the game actually makes a difference on that? Or what do you reckon, guys? Interesting to know that, wouldn't it? I wonder if I. I mean, I could knock them out and make them walls. Or we could have a look in the tech tree. So I think there are windows on. Them. Are the windows? Uh, is it? Where's Bilbin? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, a reinforced window. It could. Uh, we'd have to go back though. Because I haven't got any rope. And you, have, you need a workbench to make rope. Uh, wood ironing got some nails. Um, I've got some ingots and some nails. Should, should we do it? Should we just do it to test it? And rather than just doing it. I, I think I'd like to role play a little bit into all of this. We could probably do with making a crafting bench as well then, couldn't we? Oh, well, we'll go and pick it up. We'll go and pick it up from home in the morning. I think I'll pop that in there. Now, let's just see. Is it taking any damage? Oh, gosh, I didn't... Oh, no, I did bring a mallet to test, did I? Oh, that was a bad mistake. Maybe I should keep that on me. <laughs> Before we start delving into things anew. Uh, we'll keep all the sticks on us. Bones, stone can go in there. Oh, a floor torch would be nice. We'll pop that in here, obviously. Um... So we'll pop that like just in the corner there. But I haven't got any fuel for ever. This is like my very first ever base. Finally got one up and running. It looks like they're quite sturdy, actually. Yeah, I didn't make the fire whack or anything, did I? Now, have I got any liquids? Uh... That gives me the cool debuff, doesn't it? Which is not good. Yeah, 10, 10, uh, 10 percent plus ten percent heat resistance and minus four cold resistance. You don't really want to be drinking that when you're out and about, do you? Let's get a bit closer to the fire. Yeah, that's what that's what, that's what I was hoping, Max. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd do it rather than just look it up, you know. That, thank you very much, Retro. Thank you for the 18. Thank you for the prime and big hugs, mate. Big hugs to you. You're right, Seven Kings. Uh, added the bag of doo doos, dude. Uh, all right, dude. Yeah, we, we've not actually taken on a polar bear yet. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure we should be taking on a polar bear. I, I, I feel like we, we should respect the polar bears. <laughs> uh, take that and take that. They don't, do they, they don't. Oh, we do. Yeah, there's one for. So we get 75 max health and 20% health regen from the meat. And we get 15% max stamina, but we do lose a bit of water consumption. So def definitely want to start playing with that stuff. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that is bright. So if we go back, we'll make ourselves a whacker. We're putting out fires, although I'm sure that won't be a problem here. Um, and a repair tool. And we'll bring over the workbench and a little bit of rope. Now, is that polar bear number two, or is that polar bear number one? Uh, the merge isn't until this evening. Uh, but they did have problems with the two worlds. They did merge yesterday. There's a three-hour downtime to try and fix this for EU this morning, so we will have to... Yeah, it's all right. I, 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 yeah. As is the first cluster, full cluster, is that right, to get merged? But... There was a merge of, like, presumably a couple of worlds or something yesterday was the shades. Oh, well, I got to say, let, let, let me do... Uh, let's, say, let's say we're safe here. Let, let me do my headset, guys. It's driving me mad.
All right, we're back up and running. We're back up and running. What, hey, Doc, you know, what, what resolution do you play? That's satisfactory. It, it, the, the image looks like quite soft. Is it? Is it like your graphical settings, is it? I saw your screenshots yesterday. Can you can you make the image a bit sharper? Or is it just some, the way you like it kind of thing? I was, I was thinking if it looks like that out of the box, uh, a, a nice reshade profile on that could, could really make a difference. Uh, you love the outpost, mate. Just that's one looks very nice, but yeah. Oh, it's the no wolves or bears. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that sucks. What's well, so the outpost mode is like passive. So how do you hunt and, and get food and things? Or is it deer? So there's no predators. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I, I actually thought I thought it was just like the world as is. Oh, that's a bit naff. I was hoping it would just be a sandbox like this, where I could, I could just go and build a mega. Oh man, look at the look at the these. De I can see the door and the windows. I can actually see the flicker of the campfire. Holy shit! Damn, that's impressive. Holy wow! Oh, cool. Uh, if I kill that boar, I bet that polar bear comes racing in straight away, doesn't he? So you know what? I am not going to do it. Uh, yeah, the whack. Uh, no, I don't think the whacker's on the workbench. No, the whacker's in here, look. Yeah, you can make a whacker anywhere. Maybe I don't need one, though. But then again, that, that's the kind of thing you say. And then you suddenly realise you really do need one. <laughs> it, that's ultra. So how can... So what resolution are you at, then? And that's at 10, 8, 19, 20. It looks really soft, dude. Do you know what I mean? It, it looks like, um... Are they using, like... Some nasty temporal anti-aliasing that doesn't quite work or something. Grab that. Oh, oh, oh is it, hang on. Maybe it's because it's... Is that is that like the normal default Steam screenshot and not the higher resolution PNG file? Oh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get that, though. I like the coffee cup, Doc. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know if it was going to be the first to mention. Like, is, is your coffee gone cold yet? <laughs> it's a nice touch, that is. I like that sort of thing. Ah, uh, that's probably it, then, Doc. Why would you have to resize them, dude? Anyone know which talent to unlock to increase stamina in multiplayer? Can't seem to find it. Uh, I don't know. Should we have a look when we uh, get back to base camp? How close are we to dinging? So it, so, it, so it hasn't all gone well for the first the first migration then, or the first merge shades, no? Yeah, I don't know. At the minute, shades, it's all happened a little bit. It's all, it's, it's all very complicated, mate. I think uh, I think I think the world's just uh, I, th I think it's trying to destroy me slowly but surely to be honest mate so I, I just I have no idea what is uh, what happening over the next few weeks to be honest uh, we'll grab you that wolf's got to be on his way over right just be nice to ding 22 before we start doing anything. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed by that, Max. To be honest, I, I was actually hoping the. Um, this is all. I wonder, how, I wonder at what point I can start crafting. Like I don't know. You've, you've got to assume, right? There's, there's cocoa beans, right? And things like that. You've got to assume I can actually make coffee. So maybe that's locked behind the better crafting station. That didn't sound good at all, did it? That, what's that? Is that a is that a bot? That's a bison, isn't it? So game awards yesterday. A anything that we should be super excited? You know, what? I still haven't had a, ch a chance to check out. Uh, some of you were saying that. Um, there was an update for Titan Quest, wasn't there? Like a DLC for Titan Quest. But that, that blew my mind when you said that. I, 
I don't know what you mean, but I, 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 I honestly did. If, if you're resizing in, in, with, with current PNG compression and everything, you're wasting your time, bro. A 1920 by 1080 image is is minuscule, bro. You don't even need moderately good internet on something like Discord with everything else that goes on behind the scenes. Just literally wasting your own time, bro. No need to be doing that on a low res screenshot like that, bro. Space Marine 2's coming out. Might be why the screenshots look a bit, well, crap, to be honest, not soft. Very soft image. Reminds me of the old sort of temple anti-aliasing shenanigans before they... Oh, what the hell? Before they sort of uh, managed to figure out why and how to use it. You get that kind of uh, soft image, don't you? They're, they're not massive images. Though. Like I said, it's not in 20. It's like tiny. It's... it's I, I see, man. I, I, could, I could down. I, I could see those pictures on a phone. You know, on a on a on a crappy freaking network signal. You just literally the technology's moved forward so far, dude. You do not need to be worrying about that shit in this day and age, mate. <laughs> it's the things have moved forward now, doc. <laughs> Internet speeds are obviously better anyway. I can't. I can't imagine anyone's on dial-up anymore, and compression. Image, image preview compression is 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 like yeah, it's just just wasting your time, mate. And the thing is, it's not it's not doing your pictures justice either. Time to abort that old man tactic, bro. Get some nice proper images of satisfactory up, dude. You can actually, I I actually post. Uh, well, sometimes it depends, doc. It depends on what resolution. Whoa, the resolution I'm taking that. But you can get um, you can get the uncompressed. Shit, that's a level 43 wolf. You can get the uncompressed screen shots from Steam as well. And at 1920 by 1080, they're there freaking tiny as well, bro. See, most people won't even blow them up anyway, dog. It's no difference. I mean, if you think about it, right? When you, and I don't mean it in a horrible way, but when you go all out on your music videos with YouTube thumbnails, do, do you want to see if there's any difference between that thumbnail image and uh, compression on what is essentially just an image file? So, you know, you're doing one thing for one channel and not for another. You know, just, just, you just don't need to, dude. Epic. Uh, do, do they have a height? I don't, know, I don't know if they compress. I've got no idea. I don't know how epic screenshots work, to be honest, dude. Can you, uh, uh, hang on then, can you only get satisfactory on Epic, Doc, or? Or, um, or, or is it released now on Steam as well? I, I seem to remember a conversation about this. Wasn't there a big hoo-ha about it? Mind you, there's a hoo-ha about everything in gaming these days, isn't there? Twitch on dial-up. Oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm sure there are still people on the equivalent of very bad internet, but those people probably aren't exactly going out of their way to look at, you know, images on a Discord, are they? Like I said, I mean, even even on, I, I, there's an area that we go through if we're commuting to a certain city. Oh, there's the bear. Look, there's the bear. Where. Um, Both my phone signal strength and uh, what the hell internet connection is he coming this way or not see it's dark and it's not a good idea to attack it he's actually coming this way though isn't he I don't know whether to just give him a bash I've got 25 arrows it doesn't look like there's anything else but we really don't want that bear sniffing around do we but it's so dark but if he comes into the cave I'm screwed it's too dark, man. It's too dark. You can't fight a bear at that time of night, man. Let's just hope he doesn't come in, but that—that that is a bit problematic. <laughs> it's part of the reason I put the torches outside. <laughs> so at least, at least I could fight on the doorstep. But 
Oh, man. I don't know what to do. It's on Steam. So, did it release on Epic originally then, Doc? Or the game itself has two sizes of screenshots, photo made in game. Oh, right. So, it's got... Yeah, okay. Th this has got that as well, actually. Uh, this has got a really nice photo made look. And, and you can you can massively increase resolution, scaling, and all sorts with it. It's actually quite good. So, did, did it release... Did Satisfactory release on Epic first? Or Steam first and then Epic? Or... It must have been on Steam first, right? Is that with so? Is that Epic? Is, is that is that so? What's that though, Dot? I mean, now, now we're in the realms of not knowing what you're talking about. So, are you talking about a normal PNG shot via the photo mode in Satisfactory? A normal, or are you talking about just like? Um, I mean, Epic presumably still has, like, the equivalent of Steam's F12, does it? Or does it not? I mean, can you not take screenshots on Epic by default unless a game has a photo mode, or...? Oh, is that what it was? That well, Maybe that's what the hoo-ha was. So Satisfactory had the one-year exclusivity on uh, Epic, did it? And the internet goes, oh, Epic or evil! Yeah, and that, that would make sense, I suppose. All right, let's grab that. Let's grab that. Fill those bladders up. Me good old bladders. Uh, we'll throw that one. How are you doing, Dicoin? How's things your end, bro? They fill up so fast as well, don't they? That, that thing is actually really good. We'll take all of this back over with us, but let's just see. Let's just see. I'm going to want to take the workbench, aren't I? Now that is going to have... Get rid of that torch. And I will pick up the crack. Because I need that to make rope, don't I? Actually, what do I need to make rope before we get rid of it? Fibre. Okay, so let's close that. Right, so that should enable us to make... Uh, I can't think now. What? What's? Why did I need the crafting table? I know what I do need. I need to make a hammer, don't I? I need a little bit of stone. I won't have any stone over here now, will I? That will all have been put away. Have a quick check. Yeah, all right. Um, so shall we sleep and see? Is there anything else? <coughs> Gosh, excuse me. Is there anything else that I need to take over there? Don't think there is. I mean, that I could take. I don't. A very think warm need welcome to, to Gold Sub Cretoke. Um, Kretauk, how are you, mate? As uh, as it all going, bro? See how much it weighs. That's going to weigh a ton, isn't it? 99.8. <laughs> uh, let's sleep. Needs to be near an active campfire, of course. And I bet I don't have any wood, do I? Um, damn. But what I can do, by being a cheeky little bugger, I could access one of these... And drag that over there. And then activate the fire with the fuel in it. And then sleep. Why has it gone so dark in here? There we go. Okay. I thought I saw, I thought that was a there's a reason I, saw, I thought the cave icon there was was indicating a bear was present. Actually, you know what? I need to make some bloody Arrows as well, don't I? How many can I make? 44. Let's make, uh, let's make another 20 of those. Alright, this is it then. Let's, let's go and get this back. Is there anything else that I needed for the bonus? I can't remember why I needed the workbench. I, I must have needed to make rope for something, but why did I need to make rope? I can't remember. There must have been a reason for it. Epic does have a screenshot key. I was going to say, I'd be surprised if it doesn't. But having said that, Epic, when it first came out, was very sparse on general features, wasn't it? So although I would be surprised, it, it, I guess I wouldn't have been that surprised. 
I don't mind the Epic Store, but I, it, I suppose Steam is just something we're so familiar with, and so many of us have already got such a huge. That bear's coming at me. Mistake there, did the crouch. Oh, careful, dude. At least I was aware of it. At least I was aware of it. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that. Why have I got all this sulfur? Oh, we need that for fuel, don't we? I'll get rid of some of that. <sighs> yeah, I did. I did make the same mistake. I did do the old uh, panic crouch. Oh, that is so hard wide into my. Oh, that's that fancy food as well, not. We won't get a chance to cook that. I knew he was around here. I suppose better, better he's out of the way. How are you, could say How's things? So the high res uh, 38 footage, they're, they're full 4K, are they? Whereas the normal one's 1920 by 1080. Yeah, I mean, there's a big difference there, isn't there? But I mean, honestly, I mean, three megabytes in this day and age. I mean, it's just nothing, is it? It's, it's just even out and about on mobile, a three meg image. And, and like I said, that's only if you open it. I, I mean, your thumbnail isn't three meg, is it? It's all compressed down on uh, on Discord anyway. Uh, Windows? Windows. Oh, is that what it was? Windows. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Good call. Good call. I want some sticks as well, presumably. It's a lot of these nice little trees around here. Yeah, you see, by, by having those two types of feet, see how much bigger my stamina is. Oh, shit, there's another freaking bear. It is a really nice place to take him on. A really nice place, but am I getting greedy? I don't know what level he is. That's a good bit of damage to start, man. Oh, wow. Feeling, feeling, feel, feeling good. <coughs> feeling good with the bears. We'd lose that arrow. How's your how's your PC going? Go sorry, Max mate. How did it all go yesterday? I saw you. Uh, did you? <laughs> did it set out to be a? Was this right? I, I saw I saw him say it. And I saw you sort of like. I, I think you had a bit of a eureka moment. So I assume you was right about the PCI right, riser, was it? I bet I bet you were proper perplexed, weren't you? You're right, Krutau. Not, uh, not too bad. Uh, depending on how next month or so goes, I might have a promote. Ooh, nice one, Krutau. <clears throat> with a nice raise as well. Just done with some Conan Exile since they'll start doing event things here and there. Um, such as what then, dude? What do you mean by Conan? What's, what's a Conan event? Conan's a really good game, Krutau. It is a really, really good game. I think it puts, uh, puts some of the others to absolute shame, to be honest. I, I seem to remember it performed rather well as well. Um, no major sort of performance issues. Although the were render, it certainly didn't render things over huge distances, which so sometimes is the price you pay for better performance, isn't it? But you know, like your base wouldn't render until you were, you know, actually quite close to it and things, but. Three megabytes over two. Is that what? Is that what? So what? What was a floppy disk back in the day then? Jesus Christ! Definitely. Yeah. Oh, there is something. Is that a bear? No. So they're doing that tonight then, Shane. So you. So tomorrow morning, if all goes well. Oh well, that's not good, is it? That's not good at all. Uh... Oh my lord. Oh my 
Oh lordy. Whoa, dude. Oh wow! Jumps over the tree. That's amazing. Exposure, exposure, exposure. Get out of there, bro. What's that? It's a wolf. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I can't move. Massive. Oh, we just in 22. Got massive penalty debuffs because of the uh, no shelter. Damn, if that had been a bear, I would have been dead. Damn, the game just knows, doesn't it? It's like, let's throw a little cheeky wolf in right now while uh, he's sitting there tickling his pickle in the cold. You right, Max? Uh, something's still off with your new PC. Played Icarus, all fine at around 80 FPS, then went out of an outpost and started another, and only got 30 FPS and a system crash. Ooh. Don't know, dude. A bit. I mean, Icarus is a bit. I mind you, I'm not. I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm not. I'm not, not going to jinx myself. PC gaming and all that jazz. <laughs> Congrats, then, Crita. That's really cool, mate. Congratulations, dude. So, will that all? I mean, will you know, like, by the new year and everything? Then, will you, mate? Does it come with additional responsibility? <laughs> so it's 1.44 megabytes or proper old school with 512. Uh, so far, all right, actually, Joshua. Yes, yeah, seems to be okay. How are you doing, mate? How's things? I think we've uh, we finally dinged ding down 22 as well. So I think I just want to get over there and, and make a little bit of a home camp. So... Let's go and see if the storm in the Arctic Valley is still. Still raging. It looks like it's over. So, whoa. Oh, that's the ice, isn't it? I believe it. Oh, what's that? That's a real shame because I want those trees. Will those trees stay? You know the trees that have been blown down by the wind? Will they actually stay there? Me to come and chop down. I don't, I don't think get blown around a little bit by the wind. Ding, 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 ding. I like my dings. Yeah, this whole mission was very ding free once we got into the Arctic biome, wasn't it? I still haven't found one of the, like, the hidden. Oh, shit, that's a problem. I haven't found one of these like so-called like hidden caves. You know the ones where we have to hack, hack through something to get. We have to jump to get through there. I don't know what the. I don't know how, how close we can be. Uh, Skiller, thank you for the follow, and Hiragua, thank you very, very much for the six six months sub badge today, mate. Thank you very much, Hiragua. I hope you well. Let's not gaff this now. Mind you, if we gaff it now, it's not the worst, is it? This is that perma storm, isn't it? This is what we're trying to remove with our uh, disruptor. I think we're okay. Oh yeah, because we we're gonna make. So we're gonna. So we needed the workbench to make some windows. I wonder if I've brought enough sticks with me. Did I need sticks for rope? No, it was fibre, presumably, for rope, wasn't it? Okay, well, we're in. I, I did bring a whole bunch of crap with me, by the looks. Um, let me just pop in. I don't need that. Let's pop all of that in there. Um, and those as well. Let's put a crafting bench down and an oxide bench. Um, the bench is quite big, isn't it? Uh, might be better to put that across the back. My bad, my bad. What am I doing? Why is that not doing that? 
That's weird. Why is it doing that? Strange. Let's pick that up. Pick all that up. Let's pop the workbench in. I don't think I'm going to get an oxide dissolver in that corner, am I? Not quite. Oh, I am. Well, that's that's a nice little layout, then. The basic crafting, isn't it? In a 2x2. Two two. I quite like that. And then we can get the bladders out. I know they are already full, but we can still pop them in the appropriate spot, can't we? Let's get the campfire down. And we'll pop that in the corner here. Probably not a good spot, because if we want to... Well, let's, let's just leave it. Let's just get it up and running. So, me, me, me. Oh, I have no fuel for it, do I? So, we are going to go and chop some trees down. I'll throw that in there and get rid of that. Let's take one of those and one of those. Um, and I'll take that as well. All right, let's uh, let's let's drink some coffee. I need, I need to have a think. Um, you're right, Joshua. Your back was hurting. Woke you up 4 a.m. Oh wow. You do struggle with that quite a lot, don't you, Joshua? <coughs> you're all right, Caskill. How's things going, dude? So if you get the promotion, it will actually be a lower supervisory role, but I'll just get uh, over three bucks an hour raise, so I'll be four cents shy of 20 bucks. Oh my god, dude. Freaking hell, mate. Nice one, crit out. Congrats. Is that kind of in the bag, is it, mate? Or you just, you just got to wait for a little bit? You right, Hiragua? Thank you for the six, dude. I hope so, Hiragua. I hope so. Uh, the masonry bench doubles as a storage chest. They, they all do. Yeah, you can put loads of stuff in these, guys. Yeah, not device inventory, and it's it's not like some games where you can only put like specific things into them, if that makes sense. So I, I can put bone and leather in all of these. Um, I'm not sure if I can put them in that one. I mean, I wouldn't have thought so. But yeah, you can. I mean, there's only limited slots, obviously, but you can put anything into anywhere. They all like a storage container, which is quite cool. I like that. It increases any use in 25% of your CPU and 60% of your GPU. And how is that? And that what's what 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 I mean the thing is, I mean what resolution you're running at, what graphic settings are you playing at? <laughs> what frame rate are you getting? Is it somehow like, you know, V-Sync locked down at 30 FPS? Oh, I'd need to know a lot more max. What's that, Jamie? Your fireplace. Um uh, what's that? Good morning, Grum and chat Grum Hi. You're right, Sog. Uh, it's Friday though, I'm working four hours overtime tomorrow, so can't really celebrate, but hey, it's extra money. So hang on, what's happened with you, Caskill? Just, be, just been celebrating because it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Doublet, thank you for the 49, bro. Yeah, a lot gone of my, my, my days of celebrating on a Friday, Caskill. So it takes me a while to click what people mean sometimes. So you've got a good shot at it because of how my schedule is and working the heavy days because as far as I know, the one with the most job experience that might be interested in it. Well, best of luck, Patak. Seriously, best of luck. I hope it all goes well, mate. You're right, sir. Abdullah, you stuck in this mission. What's your recommendation for passing the blizzards? Uh, Rocky Glues, dude. Do you know about Rocky Glues? It, it's, it's literally... I, I did this mission flawlessly yesterday. I, I, and as a new player, I thought we did really well. Um, but I did make one mistake, which is when I, I got a little bit greedy and I decided to check a cave out on extraction. Um, so, literally, it, it, it's really easy to be honest, dude. I, I've heard other people saying they're really struggling with it, but that's, I, think they're, I think they're trying to take on polar bears, Abdullah. I, I have not even engaged with a polar bear apart from one time, like I said, when I went into a cave. Everything was going okay-ish. And then a polar bear came in behind me, and, and there was just no escape. He, he, you know, he pretty much one-shotted me. I, I was already um, damaged from the cave worm spit. But yes, yeah, stealth. Just stealth, stealth, stealth. And make rocky glues, and, and you'll be absolutely fine, mate. 
absolutely fine. Uh, okay, here's a lot more. So you've only got 1440p with V-Sync off. All settings epic except anti-aliasing. RTX global illumination on. DLSS on performance. And what frame rate are you getting then? Uh, it was stopping you playing on your crafting bench. Oh, sorry, Jamie. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, got you. Sorry. Let's, um... Let's have a can we make these windows, then. So, so I'm trying to get some coffee down my neck. Uh, oh, I did. Oh, hang on a minute. What the hell? Did, did I not unlock the windows? Reinforcement. Oh, I didn't know. That's why. Uh, oh, but they're still not made in there. What the hell? Made out of crafting bench. So doors and windows are all made over here. So I need to go and get some wood. So we're going to need... I've got... I mean, I hope the windows we can put in left and right on the open letterbox. So that's going to be 12 rope, isn't it? Uh, so that's not enough. I need fibre. The nails and the ingots. We're going to need 6 ingots and 24 nails. Now, oh no, which means I need the anvil. Oh, dudes, I forgot the anvil. What a knob. All right, not a problem, not a problem. We get in there, we get in there. You see what I mean about building a stone base? It actually requires quite a lot of preemptive work. Because you would not want these crafting stations in a thatchal wooden build. They wouldn't last two seconds. A very so you, you need a preliminary to build to build your stone steady. base, don't you? Right, let's go and bring the anvil over as well then. Uh, and if I bring wood and... If I get wooden fibre, we'll be looking good, won't we? <coughs> good morning, Sadie. How are you, bro? How's things? How you doing, bro? Let's see if we can get you a little... Uh, get you a little wave in. Look at that, eh? Good morning, Mr. Sand. Look at that. Look at this shadow on that because the, uh, that's mad. Give you a, can we give you a wave that way, bro, so you can see me? There you go. Look at that. <laughs> How's things, Sandy? You all right, fella? So GPU usage is stuck at 60% and CPU is stuck at 25 to 40%. You sure it's actually? Are you running it in boardless or something? Are you sure it's actually running at 1440p? I mean, you'd know straight away, wouldn't you? I mean, I haven't found this that CPU heavy, to be honest. Um, GPU, it can be, and I think I, to, to be honest, mate, I, I, I haven't seen any any fits to DX12 whatsoever. In, in fact, all DX12 seems to do is have a more erratic GPU usage. So much bigger high and low spikes on power draw for no tangible benefit at times. So. See, the thing is, I mean, what you need to do then, Max, why don't you just crank it? Crank, crank it all the way up. Just put everything on max. Every single thing, including uh, Shadow Cascade. We'll whack that up to four. Doesn't really make a huge impact, to be The only thing I've seen is uh, Shadow Cascade from two to one is horrendous. Shadow Cascade two up. Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing a huge hit plus. But I don't think there's any real tangible benefit to it. But you definitely don't want it any lower than two. Um, and, and see if you can spike it all. I mean, just crank it all up, dude. Uh, I mean, let's not worry. As long as you're getting triple digit frame rates or at least 60 FPS, then maybe it's just, maybe it doesn't need to draw anymore, you know? You sure you've, you've definitely not got a frame rate cap running anywhere? You know, you know you, You've been using MSI Afterburner or Reva Tuna server statistics and managed to get yourself a little cheeky frame rate cap on it. Are you running a frame rate monitor? What is the frame rate? But yeah, I mean. It's 
grab all of that. Let's get the hell out of it. Uh, you're right, crispy pickle. Sorry, Abdul. Did you? Did you? Sorry, mate. Did you? St if you're still there, do you know about um, the rocky glues, dude? Sorry, it's all right. Sorry, sorry guys. I'm a bit distracted at the minute because uh, we're trying to. I've got text messages coming through. I'm trying to figure out what's uh, what's going on with Grum Mum. Uh, your cleaner's there today, and the place looks like a bomb hit it. Isn't that the whole point of having a cleaner? Do you, for you rich Scottish lords. I mean, if it was spotless, you wouldn't need a fucking cleaner, would you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god, my heart just jumped out of my chest. It felt that way when my downstairs neighbour decided to drill yet another hole, this time with the ceiling. Oh no, Shades, really? <laughs> wonder why that keeps doing that when I press that button. It's, that's the escape button. It's, it's like, it seems like it, it likes hitting the escape button all of a sudden. So apparently, number 10 says you don't need a mask while Christmas shopping if you're singing. Good. Good. I like, I like good, tangible, solid, common sense laws like that. Brilliant. See, people keep criticising the government, right? As if it, it, if it was anyone else, like it would be any different. If it was the mad raving at lunatic party, Doc will help me out on this one, or Labour, or the Conservatives, or the Green Party, it would just be exactly the same. People are delusional, honestly. They, they don't care. They don't care. They're happy. It's like, you know, they've got a promotion. They're running a nice few quid. They can scam off the taxes. They've got all the freaking fringe benefits. They don't care, mate. There hasn't been a political party in the UK that's cared about anyone for years. <laughs> Everyone was telling me how great Labour were going to be. They're fucking terrible. <laughs> Just as bad as the Conservatives. It's just that, 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 that no one ever makes any difference. It's just we, we just get on with it, mate. Don't worry about it. Enjoy the enjoy the, the hilarity of it. I think that's all you can do now. Just embrace the fact that you, as a member of this country, are responsible for what's going on. Not the political parties. You're the one that keeps fucking voting for them. So just get on with it and enjoy it. Just don't see it as a comedy show. It's just a comedy show. Just a comedy act. You know, Boris has given me a lot of laughs, man. He's the best Prime Minister we've ever had. It's fucking hysterical, dude. Blake looks like he doesn't give a toss. But at least he at least he looks like he doesn't give a toss. He's not pretending, you know? He's out there, you know? He's having his pucker pie and his pint of ale down the pub. He's like, oh, shit, I'm on TV in 10 minutes. What the fuck's going on with that COVID bollocks? Really? Oh, fuck it. I'll just have him to put some masks on. It'll be all right. <laughs> he, he, he does the best he can you know like they all do they do the best they can but let's let's face it it's fucked anyway mate there's no point in worrying about it just enjoy it it's just a comedy sketch it's like watching walk of the wise or whatever that thing dot posted in discord you know just just a jew, jew act you, you know it's the prime minister whichever weird dude is required you know if it's financially after the chancellor of the exchequer if it's about covid they'll bring on a scientist it's just it's just a double act comedy show mate <laughs> At least Boris acts like he means it. He's like, I'm, re I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. This is not going very well. It's uh, oh, shit. I've got to do the air, mate. Yeah, exactly, night child. Exactly. But people get proper vexed about it, don't they? Like, <laughs> uh, everything is max. I'm getting 30 FPS with GPUs of 30 to 45 and CPUs at 25%. Weirdest stuff I've ever seen. So are you maxed at 30 FPS? Is it, is it literally capping out at like 29.97 and 30? And, and never goes above it. If you can tell me that, we know what the issue is. Oh, shit. Stay down, boys. I like. That. I do like that. We're on the board with those, aren't we? So, oh, so in the summaries, you're actually getting upwards to 45 FPS. So basically, your, your GPU is not doing anything. Your CPU is not doing anything. Uh, I mean, I mean, the GPU usage at that high means it's actually being used, isn't it? So. And you're seeing 53 FPS, but your GPU is not maxing out. And it's really, and you're running at everything maxed. <laughs> Have you tried just temporarily switching to? I think this game only has borderless window, doesn't it? Is it bo sorry, borderless full screen? 
Uh, try, try switching out to the alternative, and because that's the only way you can actually set your resolution, isn't it? So do do that. Yeah, but DX level or twelve won't make that much difference. If it is, then there's a problem with with everything. Uh, anything running in the background, like downloading anything? Yeah, I don't think that's say. I mean, thermals. I mean, I assume your thermals are okay, but it could be an issue, couldn't it? When do I get a gun, Sadie? Uh, I'm not. I'm going to play uh, without a gun for the whole game. <laughs> How you doing? You all right, Jeremy? <laughs> yeah, that's that's it, Jeremy. Yeah, literally, mate. Okay. So, we came back for the anvil, didn't we? So, we want to take that. Um, doubt I'm going to be able to take all of that as well. No, it's not that heavy, is it? Right, so that will enable me to make the nails. Is there anything else I need to take? I mean, that, that's only for textiles, isn't it? I mean, that, that's for my my fur. You can make rope on it as well. Herbalism bench I probably don't really need at the minute. Um, don't really need... Oh, was that, was that fibre? Oh, fibre. We'll take the fibre. You got any fibre kicking about in there? Doesn't look like it. I, th I think that would be everything, to be honest, guys. Um, do I take the bedroll over, or should we leave it in the cave? I think we'll—I think we'll have this as our, our secret retreat, to be honest, guys. Just in case something bad does happen. And there's no point in taking the smelter, is there? Because I haven't got anything else to to smelt anyway. Um, what's this? Copper and iron. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Still early enough to get back. And then we've still got a base over here as a safe spot, haven't we? <laughs> Turn all the LEDs on red. <laughs> Def definitely try the windowed and non-windowed mode, uh, Max. Because I did notice on mine that it wasn't necessarily auto-detecting correctly the resolution of my desktop in what was essentially borderless. So by coming out of that, I, I could actually manually set that and see if there was any difference. But I, I think, I actually think there's been an issue with one of the recent Windows drivers because there's been a couple of people recently, haven't we? We noticed it in the chat yesterday. Uh, we, I think Otter had said it, hadn't he? Where he'd got, um, he'd noticed, or well, his monitors weren't turning on. And I had a Windows update on my gaming rig. Uh, I, th I don't know if it was the day before yesterday. And I noticed for the first time in a long time, and, and considering all, all the weird different things I've been using recently, we would borrowed hardware and what have you. I noticed that on boot up, my monitor wasn't detecting the HDMI out again and I'm sure someone in, in discord mentioned the same thing uh, completely oblivious to what Otto Wolf had said yesterday and what was strange was I can actually see because I have a stream rig I'm in a rather luxurious position I can I, I can see the signal before it leaves the capture card, obviously, as a preview. So I know the image is there. I know, I know, I, I can see the boot up through BIOS and into Windows, but it doesn't show on the monitor. Whoa, food critical. Oh my God, really? Wow. Why was food critical? I'm out of water. Oh shit, I'm out of water. Uh, we better go and get some. Do you think resizable bar? What, why, 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 would, why would you even have that? <laughs> Delete it with, with napalm. Uh, 
How do you like Icarus? Are you playing a single? You're right, Iceman. I am playing... I am, I've been solo all the way so far, dude. I think the only thing I, I'm not sure I like is the fact that there is a solo skill tree, which means that if I invest points in that, I can't then use those points in multiplayer. And I understand it. I, 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 you know, I can get why they've gone down that route, especially when it comes to sort of balancing the game. But it does seem to be a strange one. I mean, some of us like to play single player to, to get to know a game, get, get to understand it a little bit before we jump into multiplayer, you know, so we're not pissing off pros and things. But it, it, it does seem weird that, 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 that that's the one mechanical thing I can't get my head around. Um... And then it makes me reluctant to put points in solo because it means then if, if I do play multiplayer, actually what I have done now is probably hindered my group, you see. Um, it, it's, it's great for people that play with the same group of people. And I should imagine that's probably a huge majority of the player base. You know, most of us, if we're going to play a game and we're going to play it, you know, on a server or, you know, fri Friday night, weekend, whatever it is, it's going to be with a fairly consistent group of friends or family members or something. So I do get it. It for most of us, it, it's a bit of a a hurdle we're just going to have to overcome because of the way we play. But it just seems weird. It just seems weird. Like why not? I don't know. Maybe maybe the game is just really difficult to balance. Otherwise, it's the only thing I can think of. And of course, I don't know. I haven't seen enough of the game to be able to comment. So I can't really criticise it just yet. Your Sony TV would sometimes you lose HD my signal. I used to have that all the time. I had a, a Sony, what was it? A, one of the Sony Bravias. Yeah, exactly the same, Cedar. Yeah, yeah, I had this exact. Was yours a Bravia by any chance? I, I never managed to figure mine out, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, God. This is shocking. What are the chances, dudes? What are the chances? No way out, man. No way out because of the bear. Oh, dude. I took the bear out, nearly. And I nearly took the goddamn second wolf out. Oh, I did really well there. I can't, I can't be mad at that. Uh... I nearly took a second wolf. If I could have got a second wolf, it would have been all right. But I think it was a bit high level, wasn't it? Ah, that's rough, man. That's really rough. That's really, really rough. Let's all right, just give me one sec, guys. I really do just need to check my text messages. So this will be a perfect time before we respawn in the cave. Uh, should we just check where we are on the map? We're just outside, aren't we? So just, just bear with me. Oh, I'm so gutted. I really thought I was. I, I saw the bear. I saw the. I saw the first wolf, and I, I took. I took him out. That was a nice, really nice shot backpedaling. And I noticed the bear kind of ran off a little bit. I thought we were all right, and then the second wolf came in. I mean, what? Oh, that. I mean, that's rough, man. I mean, I, I'm. But I'm a bit gutted about the second wolf, to be honest. I felt like. Uh, I felt like we did. We did well enough. Look at his foot all bent up. Hang on, just bear me in one sec while I sort this uh, text message out. Go on.
all right. It's okay. We're all right. Uh, let's let's bounce back out. Oh, dude. Oh, I, I, that's probably a bad time to have done that as well because it's nearly night time, isn't it? Uh, do you think what time is it? 658. Do you reckon we... Oh, God, I keep pressing the wrong button, dude. Uh... Oh, God. I really thought... I, I tell you what, that would have been such a good victory. A bear and two wolves. I mean, that, that would have been such an epic fight to have won. Oh, God, and there's the bear, look. The bear still there, look. You can see him right through there. Oh, God, what the hell, dude? Lost track of the bear, I think he's somewhere down there. Yeah, he is, he is, yeah. Will that boar go aggressive if I get too close to it? I'm not sure how boars... The bear is right through there. God damn! Press the right button, dude. Uh, I think I think my body is just literally up here, but I, I don't know how I don't know how aggressive boars are, man. Thank you very very much, uh, Noblet. Thank you for the forty-nine. Abdullah, thank you for the following. Kratan, thank you very much for the gifted some going to Night Child sitting on the six. Oh, come on. Get out of here, boy. What are you doing, dude? Go find some truffles. <laughs> I've lost track of the bear. Yeah, we, we didn't... The, the, the XP hit wasn't too bad. I, I, I can live with the XP hit. I'm more gutted that it was a really cool fight that I honestly thought I could have won. I really did feel like... Uh, we'd actually nailed it, to be honest. I felt... I, felt I, I didn't feel cheated, but I did feel like... I felt like, damn, dude, you know? So close, man. So close. I almost feel like going and getting revenge on the bear. <laughs> What's, what, was my, uh, what was my weight there? 50 at the minute. Oh, dear me. Yeah, still, still with DX11. I was saying earlier, Max, mate, just just stay with DX11, dude. I honestly don't think DX12 is it's great in the sense that I, I could argue I can see a higher frame rate, but it's the fluctuations, dude. It, it's just too much. In DX11, power draw, GPU usage on this tracked through something as simplistic as MSI Afterburner, to be honest, let alone anything fancy. It, it, it's solid, dude. It, it's just like a, literally a solid line. With DX12, the peaks and troughs on power draw are fucking insane, mate. So it's clearly not optimised. And it even says that when you boot it up. Stay away from that, to be honest. <clears throat> you want me fist? No way, has it fist? Oh, dude, fantastic. I heard a rumble in the jungle that uh, it was. So this is finally the... Uh... Oh, dude, that's amazing. That's actually freaking... That's, that's really good news, man. Oh, I'm super pumped. What's it playing like? Have you actually had any uh, hands-on with it, dude? Oh, dude, that's brought a big smile to my face. So that's uh, that's actually ahead of schedule then, isn't it? Isn't that actually... Uh, uh, were people sort of expecting in, like, January, February of next year when they start touting about six months? 
I thought, I thought it'd be years away, mate. I honestly, I, I just don't trust them anymore to, to stick to anything that they say to be honest when it comes to time frames. Where the hell am I? I've gone completely the wrong way. <laughs> I thought I was. I think that don't look very Arctic down there, does it? Uh, has anyone else seen the Nightingale Survival Craft Trail? Uh, no. What? What? What's that? Is that like a superhero thing, or is that is that a game? <laughs> yeast. Look at all that gorgeous yeast for my uh, pneumonia. Oh, hang on. Shit, this is a storm incoming. Oh, dude. What the hell, dude? I, I mean, oh, God. <laughs> now, Abdul, I don't know if Abdul is still in chat. I'm not sure I can get in there in time, am I? What the hell was that? What the hell is that? What the hell's going on with my first person, dude? What the hell, dude? Is it because is it because is it because my hat's fl flying around in the wind or something? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? We'll wait till we get out. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, take care, Max. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Thank you very much, Katara. Thank you for the gifting of going to Night Child on the six, and thank you very much for the gifting of going out to Fist, sitting on the glorious seventeen as well. Thank you very, very much, Katara. Very kind of you, mate. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that. I don't think that's. I don't think it's ever blown around like that before. I, I, that's got to be a graphic glitch, right? Surely. Uh, shall I just take take my hoodie off? What's that, GD? So it's a Victorian, so not, uh, so what was it called? Night, did you say Nightingale? Did you say? Nightingale Survival Crafting Trailer. It's a Victorian style survival game. It's pretty scary. It's based on building tower defense elements. Have you, have you got a link to it, GD? I looked at that one called, what was that? What was that third person? Like sort of Escape from Tarkov esque. I can't remember the name of it now. It was like a triple barrel name. And I can't for the life of me remember. But uh, I did have a look at that. It, it actually looks pretty damn cool. But it, it's also one of those games that probably will never take off. It, it's just... It's not a first person shooter. You know, and people... You know, third person. It's just never going to cut the mustard, is it? And another one of those classic games that's probably really, really good. Like The Division 2. But third person just don't seem to sell to the to the masses these days, does it? Thank you very much, Katana. That's really kind of you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, have you heard anything about it at all, Fist? I mean, have you heard any preliminary sort of... Oh, wow, that is really messed up, isn't it? Is it? I think it's actually the matter there, is it? Shall I take all my clothes off? And put all my clothes. Oh shit, where did they all go? Oh fuck, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, just a, probably from death, wasn't it, when I picked up all my. Uh, when I auto equipped all my gear again. That is damn dark, isn't it? Uh, oh, I'm, making all, I'm making all the bad mistakes, aren't I? This is exactly what we shouldn't be doing. Uh, we're just doing it now. Just doing it now. Yeah, yeah. This is my third trip. Uh, I'm starting to realise just how much stuff you need in a stone base to essentially use it, really. You obviously need the masonry table to expand it. But you also need, therefore, the workbench for the rope. If you want to make windows... You're going to need nails, so you're going to need the anvil. It, it's it's quite... Oh, God, that is not good. We've got walls. It's pitch black. Oh, my God, dudes, I've made a... You know what I'm going to do? 
Let's get some light on this. Alright, good call, good call, bro. Good call, good call, good call. Are you, you uh, playing anything this weekend, Sadie? You got any got any plans to hit anything? Um, so you watched some gameplay last night. It looks pretty damn sweet. Huge map update. Massive new town. Curved road. Oh, curved roads. Um, when you say... I, I still don't... To be honest, Fist, I don't know that much about projects on board. I've never really got that into it. Um, all the maps are connected, right? Is that correct? Or, or, or is that not actually accurate at all? Is that a bear? That's a bear. Oh my god. It could be a polar bear. Alright, we're out of there, mate. There is no way I'm going over there when I can't see what I'm up against. Not in a million freaking years. No, uh, you know what? I think we just go home. I think we just head back and just hope to God. Jesus, this is this is this is dodgy as hell. So the maps are part of one big map. You must choose which town to... Yeah, so... When you start... There's like one called M Mulaho or Malau or whatever it's called, right? So I, I can choose to start in that one or any of the others, yeah? But without actually... <sighs> so, so I, say I have a server fist, right? Let's say I set up a server through Bluefang. I, I, I hate self-hosting. Um, and we, and we uh, through whatever settings we start in Mullahau or Malau, whatever it's called. Um, do the other maps therefore exist? In other words, how do we transition from one map to another in, in that game? And, and I assume what you're saying, on top of the existing maps, there is now an additional map to complete more of the jigsaw piece puzzle of, of maps. Is that right? This is terrifying. It's like anything. I, I just literally could walk into a pack of wolves or a bear right now. We're not a million miles from home, but my torches will be out, so... Deer. A rabbit. Don't mind rabbits. A wolf. Get out of here, bunny. You make a dash for it. God damn it, dudes. cave worms wow jeez that was un that was unlucky wasn't it with that bear and the two wolves that was shocking what's your report uh so this is like uh i can't really show you here sadie i can't actually show you it it's um think of it as mission based so we keep coming but each time we get a new permit it's it's essentially a drop pod back down to icarus uh, you know landing in different locales um 
and we're trying to we're, we're basically prospectors we're, we're, we're trying to ultimately try and find these things called exotics but the money we get from completing missions permits call them what you will we can use to buy sort of like permanent equipment to come down to the planets with so at some point we'll be able to drop down with some nice gear all, all ready and set up including some pretty sexy suits and it's really just working towards all of the I, I guess the, the the quest chain, but where it goes and narratively where it goes, obviously I can't tell you, dude, because I, I haven't done all that, so. And so you can travel seamlessly between. Them. And when you say seamlessly, do you mean like I, I don't pass a threshold? So I, I don't like go through a loading screen. I, I just one minute I'm driving down a road in let's say map one and it just naturally transitions into in, into map two does it where did that just come from where, where did that rotten meat just come from <laughs> uh, don't engage a bear of high experiences death penalty is disheartening yeah definitely not well yeah definitely uh, i just got this game and I'm, I'm gonna do my first mission with survey one how hard is it when bears spawn bears bears or an enemy that will completely destroy you until you know how to fight them. But then you also really need to know and, and be able to fight them on your own ground. You really need to choose the battle area. If if a bear just comes at you out of nowhere, you're already backpedaling a little bit until you start investing in movement speed and things. Um, my strongest advice is when you see a bear, leave it alone. Unless you've got optimal uh, conditions. And that is one, a relatively flat area. Um, or at least an area free of obstacles. Um, and also good visibility. Fighting a bear even at dusk or something. Um, as the shadow, you've got to remember, a lot of the beginning of the game, we are quite low down in a valley. So one minute, it's quite all right. And the next minute, the sun just goes down behind the mountains and you are just plunged into darkness. So the bears are not too bad. The, the, the best way to do it is to, if a bear, let's say a bear is coming at me, shoot it in the head with an arrow. Let it charge at you and then shuffle to the left and sprint past it just a little way. And it's doing a charge which it can't break out of. So it then has to sort of stop, jiggle around 180 and come back at you. And you kind of rinse, repeat that. On, on flat surface with good visibility, you could probably do that until your stamina becomes an issue. Um, and even take down a high level bear. But... Don't use, you, you've got to have at least bone arrows. Stone arrows, you, you're going to be there for way too long. So just stay away from them, Alexius. Just stay the hell away from them. And polar bears, don't even think about engaging a polar bear. I, I, I've left those things well alone for now. Uh, we actually will make some of our own bone arrows. But yeah, get, get bone arrows unlocked as soon as you can, dude. Makes a massive difference. Massive, massive difference. Uh, I, I was like killing cave worms with my normal bow and normal stone arrows. And some of those cave worms are taking like four or five shots. Once you get the long bow and the bone arrows, I've never seen a cave worm survive two shots. And in some cases, I even killed them in one. So, so on, on the mission with the bear, right, where, where you get the two bear spawn, the best thing to do is just to have an escape trajectory. So for me, I managed to jump down. I, the first two killed me because I didn't know what was coming. I had no idea. So I was going in blind. So I saw two bears. I, I tried to run away. I managed to jiggle around them for quite a while until they eventually killed me. But there is a lake down below where the bears spawn in. As soon as you know they've spawned in, I would recommend going down to the lake and paddling across. And you, you can swim as fast as a bear. And what will happen, if you can get out and jimmy around onto the left-hand side, there's no, there's only like one beach area, really, where the bears can get out. 
So you can actually get them kind of stuck in the water if you like. Um, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, you know, building defenses and things, but... The thing is, once they've killed you, they they normally not they don't normally don't stay in the area. So by the time you've got back there, the chances are you can just stealth in. Yeah, I would I wouldn't want to take two bears on, uh, not unless they were both simultaneously charging me, uh, which in theory in that mission they are. But and then the other two were not too bad. Uh, on, on the third scan, I did build like a little wall. I knew what was going to happen. I was expecting wolves and, and I won't say what, what it was. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I was very lucky. I, I had a tree trunk that was falling on the floor like a dead tree trunk. I thought that's the, we've got to use that to our advantage. And I built a little wall just behind it. So it was like a double barrier. And I managed to uh, I managed to survive that. The, the second one wasn't too bad. I think as long as you're a good shot with a bow, you should be all right. Yeah, and, and try what Jamie says. Yeah, I mean, basically, I, I mean, it's a really good idea, that, Jamie. Yeah, really good idea. I've never tested it. But I noticed that when I was swimming, the bears only swam as fast as I was. So in theory, if I thought about it, I could probably have turned around and just pew pewed arrows into them. Um, I, I don't know if I swim backwards as fast as I do forwards. I've got no idea. But yeah, it could, could be a good tactic, actually, that. Can you jump up on a rock and shoot a bear? Uh, I don't know. So I haven't seen... You mean like... Uh, I haven't seen any rocks that would be big enough, to be honest. I really haven't, so I'm not too sure about that. Uh, we don't have any fuel, do we? To burn. Um, I just don't think I've got any at all. Let's throw... Let's just throw the yeast in there. Sod's lore, isn't it? Now I've left the cave. I've got loads and loads of yeast. Are we, are we okay for water? We're not, are we? And we're also not okay for oxygen. We need to get back to the bloody base, really. Uh, let's have that, that... Uh, sorry, let's have that and that. You're right, lawyer. How are you, Brian? How's things? Um, I need to repair my bow as well. Which is bone. Because that's not looking too good. I'll tell you what, getting back into that um into that biome is gonna be tricky, isn't it? 356. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna drink coffee. It'll be daylight in a minute. Are you ever gonna try multiplayer? Yeah, I think so, Alexius. Yeah, I think this would be a really, really good game. I, I think I think this game would absolutely shine in multiplayer. And I think on each drop you could all take turns. Depends on how heavily you specialise. But I think you could all take turns doing different things so it wouldn't get boring. So on, on say, drop one, I could be the guy that goes off to the caves to go and get some iron. Um, while someone else, you know, starts building a basic shelter and things. Um, but I, I guess what will happen if you play with a regular group of friends, you'll all start sort of heavily specialising. So someone will be crafting the weapons. Someone will be cooking the food. Someone will be doing the building, you know. I think it would make sense to start a game. Uh, as a multiplayer game. Hmm. So they've added Louisville, a huge town to the northeast. Is that the one I was trying to pronounce? Muldra. Is it Muldra or something? Um. What did we need to make the epoxy? A tree sap, wasn't it? If I make four tree sap, I can make an epoxy, can't I? And with an epoxy, I should be able to make myself another antibiotic kit. Now that, why has that come out of my O2 slot? Strange, isn't it? Did I not? We'll take that just before we leave in the morning and then. I don't think it's quite light enough at five o'clock out here really, is it? Not really. Not, I can't believe that bear and wolf, man. I'm actually quite upset about that. I really thought we were going to nail it. We must have been really close. Yeah, but my workbench is back at the new build, Joshua, so I'm going to have to wait to get over there. 
we'll uh, we'll get out there. I need that can go back up into there, can't it? Yeah, we'll wait it out. Um, uh, P uh, Project Zomboid Multiplayer Defo is better as you can specialise in what you enjoy and your group progresses more efficiently. The only thing I would change from vanilla, the one thing I hated, and I mean I hated it, uh, was the the fact you can never recover from infection fist. That that destroys the long term gameplay. Uh, it, it, there's plenty of other things that will kill you. The chances in Project Zomboid, you know, bleeding out, infections, and I mean like uh, you know stuff you just need antibiotics for, you know, septic stuff, uh, lacerations, you know, climbing through a window with glass. I hated the fact that if I got simply one scratch from a zombie that that could be the end of my character. And I know for some people that, you know, that's really sort of, you know, hardcore. To me, it just, just makes the game boring as fuck. I hate it. Absolutely hate that side of it. I, I think uh, there's so many ways to die. Uh, and I'd, I'd rather take like a, a literally like, like a 10-hour penalty where I can't move around a lot. But, you know, if I'm in multiplayer, at least I can stay back at base and do something while, you know, I, I fight the infection. Uh, that that really destroys some boy for me. Yeah, I mean, when I say infections, I'm talking about the actual bite or the scratch. Yeah, yeah, but they still can. They still can. Those scratches and gashes. Yeah, they can still lead to uh, imminent death. I, I I despise that. So that that's the only thing I'd probably change from vanilla in the uh, in the config files or, or mod it if if there's a good mod that you know maybe add something that's quite hard to get. That helps you uh, fight it off, perhaps, rather than just doing it through like the in-game settings. Like I said, I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying like people shouldn't play that way. It's just it's so frustrating that, that just like a single scratch from a zombie, but what what the hell can, can lead to uh, you know the loss of a you know a really long-term character. Just very all the other things feel like. You know, you've made a mistake. You know, you made a mistake. You know, you, you were the one that clambered through the window. You, you, you were the one that out in the pissing down rain, na naked, getting pneumonia. But a scratch from a zombie? You know, I get it. You, you know, I'm not saying that isn't legit lore or anything. Just in a, in a permadeath game. And especially in multiplayer where you really are probably going to specialize quite heavily the thought of like losing you know the medic in the team because they got a scratch on a zombie is frankly it, it's, it's just frustrating oh no i think i've just set fire to the forest again there's definitely a wolf there but i need more right don't know where to keep moving forwards yeah, I, I disagree, Fist. I, I think the game's already got 99 other things. I think that extra one thing with the scratch just makes it dull as fuck. Because it, so sometimes it just happens, especially if you're streaming it. You know, and you take a phone call or something. You know? I, I, it's just ridiculous. It's, just, it's unnecessary. The, the game's already punishing enough as it is without going to a, a stupid scratch from a zombie. Yeah, it's a good game, Alexis. Yeah, I, I think I think uh, it has to be played multiplayer though. I, I, th I think trying to play Project Zomboid solo is the very definition of just boredom, to be honest. And I think it adds so many variables, and, and it's one of the very few games where you care about your friends as much as you care about your own character. It's uh, you know, in a game like this, you, you know, I don't know if, if, if like I don't know, said you fist was over there and they got eaten by a bear i'd probably be pissing myself laughing you know what i mean but <laughs> so you're thinking like, at least it wasn't me <laughs> but but in uh in project zomboid you, you know you, you're pro i don't know like rifleman marksman medic cooker carpenter whatever it is just gets murdered by a pack of zombies because they made a mistake it's like shit dude you know, how are we going to put the rest of, you know, the, the Palisade defences up now? You know, we've lost the Carpenter, you fucking idiot. I kind of love that. It's, it's, it's one of the very few multiplayer community games 
where you look after one another as much as you look after yourself. I think in most of the games, it's kind of like, yeah, you're playing together, but, you know, the death penalty isn't that bad, so it doesn't really matter if someone goes off to a cave on their own and, and, and dies horribly, you know, it's just an annoying corpse run together. In, in Zomboid, it's like, damn, dude, you know, that character's have been reading carpentry books for, like, the last 30 hours, man, and now, now they're dead. Yeah, it's still the chance. This is it, Fist. It's still that stupid RWG chance there. I just I just think it's... I, I can't lose a 50, 60 hour character because of a fucking scratch, mate. Oh, that's just fucking stupid, man. Absolutely fucking stupid. I, I don't, like you said, I don't mind some of the other things. To see, if I kill that wolf, which I'm going to have to, that's going to attract the polar bear. <laughs> and that's going to be bad. Oh, those trees have been destroyed by the uh, the continuing storms. We've got a problem here. I don't have a route through to the, uh, to the camp, do I? Uh, I'll definitely take the tonic, because we can't be having that movement and stamina debuff, can we? See, I'd be even more annoyed there, you see, Fist. You know, let, let's say we get, you, you know, you wrap the newspapers and the duct tape around your arms or whatever it is, and, or, you know, you've got your leather arm or even some Kevlar or something, and there's still going to be, like, maybe that 1% chance that scratch is going to lead to that infection. No way, bro. Project Zomboid does not run on a potato. Project Zomboid is one of the worst fucking optimized games in the history of fucking gaming, dude. <laughs> it's fucking shocking. I mean, yeah, all right, you're not going to need like a 3000 series card, but it does not run on a potato, mate. <laughs> Project Zomboid's fucking terrible, man. Oh my god, I actually can't see shit. Oh wow, I actually can't see. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. I can't move. I'm actually dead, guys. Oh shit. I have no idea where I am. Where am I? My base is up there. I'm not going to make it. Why, why have you even got a seller on 2 gigahertz? I bet that, I bet that is a stutter fucking mess, dude. Project Zomboid's a stuttery mess anyway. Fucking 2 gigahertz seller with a 550. Whatever. <laughs> You're right, Zeller. How are you, mate? How's things? Thank you very much, Zanzibar. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the three, dude. I'm not gonna make it even if I eat all of that and that and that and that We're so close. We're literally gonna die on the doorstep aren't we? I was stealth you fucking idiot. I wonder if it'll let me jump in. I've got any stomach to jump in. Oh you jammy git. I'm still losing health, though, rapidly. And we offset it. Oh, dude, that was close, boys. And you know what I haven't got? I haven't got any wood. I didn't bring any wood over. Uh, okay, let's throw in... Ding, 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 Throw that in there, throw that in there, get rid of that. Stone can also go in there. The fur can go in there. All this can go in the fire. We're all right. We're not dying anymore. I'm a bugger for not noticing I'm not in stealth, you know. You never know, it might, might be what saved that line. All of it is rubbing around. Right, let's grab, uh, let's grab this down. 
Let's grab the old anvil now. Bye. Oh, that's cool. I can actually pick things up while I'm in the build mode. I didn't realise that. And if we're going to need some... Well, hang on. Let, let's just re... Let's just wait. Let's wait this storm out. Go and get some wood. So, yeah, but I, did, I was worried about the bear, Alexius. Yeah, and I didn't want to... I, I was in stealth because I didn't, I didn't know where I was. I didn't know how close the bear was. But then I didn't... When I was close enough to home, I didn't realise I... Uh, I didn't realise I was still in freaking what's it. You can you can build a quick igloo in a way, Ultra Kid, because you can use uh, what we call the rock igloos, dude. Yeah. That <laughs> piece of something would actually give a higher FPS. Uh, you, can, you can tell the, 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 the Project Zomboid fanboy's got, I've, I've got, I've got a cellar on with the GTX 550. <laughs> yeah, I bet that plays beautifully. <laughs> Your potato won't run Icarus just looked at your Nvidia GeForce GTX 1060 G. Yeah, I think uh, I know Hash is running on a 1070. Uh, yeah, I, I want to keep the sticks, uh, sticks Elixius. Yeah, we want to keep those because I need them for. Um, I think I need them for the. What do we need? That's for the rope. Was it for the rope or was that fire? But no, you're right, actually. Yeah, I probably can, can't I? Let's just go and get some trees. I just need a little bit of wood, don't I? Let's get that health back up. I, I, I rather stupidly con consumed a full stack of berries, which I didn't actually mean to in the, in the heat of the moment. I've already done it, Enslave. Yeah, yeah, I've already, I've already got it completed, dude. I'm just, um, I'm, j I just, I try and ding like 21 and then 22 before I actually activate the antenna. Um, as, as a treat for completing the mission so well yesterday, outside of the slight hiccup with the with the what's it the um the cave scenario i thought i'd i'd treat us to a little bit of stone building but it's quite interesting stone stone you know you can't just make it you can't just magically make a stone building you need quite a lot of prerequisite functionality to get a stone building up and running In including some basic crafting benches that you're probably going to have to put under cover if you're not going to do it in a cave which means putting all your eggs into a thatch basket which isn't exactly ideal really yeah we've burnt sticks before yeah we have we have done it oh my god this is brutal dude i don't know whether to unlock like one of the the more fancy pants workshop axes or just go down the route of steel because i think steel requires something like steel flux doesn't it and i can't actually remember what what that requires to be honest yeah i'm looking forward to projects on board then uh, i wonder if um who's the guy who was playing it? i know um Mustachio man played it, but I won't, I won't be watching it. Uh, who was it? He played it. I can't remember. There's a, isn't there a guy who's still playing it? He's on like something ridiculous. Like he survives. His character's like been going for like two years or something. Yeah, I won't. I won't be watching you. Uh, I did this one last night. You, sorry, Enslave. Yeah, got that. You right, Advina? How are you? How are you feeling today, Advina? You you having a better day today, mate? Wow, you can see the snow up on the roof now. Look. Okay, we are in. Um, so we want to make some. Let's let's get some logs on the fire. We don't need a huge amount, do we? Let's pop that on there. So at least we've got that going. We want to make some windows, but the windows are made weirdly in the crafting bench, aren't we? And we need, so we need six ingots and 24 nails. 
So if you take the six ingots and a few extra, oh shit, that's not good, is it? Six ingots and then we'll make, uh, let's make, oh, whoa, whoa, hang on, how many we got in there? We've got eight already in there, so I only need two, don't I? So if we make two of those, crap. It's all chilly, is it, today? Uh, my, my money's coming up today, uh, Advina. If, uh, if all goes well. I have a bit of a... Didn't quite see that one coming, mate. <laughs> uh, we should be able to make... So I can only make two. I need four more rope, which is more fibre. Which I should have some fibre, surely, right? Crafting in this is exceptionally good, I've got to admit. And then I can make my last window. Let's hope these work the way we think they're going to work. Alrighty. And then we'll pop. So let's try one in the corner there. Oh, they're actually double windows. Oh, that's actually really cool. Holy shit. Think, uh, do you think the icy chill will take a while to... Where's my torch? We can probably pick that up, can't we? Is there any reason why we're still so cold? Is it is it just because it is cold, even though we're indoors? Or is there, an, or is there a problem with the build? Are you, are you going to stream it later, Earth? I'll have to... I'll, if you stream it later first, I'll, I'll come over. Well, if I get a chance. Is it fr it's Friday tonight, right? I'm watching my mum's image. Um, and, uh, do you reckon there's a, a flaw in my build? <laughs> Is there a draft? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a store. Yeah, that's a store. Why use an oxidizer when you can just use your suit? Right, because the oxidizer here, let, let me give you a little walkthrough on how this works, right? So you're probably used to having oxide and you probably haven't got an oxygen bladder or an oxide or an oxidizer, right? So if you take this stack of 50, right, and put it in there, yeah? You will have oxygen for X amount of time. Um, and it's not as long as you think. You will be topping it up quite regularly. If you have an oxidizer, and that's this thing, this is the tier 2 oxidizer, and you put in a bladder, and you put in the sulfur, and you put in some oxide, <clears throat> you will use very little oxide, right? You can see, look, I only have about four or five pieces of oxide to fill this up from where it was, or whatever it's going to be. Ten, maybe? Probably 10, I'd say 10, because I, I think we're down to 42 and I think we've probably had a double pip in there. So I've only used eight oxide, yeah, to fill up a whole bladder. That bladder there, right, will last me. We don't know, we, we, we were gonna try time it yesterday. But when you put that in there, yeah, we we had a full bladder yesterday, at like, I think it was like 9.55 in the morning. Uh, and it's something like, it was like 45 minutes later, it, it still wasn't even remotely consumed you know we'd still got i don't know like 20 20 25 percent left in it so it, it's massively more efficient Haluxius. and i mean massively more efficient and, and the thing is what that means is it means less time worrying about oxygen but also why well, I, I have a feeling what will happen at some point we will probably have we will probably have times oh shit Yeah, we'll probably have uh, drops, for example, where there's very little oxide around. You know, so you've got to maximise it. Yeah, they're really good. I mean, I, I wasn't going to bother with it because probably a bit like you, Halixius. I was genuinely thinking, like, what's the point? I don't really struggle with oxygen. And uh, Script was in chat and he just happened to say, like, wow. You know, he's built one and he, he's, like, amazed at how much more efficient it is. So I thought, well, let's let's make one then. Let's see how much more efficient it really is. And and I, I've got to admit, I, I agreed. It, it, it's a night and day difference, dude. 
And the beauty of it is as well, you can have them. They're really easy to make, these bladders. I think you make them on the workbench. They are like literally like fiber, leather, and bone, which you've got in, in such huge quantities, mate. That having this, every time you come back to base, you just switch one out and it also starts filling your old one. You know, it's it couldn't be any better. Def definitely one of the, so something I will always make, I think. I get back in there, I'm setting in. I just want to fill up that. See, that's going to prioritize food, isn't it? So I'm going to have to take out meat, meat. Uh, we'll take that out, take that and that out. Ditch that in there. If I pop that and my water bladder in. Yeah, definitely enslave. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it just means you've always got a bank of oxygen at home as well. And, you know, you don't have to worry about storing heavy oxide. And... So, what's next? What are we actually doing next? Uh, I would like to do... I mean... <sighs> Obviously, we've got to put the antenna down, haven't we? I mean, should we just do that and see what happens and just hope it's not catastrophic? <laughs> I mean, you've got to assume it's going to summon some polar bears or something in, right? Uh, and the house actually technically isn't that... I'm still a bit surprised that I'm so cold in here. Uh, I, I don't know whether I'm ex I was expecting that to be... I mean, I haven't put the corner pieces in, have I? Um, which were these. But that, that would cost a lot of iron to put the reinforced pieces in, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? Well, I don't know yet. I mean, I, I suppose outside, I mean, it, it is dropping to like minus 35 and in here it's... What was it? Was it about minus 15? I, I think if I stand nearer to it, it helps, doesn't it? I don't know, yeah. I don't, there are stoves. There definitely are stoves and things. I think that's a really cool... Uh, really cool animation on these. And yeah, you've got plenty of points to click as well. Um, a ladder to the roof. Now, that's a good idea. Can you get ladders? A ladder's even a thing. So look, look in the tech tree. Uh, ladders, 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 ladders. Word. There's not going to be stone ladders, are there? I wouldn't have thought. Reinforced ladders. A strong ladder, highly durable. Can bears climb ladders? <laughs> You're right, Mr. Husky. How are you, Ice Things? Uh. Be nice to have a trap door as well, wouldn't it? That'd be like really cool. So like you go up to the top, have it as like a a viewable port. Uh, that, I mean that would be really cool, wouldn't it? Uh, we've got twenty five points. Wonder if you can just make a normal ladder. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, tank tree tier one. You've got to think. There's a wooden ladder, haven't you? Make a wooden ladder. Just add some fibre and some wood. Uh, thing is, if you're going to put it on the outside of the building, it's going to get destroyed, isn't it? So it would make more... Unless you're going to do the, the ladder internally to a trapdoor in the roof. But that's going to take up quite a lot of space, isn't it? But it would be better. So I could go trapdoor to reinforce trapdoor and the, and the cheap. Hmm, what do you think, guys? You always carry a wooden ladder, do you, Slay? Really? What, 71 degrees Fahrenheit, Mr. Ruskin? You'll have to convert that for me. I've got no idea, bro. <laughs> uh, you alright, Starkey? How you doing, bro? Um... How many ingots have we got there? We've only got 10 ingots, haven't we? Which is 100 nails. If I put a ladder in here, it's, it's, it's going to block me, isn't it? 
But should we do it anyway? Just to see how it works? I, I think we throw caution to the wind a little bit. Let's just have a play. Let's go for... Let's make a stone floor trapdoor and a reinforced trapdoor. And... Oh, how come I can't get that? I'd have to... I'd have to unlock the stone roof ramp in order to get the ladder. Now, here's a question. If I take that out, right? Can I convert that into a trapdoor? Or is it specifically a different... Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, wow. However, I've got a bit of a problem with snow now. <laughs> now, I assume the trapdoor is going to be in here, isn't it? Which is four more rope. I can make rope in there if I grab some fiber. Uh, da, 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 da. We've got plenty. Oh shit, I didn't mean to take that. So let's make four that. What's the plans today, Advina? You got anything? Uh, you got anything exciting going on? It's still in there, isn't it? Keep going, it doesn't go into my backpack. How do I know which way that's going? Is that where the hinge is, or is that... Snow on it. Probably not where I want it, actually. Probably want the ladder here though so if I pick up the trap door and then place it. I think I can see like the, the hinges there can't you place it there yeah that would be better wouldn't it um So I'd have to invest, what, what is it for a reinforced ladder? Eight ingots for a reinforced ladder? Holy shit, dude. Um, should we go for a tier one? I don't know, I mean, is it is it a waste getting a tier one when we can get a tier two? Because then I, at least I can put them on the outside, can't I? But I'm going to be out of ingots. I've only got ten ingots left. That would be everything. And I need to, oh shit, I need to repair my boat as well, don't I? Uh, we need some bone on the cracking table. Let's repair that. That's an ingot. Probably don't need to worry about that. I still seem to have some... Why have I got snow coming in? Is the trapdoor open? Or... Why do I still have snow coming through? <clears throat> is it just... Is it just because we've still got snow up on the roof? Or... Uh, go for the wood ladder, can use it in a cave. Easy to craft to get to nodes. But I won't be able to put them outside though, will I? If you if you make a fancy ladder, yeah, so it, can, can you can you strip them out? So looking after sick, are they still? Oh, are they both? Are they both? Uh, is all three poorly, Advina? Or oh, man, how are you feeling? You, you haven't come down with a lurgy, have you? I think just for now, I'm gonna go for a tier two, purely because I'll, it will enable me to play about with externals. Now, do will I, am I going to have to go one, two, three points? That seems damn expensive, but stone seems like a really cool building material, so I think I'm going to want to unlock it all anyway, ultimately, aren't I? Fuck it, let's do it. Committed. Now, a ladder's made on here. They are. So I'm going to need to get my ingots, grab those, I uh, need eight nails. Do we have any nails left lying around? We do not. 
Uh, oh, it's that, isn't it? Sorry. I'm going to need to grab some... Oh, shit. Oh, no, we'll be all right, because I've got some in my backpack. I remember to actually take them out. I always forget. And crap that. Nice. Okay, so we've got a sexy new hardcore ladder. Like I said, if I, if I want one for caves, it'll be super easy to, to spend an extra point in there, won't it? Let's see how this works in terms of getting up and down then. How do you... How do you snap that to a trap door? Anyone know? Can you, can you snap it to a trapdoor? Oh, what the hell? Anybody know how ladders work? <laughs> Colliding. Got the go way to snap to it, surely. Uh, not sure about this, guys. Is it just is it just like free placement? Is it? How do you how do you use a oh wow oh wow damn look at that be kind of nice if when you do that the snow wasn't there I mean that would be nice but. kind of like the action i suppose it won't matter when you're not in a snow biome though will it <laughs> but yeah i can't that's actually quite cool with the free placement i'm sort of quite impressed with that be nice if you had the option to snap it though right so how are we doing on arrows let's pop you in let's pop you in say yeah. All you gotta do now is turn it on when the storm's hot. Let oh, it charge up. Hot. And <laughs> wait. What, so do I actually have to wait for a storm, do I? Or How many arrows? We've got 43 arrows. Um, what's what's this, Darky? Uh, the game looks so in depth, like you could see. Is this a uh, Myth of Empires? You're talking about Harsky. Uh, ha Harsky stars Starkey. Sorry, dude. I'm tired, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard I've heard a lot about Myth of Empires. I was very tempted, dude. I was really close to considering it. I like the idea of uh, the server play. But, of course, I don't think you can actually buy it at the minute, can you? Because of the issues they've got. Is it like, I don't know, whether it's a DMCA issue or something. But um, I did see some combat. You, you know, ESO. And, and it looked janky as fuck, man. And I wasn't sure whether it needed a little bit more... A little bit more cooking time, Myth of Empires. But I do like the whole vibe. It looks like a really, you know, especially with the horses and everything. We're going to get some... Do you reckon there's a polar? There's a lot of sulfur down there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about whether or not I've, I've built the... I, I was expecting us not to have quite as much chili, chili in there. Like, like Jan said, once we've got a campfire and a 2 and 2 I, I thought the temperature in there might... might Ah, I wonder if there's in ah, is isn't there insulated walls? I mean you've got to bear in mind it is stone walls, right? I'm not sure if there is an insulated version or something. Do you think I need to wait until the storm rolls in to actually activate that scanner? It sounded like it, didn't it? When am I taking on a polar bear? When we unlock uh, napalm and rocket propelled grenade launchers would be the uh, fairly accurate answer to that one. <laughs> Read a fucking never. 
<laughs> Unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> Uh, you got kicked from Twitch, so I saw you said something before I got kicked. Uh, he said, the game looks so in-depth and like you can sink hundreds of hours in and still have a fair bit of content to do. It's on your next to buy list. Yeah, I, I was just saying, uh, Husky, I, I, I don't know, it just feels like, I don't know, I, it was the combat that kind of panicked me a little bit. I, uh, I watched the ESA like, like stabbing, stabbing this, this dude and it all looked very, I don't know janky would be the word i'd use but it looks great apparently performance is horrendous though isn't it i know eso was saying like even for him to be winning it and you've got to assume he's got a pretty decent computer right i mean a youtuber of his uh, caliber and he, he was having to play on like medium settings and even on his youtube video it was it was all over the place man But it, it, look, it looks like it's got... It really does look fun. Uh, I've got to admit, it, it really caught my eye. I just couldn't help but... Oh, there's a bear down there. I just couldn't help but feel like, would Conan just not be a superior game for now? While Myth of Empires is worked on, you know? This is not a good place to fight a bear. But the bear has already seen me, so... <laughs> I seem to be getting headshots, do I? Or am I? No, I'm not. What level is this bear? There's something else coming out of the glass. There's a wolf. I couldn't make it up. Could you? <laughs> Alright, one wolf, one bear. Alright. One wolf, two, uh, one bear, two wolves was a little bit too much, I think. We're talking about Danny ESO. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, ESO, the ESO channel. I, I don't really know him particularly well. He, he tends to have some good quality early access videos. He's very nicely spoken, nicely groomed gentleman. Very, very calm, relaxed, seems to, uh, you know, he, he's not the most. I don't know. I, I, I just, I just like him for watching some early content. You know, he, he's he seems he seems like a decent bloke. He seems like a very decent bloke, actually. Looks, he always looks happy. Always looks like he's got a little, a little cheeky smile on his face. You know, he, he look. He, he reminds me of someone that still enjoys computer games, and like a lot of these folks that you watch, he, he you know, it's a business, isn't it? You know. It's like them all fucking back to seven days, you know. Un hundreds of content creators all back on seven days, flooding the fucking YouTube algorithm with fucking yet more bullshit. All doing exactly the same thing, just copying each other and then having a row on Reddit about who first came up with the idea. <laughs> he doesn't get involved in such shenanigans. Uh, did I see if you saw it yesterday, but did... No, I've not taken a polar bear on, though. I don't think I should take a polar bear on, dude. I really don't. I don't think there's anything to be gained out of taking a polar bear on at the minute, mate. Combat's quite hard. Yeah, when it, it was kind of weird. It, it, I mean, it was. It, it, he got his ass banked, but I think, to be honest, I can't remember what level the NPCs were. It, it was no surprise, but it, it was just that it looked janky. It just, you know, having now played, I mean, to be honest, Conan, Conan has ruined combat like that for me for, for all games you know it, it, the melee in, in conan is really good you know i'm not saying you know it, it's of a caliber of something that is specifically built around you know dark souls or something like that you know where, where the combat is extremely melee or magic focused for example um whoa did i not bring oh i didn't bring the water skin I did. Oh no! I left it in the campfire. Oh shit! Oh dude, I'm making I'm making basic mistakes today, aren't I? Big mistakes. Yeah, it it, it looked like it's sort of like. I don't know. You know, it just there was like no finesse to it. It was like you might as well just button mash. Um. 
But again, I'm not saying that is the case. That That's the impression I got. I didn't watch a huge amount, mainly because I didn't want any spoilers, but... I, th I think he got a spear and it all felt like, you know, like it felt like it was like passing through the enemy. There was no like real collision or anything. No sense of weight, momentum, connection to the combat. Like, like so many other melee games. But it, it is, I do have to bear in mind that Conan did such a good job with that. That I do struggle when I see melee in other video games these days. You know, they, they did a really good job in uh, Kane. Yeah, it's still got a bit of jank to it. But you know what? If you want to actually block something and, and come up with a little a little combo after it, it it's all right, man. It's it's a pretty sweet game. I've played whole, you know, AAA production RPGs that aren't, you know, don't feel as good, to be honest. The sword and board combat is great. Uh, and, you know, the way you can switch out to your daggers and get the bleed attacks in, and then switch out to your to your bow for the crippling shots while you, you know, lob bloody grenades or whatever, or molotovs in there. It's, it's, Conan's a bloody good game when it comes to combat. I can't think of anything in that open world genre that really comes close to it, to be honest. Yeah, but berries would have got me out for a, a minute or two, but I, th I think the problem is because I've lived in the area so long, I've actually nailed a lot of the berries. I say no, sir. I say no. Like a pro, boys. Like a pro. No problemo now. Starting to feel a little bit more... A little bit more at ease with it all. Starting to, starting to get it. Drink my wee wee. You right, Zoe? <laughs> uh, using the very crossroads is 100% awesome, though, especially when riding the horse. Yeah, I, I must admit, I did. I really like the horses. The horses look phenomenally good. And the armor. I mean, you know, talking about all the things, you know, the world looks great, you know, when it's performing well. Um, the horses, the horse combat, the weapons, the character models. Um, what I didn't really see any major building. You just, you know, like literally like a little 2 2 kind of thing. So yeah, it, uh, yeah, I, I think it's got potential. I, I just hope whatever's going on with this DMCA or whatever it is doesn't put a complete spanner in the works. So. Uh, you're right, Loki. They updated it, did they? Yeah, good luck to them, mate. Whatever. <laughs> uh, don't need to be on that cash machine on, on Twitch. Bleeding you all dry with mischief, maker. Uh, didn't realise you were that close to the cave. Yeah, pretty close. You're right, Mr. Bad Habits. How are you, mate? Yeah, you know, I was thinking, Mr. Husky, for this, I was thinking about having... Because the crossbow is presumably, like, really, really slow, right? To reload. So what I was thinking was having a crossbow and a bow in the inventory. So you could open up with a stealth shot with a crossbow for that really big hit in two and a half times damage or whatever it is. Um, and then once you need to then, you know, still be hitting things, just switch back out. I, um, I'm not convinced that wouldn't be a good idea, to be honest. Right, we'll head back so as soon as this storm's clear. And it, uh, well, is it night time? So, yeah, we'll, we'll sleep through the night and we'll go back and we'll trigger this thing. So it's the things I'd really like to do in 23 now. I would re oh, I didn't take it out, did I? Uh, we'll take that. We'll have that in a... Well, sorry, that's for some reason not. Have I not, did I not make it? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking that's the actual uh, product in the top left. You don't think you can have the bone crossbow in the same inventory? What, in the hot bar? Well, it won't let you have a bow and a crossbow. What, for real? What, have you tried it? or Why would it not let you have a bow and a crossbow? You mean you can only have one ranged weapon or something? So you couldn't have like a, a bow? Seems weird. So you're saying I couldn't have a shotgun and a pistol? Seems weird. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, like the, the bow on slot one and the crossbow on slot two. I'm not saying, you know, like being able to, like, I don't know, magically come in here or something.
Right. Seven o'clock we can sleep, can't we? Uh, oh no, I can't because I haven't got an active campfire, have I? I can take a bit more wood out of one of these. Though. Oh my god, we got lightning hitting the trees outside again. That, I think that's crazy, honestly. The weather in this game. Absolutely freaking phenomenal. I've got a dread to think what else is to come. I'm sure they've got all sorts of plans for uh, even more shenanigans. I have to spend a point there, yeah. And I, I, I'm going to assume it needs some iron or something. And I really, I haven't got anything left now, dude, unless I find another cave. So, so what else, uh, Mr. Husky? What, what else when you say you can only allow one thing at a time? So give me an example. I, I haven't come across anything where I can't. It's never stopped me putting anything in my inventory hot slots. So what else have you come across then? Because that, that's important that I know that, dude. Because I'd hate to unlock the crossbow when I need to find out, shit, you know, now I can't. I mean, should, I mean, could you not just, like, then just take that out and then pop in the crossbow? I don't, I don't get it. Oh, you're talking about myth of them. I was going to say, dude, I was going to say, like, shit, I really need to know about that. Like, I'm going to be really pissed off if I unlock the crossbow. Sorry, dude. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I haven't come across anything else, so it would be kind of weird to, to limit you on that point, wouldn't it? Right, this is it. This is it. I'm going to get back to uh, base camp. I'm going to go through Jimmy Riddle, get a coffee, and then we're going to initiate the, uh, the Gingangula. That is so cool. That really is. And that is now, now if I chop that tree down, now I get charcoal from it as well, don't I? Really cool touch. I must admit, that was quite one of the things I liked in a Project Zomboid, actually. Our, uh... It's quite funny as well, because remember I said that if, if Project Zomboid came along at the same time as Alpha 20, that I wouldn't even dream of playing Alpha 20. I, I, I didn't think in my wildest dreams, right, that that would happen. I had, I just had no faith that Project Zombo multiplayer would actually happen for like months, if not a year or two. <laughs> That's kind of cool. God, the lighting. Let's just look at that. That's freaking gorgeous, man. You can't use it. No, I tried it. Yeah, yeah. You can't burn the charcoal. I think it's one of those things where that they've just called it like something that it isn't. We noticed something else like the, is it the flint arrows are actually made out of iron ore? I, I think there's, I think there's just a few silly, it's like pneumonia. Pneumonia shouldn't be called pneumonia. It, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Um, yeah, I, I think the game's still got, you, you know, I, as much as it's not early access, I still think there's a few things they need to they need to tweak from a terminology and a nomenclature point of view, just to make it make a bit more sense, perhaps. All right, this is it then, boys, and then we're going to a new a new drop. Oh, I tell you what, it'd be a really tough call to say which one looked better. You know, I'm not. I um. I think that the overall lighting implementation with this is phenomenal. Like, absolutely phenomenal. But I haven't seen enough of it to know how diverse it gets. Arc on, on, arc on a beach with the beautiful blue oceans and coral reefs can be quite hard to beat, to be honest, in, in terms of open world survival games. The, the problem is with that game is performance. It, it, it is horribly still to this day. Not necessarily unoptimized, just trying to do things in, in a way that probably have been done better now. Um, I think some of the maps, like Ragnarok, perhaps might be might be better optimized than the island, for example. But. But again, I, I mean, I think this is like something like 64 kilometers squared, the map in total. 
I mean, I've done a few missions where you literally only see like a few grids. Oh, there's a bloody wolf just sitting there, look. Asshole. That was not a kill shot, anyway. Well, I hope, I hope they're all okay, Advina. Big cuddles to them all. It's never nice when they get sent home, is it, mate? Must be, uh, must be worrying. You're probably always thinking, oh god, have they got like the mega lurgy as well, right? What's that, Fresh Brew? Uh, thought the gameplay drove you away. All the clicky clicky. Uh, hang on, which game are we talking about, Fresh? Um, they've also added a self mapping system that draws the map as you travel around and search foraging system that does a proper job. Is question, is question, Fist. Because it's, it's my one big criticism of this game. And, and to be honest, if this is the biggest criticism I've got, it's not a terrible thing, so it won't make or break some void for me. But didn't, um... Okay, can you add annotations? Can, can you actually add on your map, like, little notes? I was never sure whether that was something I actually needed to get, like, a, 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 you know, in Zomboid, like, maybe I needed to get some paper and a pencil and things like that, or a biro, so I can actually do it. I, I'd, I'd, I love that, because there's no reason, yeah, I could do it in real life, right? I, I could be drawing a little map in real life of, 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 of you know, where I am. I think I'm just going to kill that bit. I'm so close. Well, we're not close, but we're close to like half level look. And I've got a bear and a wolf down here. Wow, that was a good shot. Fucking hell, 717 damage. I'm getting a little low on. Oh, God. Do with some sticks. Definitely a bear down there, isn't there? I'm really busting for a piddle, man. What do you reckon? There's another, see, there's another wolf over there, so if I engage the bear, I could end up yanking him all the way up here. But that that's a good kill scenario there, isn't it? Why can I not skim that? Oh, shit! They come at you so fast, don't they? They really do. It's like one minute, you know, he's, he's minding his own business. These bears are fast, dudes. It's definitely a wolf down there. Well, let's go and see if that storm's clear. Um... Oh, I remember you saying you were bored getting on a Dory just clicking endlessly in the late game. They limited your options to run around on foot and shoot things. All right, what? Well, yeah, I, I would never play Ark again, Fresh Brew. Yeah, it's, it's a dead game for me. Uh, I, I always knew there was an issue with it. Uh, I, I, I had too much of a honeymoon period every time I went back, and then that honeymoon period literally crashed and burnt. And I slightly overcame it by not allowing Argents. Argents just ruined that game. There's just, once you've got an Ark, there's nothing that can hurt you. You know, you know, outside of like obviously the extreme stuff, you know, you just fly around on an argent and it, it just ruins it. They're, they're so OP, it's ridiculous, mate. So the playthrough without the arges I felt was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um, but it, it, it's the lack of interest in combat. Co combat has no finesse to it. It's just the same buttons over and over and over. And most of the content you can't really do as, as a as a human you, you know most of it you need to be on a dinosaur and most of the dinosaurs just have like a basic attack and there's there's no finesse to it it's it's just a really boring combat in, in arc it's there's no being good at it in fact the, the, the most advanced combat is arges when you swoop down onto a giga's head and keep swiping at it or something but that's that's one of the things that murders it for me. But there's other games where combat's dull as well. As long as the rest of the game's in intriguing and exciting. I don't mind so much, but... Um, the problem is with Ark is 
well, you, you reach a point, no matter how much you tell yourself, you're not going to have hundreds of dinosaurs or, you know, you, you're, you're not going to build a big base. That's what you want to do. You want to have all your dinos in, in a big sort of Jurassic Park <laughs> set up in a big building. And, and this, the, the game just, the, the network on that game in terms of maintaining a good frame rate even on a on a moderately busy server is trash tier and i can't i just can't i just can't play a game like that it just takes all the fun away from it it, it really is so i hope that's my big wish for arc to be honest if arc 2 just makes the dinosaurs combat and, and things like clipping giving them a you know when a dinosaur just clips through a wall and it just takes away all, all it just it's ruins the fun man it's it's, it's, it's that suspects the disbelief that's so impossible to maintain once that happens um you know i've got high hopes that arc 2 will maybe i don't know i mean i don't know i've got no idea <coughs> i just i just hope it's better i hope the combat is interesting Yeah, and that's that's it, see, Husky, and that, that's what part of my my issue with the game was. I wasn't actually enjoying the game. So in other words, it, it, you know, after a point, I wasn't enjoying logging in for the game. I was enjoying it because when you play a game like that on a server, it's about the people you play with. It's the same with New World. You know, I really, really enjoyed New World. But if I was to be honest, you know, to myself. As I got deeper into the game, a lot of my enjoyment was really coming from the laughs and giggles and seeing other people playing it with us. And there's a big difference there. You know, any game can be fun. I mean, I, I, I don't like Rocket League. Rocket League, you know, can you imagine me sitting here streaming Rocket League? It's probably never going to happen, right? But, <laughs> but on a Friday night... You know, if you say, say if I, you know, on the odd chance I get down Birmingham and the boys are all playing Rocket League, I love it. I think it's a cracking little game. Sea of Thieves is, is another one. You know, it, it, I don't find the game particularly interesting, but it, it's about sailing the high seas with your friends, isn't it? And, and sort of role playing being a pirate. And, and that that was it with Ark, I think, for me. I think Ark was just one of those games where it, it, it's as shallow as a puddle, really. A outside of PvP. Uh, I mean, playing Ark PvE solo? Holy fucking shit. I couldn't do that in a million years. Not in a billion freaking years, mate. Never gonna happen. I, I, can't, I can't imagine anything more just... I, I, I'd rather play fucking Minesweeper. <laughs> You're right, Magalor. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, we, we've got a little, got a little, uh, a little top on it as well. Valheim's great. Valheim combat is just complicated enough to let you have fun. Um, I, I honestly do feel like Valheim... I, I, I said all along, right, Valheim is not a revolutionary game. Do you remember my narratives about it? It was always like, like look, guys, you know, I'm not trying to oversell this because I was, I was in a honeymoon period with that, like, like you always are, and it, it never changed. It's like, oh, it, there was a honeymoon period. Valheim, at the honeymoon period, it's still there. You know, I could go back tomorrow and know they have a lot of fun with it, but I probably won't. Um, Valheim was brilliant in its simplicity it did nothing new that we haven't seen in other games but it, in every area that it that it copied another game and, and let's be let's be honest copying is a harsh term to use um, i certainly don't mean it like as it is and they stole ideas but you know a survival game is a survival game right you chop a tree down but in that game chop a tree down it lands on your head and it kills you you know chop a tree down it lands on a troll it hurts the troll everything they did just felt like that they they know what other games have done, and they've just added a little, a little spice of Valheimic magic. Uh, the combat wasn't, it wasn't clever, it wasn't revolutionary, but you know the stamina management, the blocking, the parrying, um, the, the way the different weapons worked, and the different procs on them, and the, the, the bow and arrow, it, it, it was, it was sublimely beautiful in its simplicity. And it just goes to show you don't have to do something revolutionary, do you? You just have to take what works 
and, and just make it work well. You know, Valheim felt good to play. Definitely, yeah. Good game, man. Good game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's basically it. Fresh. Yeah, that's it. You played art right now with a few friends, building the base and saving together is awesome. It is, it, and it is Elixir. So, and then you reach that point, I think, in PVE where you start getting into caves and all that beautiful art you made just gets one shotted off from a freaking snake, or uh, and you just realise it, it's just going nowhere. It's going absolutely nowhere. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, we, we we had a little bit of a. F a, fra a, f a factional, uh, <laughs> a factional segregation, I think, fresh bro. Uh, you're right, Wookie. Okay. That's you, what? You're bullshitless with, oh, I had to at least play for a few hours. How did you get on in uh, the towns, dude? No, I, I won't go back to Valheim Stark. Yeah. Not unless there's a massive overhaul to it, but. It's like I said, I, I quite like the idea of doing the mods, but you know, the more I thought about it, actually, that, that was, I, I guess, the point. Right, it's on zero percent, one percent. So whatever that's doing is it's it's working. Three percent. This game is so cool. You know what this reminds me of? Does anyone remember a really old game? I, and I, I love the icy. It's not often you get a game that's like specifically built around ice and things, and then snowy biomes. Uh, it, it's a bit like Bioshock. You know, it's been a long time since I saw a good game. You know, down below the surface of the ocean and things, which is why I didn't really like Infinite. Got that polar bear out there. We're on eight percent. Water's low. Um, it was a game made by. I'm trying to think who it was now. How the hell do I get back in there when I can't see the ladder? Oh, there we go. Um, oh, did I not put the water skin in? Oh, it's, I've got it on me. Sorry, guys. It was a game. I think it was a third-person game, right? See if you can get this. I can't remember. And the whole game was built around you being on an alien planet. And it was something to do with thermal energy. The whole game was around this thermal energy. And it was a bit like Monster Hunter, in a way. But set in an icy environment. Anyone know what that would have been called? I think there were two. I'm sure there were two games. And I loved it, man. I, I'd found it, you know, but back then it was probably the Xbox 360. Holy shit, I played the crap out of it, mate. I really did. Oh, it's on 17. Oh, it's still going. It's on 18%. Let me see if I can get that on a dark spot for you. 18% and still counting. Look. No, no, it's not Prey. No, 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 it's not Prey. Uh, oh god, it's on the tip of my Lost Planet. That's the one, Lost Planet. Yeah, yeah, Lost Planet. Was there a Lost Planet and Lost Planet too? Yeah, cheers, Alexius. Uh, you didn't make it to a big city, but even the small towns were lagging a bit. Going to do a bit of modding and try Icarus out, although worried about your PC spec. Uh, I mean, Hash is running it well. Wookie, well, haven't you got a similar system to Hashi? Oh, I loved Lost Planet. I think it didn't have a grappling hook as well. I swear it had a grappling hook. I love games with a grappling hook. I tell you what, that new Halo Infinite is fucking glorious, mate. We'll definitely do a stream of that if I get a chance. Season 6 of The Expanse just came out. Today. I, I've, I've run out of time now. I, I, I wanted to go and watch a bit of Lost Planet Season 3 or whatever it was. Uh, I, I need to restart Expanse. I'm, I'm, run, I'm running out of just, just time to watch all these things. It's just too much at the minute. <laughs> I hope more game devs look at Valheim and realise the game doesn't have to be top-notch graphics to sell well. You make something that runs well and runs smoothly in the audience. Yeah, you do. I I've been saying this for a long time. Give me a game that looks and plays well. It doesn't have to be photorealistic, but make it look, make it run well. 1080 60 FPS with perfect frame pacing, and I'm going to like it, you know? If it's a game genre that I'm going to like, but I'm sick and tired of playing games with shitty performance. And especially things that have been out for nearly a decade <clears throat> that have now introduced a revolutionary new city building that can barely hold a decent frame rate on a fucking RTX 3090. It can go fuck itself. 
Lost Planet Season 3. You mean Lost... Did I say... Sorry, yeah. yeah we were just talking about Lost Planet. Yeah, Lost in Space. Uh, these new games sink so much into looks and just too shallow gameplay-wise, like what you said about art. Yeah, yeah. I mean, thing is, I, I've never been overly critical of art because the, the point is, I have enjoyed my time with art. In fact, I still highly recommend other people do go and play. I think you'll have a lot of fun with friends. But I, I think I've always known it's a PvP game at its heart. And, and it's a bit like Rust. You know, I'd love to play Rust, but I can't. I, you know, I'm not interested in the PvP side of Rust and trying to force Rust to be a PvE game. Yeah, you can have some fun with it. You know, and I know a lot of people that have had a lot of fun with PvE Rust, but you are putting a round peg into a square hole, you know, and, and there's going to be a point where that enjoyment drops off. For, for obvi and same with Scum, you see. Scum is an amazing game. Um, it, it's, it's got some performance issues, which, uh, you know, some people are saying are improved. Other people are saying, yeah, but it, at, at the cost of, you know, driving stutter and all sorts. But it, 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 you can literally, there is a point in playing Scum where you literally hit the let's play a mobile game bullshittery of cutting wires, which has been introduced for one reason and one reason alone, because it, it creates essentially what is a PvP bottleneck. Uh, and and it, it just the game just literally collapses around its own ears. It's just fucking boring. I, I'd rather go and play Crush Candy or whatever it's called. <laughs> Candy Crush might be the name. Uh, you watched half an episode of Lost in Space before I got bored and started to watch something else. Ah, uh, Lost in Space is really cool, man. Yeah, Lost in Space is great. It's ba based on the old. I don't know whether it's books or anything, but Lost in Space has got a great. It's a great twist on the original tale as well. And you can't go wrong with Dr. Smith, man. <laughs> She's brutal, mate. Yeah, I'd, I'd forgotten the ending of season two. I, I forgot. I mean, obviously, I won't say anything. I've sort of forgotten what had happened. So the start of season three was quite interesting. Certainly, what it's, it's, it's very different to what I watched all those years back. I mean, I, I think I watched it on, I don't know, the Channel 4 or Dave or something like that. We're on, uh, we're on 60%. So, and everything seems to be going all right, doesn't it? <laughs> danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it is. It's, I, I love the new robot, the new ship. But, you know, I actually really like the cast. I, I think mom and dad are great in it. I, th I think all the kids are as well. Uh, the supporting cast. Dr. Smith completely threw me. She's, she's brilliant. It's, it's worth watching Lost in Space just for Dr. Smith, man. It really is. I mean, he, he was... Uh, the original Dr. Smith was... Uh, he, he was just such a shallow asshole, man. <laughs> there, there was like, he was just like such a, a, a horrible, horrible person. He really was. But, but it, it was him. It, it, it's, it's, like he, it's like he almost couldn't help himself. He was just a really horrible, sour, bitter, miserable person, wasn't he? So manipulative, the skullduggery. It was like there was a cloud of constant just discontent around him. And, and I, I must admit, when, when, when I, I hadn't clicked who she was to start with, and, and then you realise, obviously, throughout the first episode or two, that this is the new Dr. Smith. And I was like, how the hell is that going to work? And then I remembered her from other uh, TV shows and films. And she is a really good actress. And, and I'll tell you what, following in the original Dr. Smith's footsteps must be a real challenge because he just absolutely oozed arseholery. <laughs> and she's the same. She's nailed it. I, I'd even go so far as to say she's better. Uh, I, um, th th that, that is the ultimate accolade, really, isn't it? She's, she's really good. Uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Smith is great. She really catches what made him special. She, she does die, Koi. She does. She really does, mate. She's done an amazing job. I used to love watching the old series. I was eating my Sunday roast. So I used to I used to have it. I, I can't remember that my dad used to would record it in the week and I'd watch it like, like when I was... Because uh, I used to spend my dad at uh, my, my weekends at my dad's. I'm so tired. And uh, yeah, I used to watch Lost in Space in, in the living room. Um, normally while he was cooking our dinner, you see. So it was always Sunday morning. I always used to look forward to watching an episode or two. Do, 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 do. What, what was the theme tune? That, uh, what's his name? Did uh, who, who did the theme tune with the one with Matt? There was a film with Matt LeBlanc from Cheers and whatever, wasn't there? 
Last last one to kill a bad guy buys a beer and all that. It was kind of kind of cool, man. <laughs> he was when he died. Yeah, he was. He was he was brilliant, honestly. One of the best villains ever, man. Yeah, definitely. I oh, know, well, that's, that's what I'm worrying about. I mean, it, it looks like we've done it, dude. I mean, it, it looks like. I mean, we're on 91% and everything's going well, dude. You know, we, we've got a nice little stone base built. You know, if anything does come, so hopefully I can pew pew a little bit. I wouldn't want to be racing in that front door in a hurry. But. We've got a very nasty storm incoming. Uh, do, do you have to click to consume like that? Or can you double click to consume? I don't want to try it because I accidentally could eat a whole stack. Yeah, she, she's she is really good, Daiko. Yeah, I think she's she's actually a really good actress. Didn't she play uh, Big Mama or whatever her name was? Oh fuck, we've got a polar bear coming in. Um, in the Judge Dredd film, didn't she play the evil lass up in the tower block? In Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? We're getting readings. What is that thing doing? What the hell? What just happened? Oh, it says return to dropship. Are we are we okay? What the hell? I thought I thought it was like it's I thought clear. the base was taken. How about that? Bloody hell, that'd be pro <laughs> I thought, what the hell, dude? <laughs> shocking. Absolutely shocking. Uh, close that. Did I close it? Yeah, we did. Bloody hell, man. Freak, I thought, I thought it was, was going to destroy my base. <laughs> destroy the roofs? Oh, my God. No, no, we're, we're still okay. Yeah, we've, we've not. We've still got re reef in there. Wait for the storm to pass. I'm not going out there yet. Shall, shall I... Do I need to take this with me or...? Should we leave it there? I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, uh, so you've got 1066 uh, gigabytes GPU i5. I think that's the very minimum spec. Oh, yeah, I might struggle a bit, Wookie. Okay. I think this is quite big. The one thing I did notice this seems to hit, obviously, if you crank up the graphics, it's going to hit the GPU. Uh, I haven't really seen the CPU being hit particularly hard. But um, system RAM seems to be quite important to this one as well. Is that what it is? An acoustic? It says an acoustic capitation cannon. <laughs> um, they're not still drilling, are they, Shades? See what I'll do, guys. Let me go Let me go and pop the kettle on, because uh, we've got a long walk back, and it'd be nice to think 23 before we hit the dropship, so I'm just going to get ready for a big adventure to go home, and then we're going to come back down to it for another one. And we might be going to a different pile as well. We'll have to see. I can see there's a bit of wood on the floor there, look. As, as if I've lost a, a rung on my ladder or something. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Bear with me. I'll be straight back.
Right, I'm back. Uh, right. Should we take a little bit of nosh? Let's consume a stack of that. Alright, so that's how that works then. Bears. Do we have any bears? No bears. I know, a little tip for you as well. You know, sometimes like, I've noticed it on... Um, the, you remember the guy I was watching on YouTube? It would done. I wanted to see how he'd done the very first mission that we played. I just wanted to see, you know, sometimes you spot someone doing something, even if it's just like shift clicking or something differently to how you do it. Um, and, and I did notice he, on, on a few occasions, he, he'd done unstuck. And I don't, know if I, I don't know if it will work here, but this was an example where he was like this. And he, he, he couldn't get off a rock. He just couldn't find any way off it. And it's because he's in stealth. And sometimes you just don't spot you in stealth, especially because of the green icon, if you like. Um, it acts a bit like Minecraft. So just a little tip. I, I, it's, and what can happen is you can get to an edge like that, and then you can't get back on as well. So you actually are stuck. Um, but just come out of stealth. I, I, know, I know it's a really obvious thing. But sometimes you just don't spot it. So it's like Minecraft. When you go into stealth, it won't let you drop off things. Which, you, which is cool. Which is absolutely cool. But just bear in mind it also can, can throw you. And especially if you're trying to run away from a bear and you suddenly uh, find it your stealth. And now that's why I can't, say, get over a fallen log or a branch or something, you see. Are you right, monkey? You're stuck on this mission. What level are you? Well, I'm level 22. But in order to do this mission, all you need to be is level 20. Because level 20 will let you unlock the fur armor. And I think if you've got the fur armor, you shouldn't have any other issues. If you see a polar bear like that, just, just don't get near it, mate. Just wait for him to track around so you can get past him. Yeah, I go back to the drop pod. I don't think I need to bring the thing. It just says return, doesn't it? I don't think I need to bring the cannon back, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to grab some... Um, it's quite a long way, because I'm, I'm going to have to... Well, actually, no, it's not, is it? We're used to travelling a bit... A bit faster these days, aren't we? <laughs> I wonder what they're doing, Shadows. What are they even doing to be drilling so much? I'd probably get my drill out like, I don't know, like two times a year at most, I should imagine, these days. Uh, you just get rushed by polar bears and die like five times for polar bears. You shouldn't be getting rushed by them, dude. Yeah. Just, just bear in mind they do have a line of sight. So if he's looking that way, he can't possibly see me unless I make noise. Stay in stealth. Make sure you've got your fur armor on. You shouldn't have a problem, mate. It can happen. It happened to me because I got greedy and I went into a cave and one came in behind me. But yeah, just just stay the hell away from them. It's like, that's, for example, if he turns around now, I'm going to have to take an evasive manoeuvre. I will have no choice. Because I actually need to go through that canyon down there. So he's literally going right onto my route out, which is obviously a bad, bad, bad position for me to be in. But I don't think I can get up there. He's having a little nose around, isn't he? Not sure. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about... Hitting a cave or something. Uh, back in the... What is this asshole doing, man? I think I'm going to have to try and find a way up and over, aren't I? It's almost like he's actually considering moving into the, the other... But this is where a ladder might have been a nice idea. In fact, can I make any fibres and sticks I'd need? I've got no chance, have I? The losing line of sight of him like that is a massive mistake. <laughs>
He has. He's actually got into the other biome. Look. Holy shit. Now, if I attacked him, do you reckon he could get up here? Oh, yeah. He could just get straight up there, couldn't he? Wow. Polar bear. And where are we going? I'm, I'm actually going around this corner, like literally where he's going. What an asshole bear. <laughs> what an absolute asshole bear. Oh, there's another freaking bear over there. I've got a brown bear and a polar bear now. I want a bison. It's just to make things even more awesome. And I can't actually get behind that rock. God. Bear is right over there, look. But there is another bear. Ooh. I think I'm feeling confident to run around. is where it's worth just making sure you got your little food buffs isn't it does help and that's it we should be uh, should be home free then damn never seen a polar bear move into the other biome before i thought i actually thought about that yeah i, I did think about uh, killing a deer see if it would have but but there was no point because they were going away you see Yeah, it's a, it's a good strategy uh, using the animals as a, as a sort of bait for the bigger predators, isn't it? Good morning, Wentex. How are you, mate? How's, uh, how's things your end? How's, um, how's Battlefield going, bro? I haven't, I haven't heard much about it, to be honest, dude. It's, um... Just, oh, is that another bear? I, oh, what time is it? Oh, shit. Um... This game, when sex is brutal, dude. If you are the sort of person that has any kind of inclination to sort of like, I don't know, like, you know, like the classic. That's a level one there. I really, oh, I really do need to make sure I get the headshots, which is letting me down a little bit, isn't it? I think sometimes it's, as he, as he gallops around, it's... I, 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 before I was just anything just to hit him. I, I'd, I'd take the hit over anything. But yeah, if you were at all inclined, Wentex, right, to be the sort of player that could get frustrated from a game destroying you <laughs> because of your own mistakes, yeah? You know, the classic young kid who throws the controller at the TV. You do not want to be playing this on a PC, mate. <laughs> this game is absolutely brutal, mate. You either play this game as an... Especially solo. I mean, multiplayer probably very different. But you either play this game very much as a... Kind of simulator. You know, what, what chance have you got against a fucking polar bear with a bow and arrow? Not a fucking lot, right? Well, you might as well just not play it, dude. It, it, it's it's the very definition of a slow, steady, take your time, think it through, go prepared. You are literally on an alien planet with everything out to murder you. And one little mistake, one little deviation. And I've, I mean, just today, you know, I've been playing it a bit. Just today, I, I you know, I, I made a massive start. I came out without my water. I just didn't realise. So took it off my inventory and didn't realise. And, and, you know, if, if a big storm had come in and I'd been further from home, I could have been in real trouble. It's it's a very good game, though. It, it's, a, it's an extremely good game. But it's very good looking. 
And I think if you're after one of those immersive survival experiences, you, there's not a lot else to compare, really, to be honest. I feel like it's quite unique in that regard. And I really like the mission structure. The, the, it's, it's one of those rare survival games where you are... It's got that kind of MMO vibe because you, you feel like your character is progressing with all the talent points, the tech points, the workshop points. You've got that wonderful sense of like, oh my god, I've just completely, totally messed up that entire mission. But now I'm back on the station, next time I'm going to do better. That wonderful sense of loop. Looping gameplay. Now, where are we? We're level 22 and a bit. So, should we head back up? Oh, this isn't like Dark Souls. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not. It's not like a Dark Souls difficulty where the game sort of encourages you to die over and over and over and over until you learn the fight. This is just don't be stupid. <laughs> Just don't be stupid. Yeah. Right, let's uh, let's go. I, I don't think uh, native Indians attacked. Uh, I, did, I was very specific about polo, uh, polar bears, Toloya. I, I don't think Native Americans fought polar bears very often, do. I, I'd certainly not with a bone knife, mate. I, I, I think you're missing that. I, I don't. I, I don't think anyone really would. <laughs> <laughs> Take on a polar bear with a bone knife and expect it to last more than two seconds, mate. It ain't going to happen, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, there's some poison issues for the DLC. That's why, Daikoi. So it's uh, a DLC and some, some extra... I think you get an extra suit and a few other things, don't you? Um, certainly not. It's completely unnecessary to buy it, dude. Um, it, it's it's literally what it says. It's not a special edition. It's not an ultra edition. It's the supporters edition. If you want to support the game and, and go all in. Hang on, let's just say no. We have actually definitely completed. Yeah, we have. All right, let's do it. We did it. And we've unlocked stone. Oh, that was a good mission, man. That was a really good mission. We, we did really well, didn't we? We, we? we It was a slow start because we didn't know what we were coming up against. And then we had to lift ding level 20. So quite quite interesting how it played out. We, we had our small thatch hut. It just got completely ravaged, didn't it? So we moved into the cave, uh, solved the water issues. The long dark. Yeah, I've, I've, I've booted up the long dark twice now. And, and I played... I don't know what I played, but it, it's... I think on one scenario, I was like outside a cave picking up some sticks. Well, because I, I, there's different modes, aren't there? And on another one, I think I was in like an aircraft hangar, like a small single prop airplane hangar or something. And the game just fucking bored me instantly. I, I, I just didn't want to play it. I, I just I, the thing is, I know I just wasn't in the mood. So it's not it's not the game at fault. I think I'd really enjoy the long dark. But it just looks so fucking boring. So I, I didn't. I didn't bother carrying on. Uh, I, I need to overcome that and then boot it up again. Give it a bash. Uh, some uh, also named Grolla Bear, Pizzly Bear, Grizzler, or Nanulak. Hang on. What? What's the? Hang on. What's this in? Uh, Michael. You're right, Wraith. How's things, dude? You're right, SCR. How are you doing, bro? Uh, okay, so we want to select that character, don't we? Should I have a quick look at the workshop? So we've done four prospects so far. What does, is it, have I actually got this suit? Because that says plus one suit module slots and plus one oxygen slots. Does, does that mean, what does that mean? It's got, it's got to be an upgrade because there's no tick in a box, right? So is, that must be a better suit than the one I've got. Uh, and, and it's a prerequisite to everything. So what do I get out of it? Uh, I've already got an oxygen slot. So what's the suit module? Because uh, everything's locked, 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 locked. So I obviously have to buy this before I can do anything else. 
Go to loadout and you can see the XIG. Oh, that's only got one oxygen slot, so it is a different suit. Yeah, it's not. It's not the same suit, uh, Bellarot. It can't be the same suit because, like I said, it, it, it's a prerequisite to unlocking everything. Not. So. Yeah, that's the S5 Envira suit. That's the SF2 Envira suit. So I, I have to get that then. I, I have to buy it. I've got, I've got no choice. And now we've unlocked all these other things. So the next suit gives me some physical resistance. It's got the plus one suit module slot, whatever that is. The plus one. Oh, that's got a water slot. So, so this has, oh, is that what these are? These are the modules. Oh, these are the modules, look. So it's for putting one of these in, maybe. Ah, there we go, then. Um, whoa, this stuff is expensive, and you know it's going to be so good as well. <laughs> so that would be really cool, like an O2 tank. And I wonder if we can fill that, like, with the... Oh, there's a water canteen. Hang on a minute. Do I actually have to craft it as well? Hang on. It says crafting cost 25. Click to craft. Do I still need to craft it or? Uh, is there any point in actually? Is there any reason to craft it? I don't really need the extra. I don't really need a suit module slot, do I? So. It seems like a waste of 25 space bucks to me. I'd be better off going with that one, wouldn't I? And then unlocking some of these fancy new ones. What's this? This is 5, 1, 1 and a water slot. So what's the difference? That's exactly the same as that, isn't it? SF5X... SF5, but you'd have to... What? I don't get it. What's the difference? Expanded resource storage. But it doesn't tell me what expanded resource storage, does it? I don't know. Not enough information there. So it's going to tell. It's going to tell me expanded resource resource storage. It should be telling me what what I'm getting. Is it like five slots, ten slots? No, it doesn't because that's got a food slot as well, hasn't it? I oh, know it hasn't. No, you're right. Yeah, no, they are different. So a module, an oxygen, and a water. An oxygen, a food, and a water. Interesting. Ah, so they are they are completely different then. Um, cheers, mate. Nice one. I didn't spot that. Look at these. An MXC pickaxe. An entry-level 3D printed metal pickaxe. And an MSC axe. So if I... Here's a question then, right? If I was to get that pickaxe, yeah... I assume it still has durability, right? Do I have to buy it each time, or...? Do you know what I mean? Or or, or, or can I repair it down on the planet's surface? You know what I mean? It says 115% yield from mining. That sounds amazing to get a stone base and iron stuff. That, that seems like a no-brainer to me. That seems like a really, really good idea. <laughs> the dong pickaxe. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. <laughs> the dong pickaxe. It just has to be done, really, doesn't it? Damn, these are expensive. I'm thinking, personally... can't afford any of that. I just can't afford any of it. But I could afford the pickaxe. So as, lo oh, as long as you bring it back, it gets repaired for free, does it? Ah. 
Ah. Uh, you just woke up finding it takes two to win the game of the year at the Game Awards. Well deserved, but I thought it too niche and not made. Is this the one there last night, was it, Rev? With, uh, is it Jeff Keighley and everyone? Yeah, that, so that, that's so basically Daikoi. Um, if I come... I don't know if I can show you now, can I? I can't show you this. But basically, the tech tree and the talent trees are your character. And they're with you wherever you go outside of obviously taking the solo parks in the talent tree. So that, that's your character getting more experience, more knowledge, being able to craft newer and better things once you're down on Icarus. But the missions give us the space box. I don't know what the currency is actually called. I've not read that in the law. So every successful mission will get some payout. And that enables me to unlock 3D printed equipment, which I can take down every time I drop down to the surface. Um, so you're slowly getting back up and running quicker each time, if that makes sense. So you can't repair it once you're down, but you can get it repaired for free when you come back. Uh, you took Axe down, just a bit more durable than standing good for the extra wood at the start, making a base. Yeah, not sure for me. I, I, think, I think I'm going to be going stone. I don't think I'm going to bother with wood anymore. I, I might make a really basic thatch building or clear a cave out just to get the beginnings of stuff refined SCR. But of course, that all hang. That that depends on me getting a cave, and getting the extra iron and stone for the pickaxe. I think it's going to be wood. I can get easy, man. Uh, well, that I say that. What happens if we end up in an area where there are no trees, though? You know, or limited trees, in which case the axe would be great. Uh, the knife is really nice. Can skin polar bears. Don't not worried about that because I'm not fighting polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that would that would be cool actually, because then I could at least skin bison from day one, couldn't I? Uh, or at least larger creatures. Well, that that's going to cost me a hundred, and that's going to cost me a hundred. I'm just just a couple of space bucks short, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, so everything you get here, you have to place it into the dropship storage before you go back, <laughs> otherwise you lose it. Oh, right, okay, okay. So, is that and is that where it begins when we land? Or does that mean we can only bring five items down? Or... Wentex, thank you very much, dude, thank you. Uh, did I miss Zanzibar? Did I miss Z Zanzibar out there? I'm not sure I saw Zanzibar's prime, which is just flagged up. And I think that's, that's looking like that was actually quite a long time ago. Um... Crit out, thank you very much for the gifted subs tonight, Child and Fist. Zanzibar, if you're out there, I do apologise, mate. I don't think I caught that. Thank you very much for the three, dude. And GZ on the three-month sub badge, thank you for the prime. And Wentex, thank you very much for the prime and the 34. And I hope the family's well, dude. No, because to, to, I'm talking about both, Daikoi. So I'm just a couple of space bucks short of getting the pickaxe and the knife. It's 100 bucks. So it cost me 100 for that and 100 for that and I've only got 175. So I think I'm... Let's just see what else there is. Ultra meals. Real-time location data on team members. Well, how much is this going to cost? It's going to cost me 150 space bucks for that new... Oh, God, look at this, man. Oh, my God. Look at that. See, I'm going to be like Iron Man running around. Oh, look at this, dude. We've got the Dongtian Enviro suit. <laughs> look at that. Oh, man. I'm going, to be like, I'm going to be like the bloody Predator coming down here. Uh, Scruffy Nerf Herder. Thank you very much for the four, dude. Thank you very much, Scruffy. You right, Billy? Uh, it means you can only take five items back when you're done with the mission. The five items in the dropship storage you take with you to the next mission area. Oh, right. So I can take as many items as I want. But I can only bring five back. And then if I want to remake them, that's where the crafting cost comes in. Is that right? Uh, most modules actually take exotics to craft. Oh, I didn't see that. Let's have a quick look. Oh, is that what that purple thing is? Oh, is that what that currency is? Ah, gotcha. 
Oh, I was a bit confused by that. So that's the yeah. Oh, so that's the exotic currency for the higher. Oh wow, that's so cool. Wow, dudes, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, you can repair them if you bring them back, though, Pumper. Yeah, yeah. So as long as I bring it back on the drop ship, I'm gonna go for the pickaxe. Because that's the first thing that I'm struggling with with iron, isn't it? So then all I need to do is make an iron knife and the pickaxe will get me more bang for buck. So yeah, I think we'll go for that. So research that for 75, but then I do need to craft it, don't I? So craft it, yes. Okay. And then when I go to load out, I can add the... Oh, it's actually... Oh, the dropship cargo's got 10 slots, not 5. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All righty, righty, righty. And then we want to go home. New prospects. Right, what are we going to do, dudes? This is so cool. Look at it. It just goes on for days, man. We've got so many missions. We've done this one. We've done the Arctic one. What was this? This was, wasn't this the Predator the Hunting assembly one? assembly don't trust anyone, but they need help. No. I'm not hunting predators. Not yet. Unio might be a pack of wolves, but they're wolves with cash. Oh wow, look at that. Welcome back. 75 space books. Unio's looking for detailed geodata from the surface. That would get me One the One area in particular has really got their attention. Exotics, most likely. They want someone to drop down, set up a survey system, and beam the data back up here. You good for this? That seems okay. Presumably that's one of the ones where we're going to get attacked by wolves each time we do it. So that was that one. Yeah, got got you, uh, Mrs. Delish. Yeah, nice. So, you heard of Sinatai, or you wouldn't be here. One of their bot satellites detected unusual bio patterning, and their Xeno research arms got curious. They want samples. This one ain't gonna be easy, though. Some wild territory they're sending you to. It's up to you. Yeah, it sounds like... Yeah, I've noticed you've just said that, Scruffy, about as long as they're in your hot bar. I mean, what I'll do is, I think, uh, j just as a kind of role play anyway, I think anything I bring down which goes into the cargo pod, when I go back up, I'll also put them in the cargo pod. Um... And it'll, it'll just become a muscle memory thing then. So yeah. Uh, so we can do a hunting wolf triangulation, a bio-research harvest. This is major. UDAs Hard. give Legos the go-ahead to expand Three operations. Days. Four days. They're looking for data on the deserts. If you can get in there, it'll open the place up for scanning, prospecting, and a whole lot else. There's a lot of questions here, and they're paying top dollar for answers. Choice is yours. I think we go for... Because um, I, I want to do all these before we move up there or across to there. So I think we go for that one. Welcome back. Yoneo's looking for detailed geodata from the surface. <coughs> and we'll try and ding, One what, two, three levels really while we're down there? Attention. <coughs> Excuse me. Exotics, most likely. It's only 75 they want bucks, someone but... to drop down, set up a survey system, and beam the data back up here. You good for this? We're good for this. We're good for this. We are definitely good for this. Cool stuff. We'll crack it. Yeah, I think somebody else mentioned uh, farming the space books using a Della, Della OP. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I, mean, I don't mind farming it to a point. Oh, wow, look at my uh, pickaxe. Oh wow. 
As long as you're getting them what they want, you know I oh, wow. got wow. your back. Oh, cave. Just don't disappoint them. Oh, this is an interesting area. Where are we exactly? We've been on Icarus a few years now, but the place is still a black box. Yuneo is planning to change that. They want geological data and lots of it. They need you to go set up three survey stations. Something about tectonic movement. I don't know. I'm no geologist. Oh, wow. But it always comes down to exotics in the end. With that much data, you'll need a central uplink to beam it up here. Locations are marked on your map. You'll find supply crates dropped nearby each site with the tech you need. And be careful. Wildlife seems to resent this kind of thing. <laughs> Good luck, friends. As, as we have learned. Yes. As we have learned. I suppose it would be nice to get an axe. And the, it's just, it's easier. I always think getting the axe or, or the pickaxe first makes more sense. Right, well, we've got a source of water. We've got our preliminary bow up. We're really close to a cave. So I think we make home in there, don't you? Um, we've got water, which we hopefully we'll have in the cave as well. We've got oxide. We'll be able to get an iron knife and a longbow up if we get a workbench down. What's a workbench need these days? Just some wood, stone and leather. Let's go and clear... We clear the cave first or not? So you want to get some food. I've not seen any berries or anything yet. Get a first... Get a first log down. <laughs> God damn it, Tycho. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. It is pumper, isn't it? I think I like that as well. I, th I think that's been part of the problem with some of the reception around the game. Is people are so used to picking up a game and, you know, putting 20 hours into it or 30 hours into it and walking. This is the kind of game where you have a solo character or a multiplayer character. You can play it with your mates until the cows come over and still feel like you've probably not really scratched the surface of it. So like I said, I don't, I don't want to become like a one-trick pony and just go and start farming the same mission over and over and over and over and over. But obviously to some degree, we're going to want to... get some space bucks behind us aren't we okay how are we doing on we're looking all right let me just organize my inventory a little bit let's drop you all down there arrows stone let's pop that in there so the only thing i'm a little bit concerned about is we've not not got a primary hunting ground have we Fish. I just noticed there's fish. I forgot about fish. Uh, what do I need? Stone. Let's get some more stone and we'll go and, we'll go and hit the cave. Nice little drop point, actually. Uh, did your base stay if you land in the same area? No, no, no. Every time you come down, essentially every, everything sort of, sort of essentially is reset. Unless you play in your outpost mode, which is like your more sandbox. You can take this character and I, I can go to outpost and then have like a, a permanent, so, you know, I could go and build a castle or something or whatever you want to do. Well, whatever tickles your pickle, you know. Uh, Max, we won't go too crazy. Let's hope the cave's not too bad. Now, before we go into the cave, we want standing torches. Um... Some sulfur would be really nice before we go in. It's asking for a lot, but... Oh, yeah, beautiful. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, boys. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got it all. We got it all. Uh, do you want to use your super pickaxe on basic resources since you can't repair it? Uh... Probably not, actually, Diker. Probably not. In, in fact, it's actually a really good point. That's actually a really, really good point. Oh, shit. Wrong one. Um, didn't need that, did I? Where's that gone there? 
if you destroy, you do get some materials back, don't you? Yeah, that's a really good point. I should be using it for the iron. That is actually a really good cool die called Cheers, bro. Yeah, because I only need a little bit of sulfur, don't What the hell was that? Yeah, good cool. Dude. I just to be honest, like, I didn't realize how fast the durability was dropping. Yeah, we'll use that for iron and copper and things like that. Or if we, you know, like for example, if we really have to rapidly tunnel. Now, I'll tell you where this would have been great. Uh, doing that or Arctic run. Where we. Can I make five? Let's make five standing torches. And let's. Well, for the first entrance, let's make three. Oh, really? Make two standard ones. So you can come down here. You can go into slot zero, I think I have you, don't I? And slot seven for you. Wow. A tricky cave to uh, get into, isn't it? Let's have a swig of coffee. Uh, you've got another co-op dude. I haven't unlocked any of the benches as my mates done that. I've literally gone food and... Yeah, we were talking about this earlier, Asya. I, I, I think if, if you can try and have a character to play with, you know, a particular group of friends and, and divvy up... I, I, it'd be a, I know it'd be such a cool game like this. The new mission. So this is a... It's a triangulation one. So... We're deploying geo stations in a triangulation format where it seems to be hinting at heavy wolf activity. You've got to remember it's only the basic one though, uh, Daiko. You, you know, you're, you're comparing the very first unlock of Space Box. You know, it, it's massively improved over the Stone Axe. And, and of course, later on, I'm going to get, I, as, as we saw, there's further upgrades even to that. Oh, wow. Well, that's an interesting cave. Why are there no... Why are there no ghoulie monsters in here? I find that extremely disconcerting. Have I brought any wood? I have brought a little. Get some more in a sec. Uh, so I reckon let's put a torch down there. That seemed way too easy. I'm already at water. What the? Ah, there we go. It's only one, it's only one hit. Just take it steady, just take it steady. It'd be quite a big, uh, quite a big cave. Um, let's take, I haven't got any food, that's the problem. So I do need to be a bit careful here. I think I think we're good to go, guys. Uh, how much iron we got in here? Couple of nodes, not a huge amount, unfortunately. In, probably enough to. I mean, to be honest, we only really need to make. I need to make the iron knife, really, don't I? That's all I've unlocked anyway. So. Can I not get that in there? Nice to have one at the back wall, just so we've got good visibility over here. Come on, really? Okay, we've got a cave. So let's get some storage down. Uh, or should we go? Let's go and get a campfire up and running. Oh, I've seen, I've seen fresh meat. Um, tricky, very tricky. 
campfire. Oh, there's a wolf. Level 21. That would be good to go. This is, I love this starting again. I, I, I know for a lot of folks, uh, and to be honest, if it had been explained to me the way I'd have to explain it to someone else, I think I'd be like, I don't get it. You know, it's just, that just doesn't sound like fun. But you know what? It, it, every time you come down and you've got a new mission, it, it feels like you're on a, on a wonderful new adventure with a clean slate, a few new tricks up your sleeve. assume there is still piranha and stuff in here so that'll be enough meat to get us going won't it so well i'll tell you what shall we not risk it too much i've got that weird texture we quite often see that don't we weird. if i get a little bit more Stone for a campfire because it's quite a lot of stone for a campfire, isn't it? it uh, you know what? Yeah, that's a good point. I, I didn't think about that. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? See, the thing is, what we don't know is what kind of weather conditions we've got over here. I mean, it, it's starting off fairly light by the looks. So, uh, for the meds, use the sickle to harvest the lilies, reed, and yeast, etc. You get a lot more, do you? Yeah, I mean, I, I am going to struggle with pneumonia in the cave, aren't I? Stomach. Yeah, we've got loads of fresh meat. I mean, food with, with. See, the beauty of the, having the fish is that you don't really. Well, we are going to have to kill the animals for the leather and the bone, but. By killing the fish, you don't tend to attract. Uh, sticks I need. You don't tend to attract too many predators. As soon as you start killing deer and rabbits. I need sticks. I can't see any small. It's a lovely little place to have dropped, isn't it, Lot? I've got my dropship over there. This little, little cave almost, like you said, yeah, protected by the little lagoon out front. I mean, it's, it's pretty damn cool. I can see it's having to make like a little, a little pier or something. You are a large dog. How you doing, bro? How's things? Nice shot, mate. Nice shot. Except I can't see it. Can anyone see where that is? You see a hoof. <laughs> Uh, torches don't burn forever. What mine have gone out, dude. Yeah, I tested that in the very first cave, dude. You're talking about the hand torches? Yeah, they have a durability on them. One of the ones I dropped in my first cave sizzled out in the end. And they don't give you enough illumination. Not, not for a permanent base. Not too worried about the lilies and things. Uh, let's get some sticks. Sticks, 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 sticks. <laughs> okay, so if we make a campfire, craft that up. What do we need for the workbench? We need a little bit more wood, don't we? Uh, I can survive this storm. Oh, now that hit that tree. I wonder if that caused any damage to it. Well, I think it did, you know. Has anyone played it multiplayer and had a tree land on the redwood? Someone fells it. <laughs> Have they got all Val High Vest on us? Gotta be careful because we are getting close to dinging. So I, I really don't want to make any mistakes here. As you can probably tell, I've been very cautious. I'm trying to keep a listen out for any any hostile mobbers. 
Do you make sticks from the long tree stumps? You can. There's actually a skill that lets you refine wood into sticks. And I'm actually seriously thinking about taking it. Because it's one of the very few things that I occasionally find that I'm low on. Uh, but, but I'm going to be honest. Not so much that I feel like investing a skill point to overcome it. If that makes sense. But, but it, it, it could be a game changer later on. Oh, that, that could be my uh, mummykins. Right. We've got a bow. We've got that. We've got that. We want to obviously take a box just for a little bit of dumping. We want to make a crafting station. And oh, big mistake, dudes. Big, big mistake. I didn't make any bandages. Big mistake. I think Grumpy Mummy might have arrived. Near the woofers. I'm gonna write on little there. Uh... You do, you get the concussion diva. <laughs> That's kinda cool. This is a nice cave actually. Very nice cave. Now let's pop. Oh, I've still got too many things in my inventory. Uh that's going to throw me having... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop. I'm going to do that. And keep that as my spare resource, if you like. So, where can we put the workbench? Pop you on there. And we'll have a little bit of storage... Where can we pop a bit of storage? A bit of storage in there. Okay, so first port of call is going to be getting these and the oxidizer, I think. So we're going to have to go hunting. We want to get as much leather as we can. So what we'll do is we'll throw... How are we doing on arrows? We've got 22 arrows. Amplifier and the fish, sulfur, wood. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. We don't need that. Oh, my bad. Always forget it. It shifts it across. Okay, so campfire. I was hoping we could get that over here somewhere. Perfect. And we will throw in that and just a little bit of fuel. So that's food on board. We've got hydrate. That's a good start, boys. That is a freaking good start, I tell you. What time is it? 2.24. So let me just grab some stone and sticks what, what else do i need for these fiber let's grab some more fiber let's make some more arrows and let's go let's be, before the end of today let's see if we can get a little bit more leather that seems to be the big hurdle right now doesn't it so let's go go say hi to grub hang on who's saying hi to grub you mean go say hi to Grum Mum? Uh, she's uh, she's probably sorting herself out with a girlfriend. I'll go and say hi. Jiffy. It might not be her. Uh, don't do it. You need more than that actual skill point to do it. Uh, to do... Sorry, Starkey. To do what, mate? You mean the sticks? Yeah, I was a bit surprised, actually. There's been a couple of times I have been caught out on the skills. Just a little bit, where it sounds like a really good idea, but then you find out, oh, no, now I need to know how to make epoxy. Now I need to know how to make... You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a prawn. Where is he? Oh, shit, there's millions of them. Oh, is that another one? Is that is it, Piranha? <laughs> I 
<laughs> he's just, he's just trying, trying to get me, didn't he? Uh, all right, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. So, yeast is probably my most important hub to get. Oh, and look at that. Yeast. You little beauty. You absolute little beauty. I don't think I've unlocked the side, you know, SCR. I don't think I've actually got one. What's that over there? This is where we find out we've landed in like prime bear territory, right? God, I was super panicked there. I didn't know what was coming at us. Oh, dude. Oh, let's see if we can track it. I think that's really cool. And if you go in that direction, it should like bring... Oh, you can see it there, look. Yeah, that's cool, man. But obviously, I can see it, but... Uh, we need a better hunting ground. I don't feel like this is a particularly good spot. Uh, you're right, Hicks and so is Yeah, so this each drop has a time limit and it's real time. So that will keep dropping. So even if I turn the game off now, that time will keep ticking down. But to be honest, they're extremely fair. Uh, you have... So far, I've had literally way longer than I would have needed. And I'm talking, like, by a factor of 30, 40 times, mate. And you know what I'm like? I, I play ever so sort of slow and cautiously. I'm not actually killing them because I'm not, I'm not... I haven't got the bone arrows. Oh, level 38 wolf. That could be a pack. That could be a dual pack. I think that's a double pack. That is a double pack. Yeah, I need to get these bone arrows sorted, man. Um, did I can't? Did, did did I not make the better bow? Is there a reason why I didn't make the better bow? Probably don't have the bone for it, right? That's a really bad place for them wolves as well, because they're actually on top of this. <laughs> Didn't see him. Where is he? Where did I drop him? Has just given at least one wolf's location away, hasn't it? Nice. Uh, you're right. Uh, so this is a game called Icarus, bro. I think I think it's known as Icarus First Cohort is its first name, and then there will be additional content rolling out. Oh Jesus fuck! <laughs> and it shot, bro. And it shot. Oh, there's the other I've just seen the other wolf. Oh shit, level 34 wolf coming in. Oh shit. Oh shit, that's multiple wolves. That's multiple wolves. I've made a bad mistake, I shouldn't have done this. Pro. Can't outrun them on the surface, but I can outrun them. I bet. Oh god, I can't get it. Where is it? Damn, that was close, boys. That was close, man. Over 
hit that other one. Is it not letting me gain? Okay, all right, let's get these bad boys skinned up. Hope you get some nice bone out of it. Get an upgrade on that bow. Get some... I went to risk going back up and getting the other things. We might have quite a lot of predator activity up there now, right? Can you swim with a bow in your hands? Of course you can. Wiggle your feet, dude. Flippers, mate. You swim underwater? Well, of course you can. Got any virus suit on, look. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Now that is just shocking me, bad luck. But look, I kept my cool, right? I kept my bleeding cool. You, you can't say I've not learned, yeah? <laughs> I bet you 99% of other players would have been fucked on that. I've just been fucking poisoned by a piranha. Yeah, don't worry about meat overcooking, Ixinator. It, it auto puts it on the floor next to it, if you like. But I do need to get some food quite urgently. Luckily, I've got some already cooked. I did pre-plan that, so... Only thing is... I am worried about a cave worm respawn. Seem to be okay. Right. Let's consume the whole stack. Have a bit of a cheeky fish. Right, fish and 10 meat can go in there. We'll also have a little cheeky berry. Uh, and we got a nice bunch of bones out of that, boys. <laughs> Dude, that was rough, man. That was rough. <laughs> this game does not look around, does it? Uh, are we okay still? We haven't got... Oh, I've just got the poison buff, haven't I? Plus the cave cold. <clears throat> so I want to make a better bow. Let's craft that bad boy up. Let's also make ourselves a... I don't really need a water skin at the minute. Let's not worry about it. Uh, oxide dissolver would definitely be a good idea. So let's switch that out for that. If it will let me, we'll then destroy that. We have no reason to be keeping it. Um, let's repair the rest of the equipment. Let me very quickly make another bandage. 15 fiber. Let's take that. Always keep three bandages. Seems to be the sweet spot. Okay, so... Arrows. I want to make some nice, sexy bone arrows. Sticks, leather, and bone. So, 100 sticks, 130 sticks. Uh, oh, I haven't got any leather. Shit. Bone. Well, let's make what we can. So, leather, leather's on the menu, but we, we have just massively increased our overall DPS, to be honest. So... That's, that's good. We just need leather, don't we? Um, so next up then, let's get the smelter down. Let's get an iron knife to make that. So we want to get stone, leather, and let's get the iron ore. What time is it? It's 6.21. Let's get the iron now using this fancy new knife. And that's going to be charcoal. Definitely get that. And then I don't need to use wood in the furnace. So I've got pneumonia. You bastard. And then a bedroll. But I'm not too worried about a bedroll. 
Because we, we're right, we're right near the drop pod site anyway, aren't we? Yeah, if you, if you look at the campfire, uh, it puts the meat on the outside, look on a, on a nice little palm. So you always know if you've got cooked feed in there or not. It shows you by stack as well. <laughs> What's that, Wookie? Ruffle a total BS. What, what do you mean? It, it, this is what you, you remember what I said at the start? Do you remember what I said at the start about the fish? I said one of the beauties of actually hunting early on, and then this, this is my best tip for a new player, right? If you've got fish near where you've landed in your building, yeah, do not hunt animals to start with until, until you're confident. Live on the fish to start with because the fish don't, kills on fish don't attract predators. So just as soon as you kill a wolf or a boar or a fox or whatever it's going to be, you're instantly going to start getting predators. And you just saw the chain event there uh, just unfold before our very eyes. Be ready for it. And it's something a new plan might, you know, you, you don't need bone and leather instantly, you know, when you first start playing the game. Get, you know, get some of the basic resources. Get, get yourself your little campfire down. Obviously, at this point, you, you want to sort of expedite getting your uh, your iron tools up and running a lot quicker. So you do need the bone, you do need the leather really early. But uh, you, you have a mask and an oxygen supply while you're getting sick from the pneumonia. That, that's the one thing that I, th I was saying earlier. I think they need to rename it. I, I think pneumonia. I mean, the way I see it is that the suit... I think it could easily be explained with the law. What you have to bear in mind is that the environment here actually is reasonably oxygen rich, but it has very dangerous impurities in it, including cyanide. So the way I sort of see the suit is, in a way... It's not completely self-contained. Um, so being in a cold, damp cave, it's a bit of a struggle. I just think they just need to change pneumonia. I think they just need to change the name of it. Um, I mean, you, you are... You know, we know there's a mulcher for the food. That's why we don't have to take our helmet off to eat. And you know, the, the, law is, the law is pretty robust. There's just one or two slight flaws in it, that's all. Uh, the auction, yeah, no, the auction, the auction's about right. Yeah, that's 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 normal. Yeah, we have put a stack in there, and it's lasted me over a day. And obviously now it will start actually consuming itself, if you like. But we'll have the bladder up and running fairly soon. I don't think I probably want to waste that anymore, do I? Let's pop that back up there. So at least we've we've dinged already as well, haven't we? I've never, I've never seen bears in fact, in fact, attracted to the fish, Starkey, because uh, there's nothing left over from them. That's the wrong thing to use. Isn't it? Yeah, I've n I, 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 I killed endless fish on my first two runs, and I never saw a bear attracted, Starkey. Not once. Now we can get copper. In fact, should we get the copper anyway? Just because it's going to be some XP while we wait, isn't it? I think it's like a little, um, like nutrient synthesizer. So it's like a, a, it's like the oxide one. It's like a little grinding mechanism built into the Enviro suit. But it's like I said, the, the way I would sort of see it is that. The, the it, it doesn't just magically manufacture oxygen. You, you know, you, you wouldn't want to be breathing pure oxygen, obviously. So the way I see it is that it's the, the unit isn't quite as self-contained as one would think. Uh, I think what it is is it's it, it's refining the air that is out there, but but it needs the it needs the, the pure oxygen from the oxide, if you like. Which would explain why we can still get, if you like, what we, I suppose we'd say respiratory ailments. It would make sense if they wanted to go down that route law-wise. Um, yeah, we'll get the copper as well. <laughs> 
Uh, it does go down quick, but to be honest, I think that's the whole point. I mean, you've got to bear in mind, we are looking... It's, it's a massive... It's, it's over 100% gain, look. It's 115% yield from mining. And it is only the very first pickaxe. And you've got to bear in mind, I did knock out a big chunk of stone with it. So I don't think it's off. I, I mean, I'm getting, you know, a huge increase in uh, iron for what is essentially a very... Because it, it, it's that's it. This cave only has that amount of iron and that will never respawn. So getting that extra, you know, 115% yield, you know, I mean, I've got 66 iron which is going to equate to 33 ingots, which is a bloody good start, to be honest. A really good start. So, you've got to remember, it is only the very first upgrade. There are multiple upgrades beyond that one, where I assume durability and things will be uh, improved. And th this is probably the greatest thing in the game, is the Oxide. This, this thing is like god tier. She really should have put down like a little thatch uh, thatch foundation. But I'm a bit, bit worried about the. Um... So we've got. Where do I put the sulfur? Do I put it in there? Take the sulfur. I'm going to take ores out actually. So I don't have any actual oxide, do I? I can make the bladders in prep. If what do we need? We need le oh, it's leather. Shit. So we've we basically tomorrow we just need to hunt for leather. That's going to be super important, and that's going to completely change everything, really. Because um, it's the metal knife that I really need. Actually, that's not enough to make the anvil, is it? I just suddenly realised I'm actually going to need a little bit more. What did I say that's going to give us? 66 is 33. The anvil's 44. It's 40, isn't it? We need about 46. We do need to find another cave. Uh, anvil. Yeah, it's 40 ingots. That's very... I must admit, that's bad. I, I would say that needs a little tweak, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it'd be too easy, then. I think, I think it's an unlucky cave. It was very small, isn't it? I think we only had, like, two or three iron nodes. But you don't, you don't need to see that, that's what I'm saying. The, the, the game's lore, the Envirosuit actually has its own, like, uh, nutrient mulcher into it. So that, that's what we're doing, is we're taking these food items. And do, imagine you're just putting it into sort of like a mulcher in, 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 you know, wherever it is in the suit, you know. I don't think it's actually supposed to be uh, fully, you know, rendered in as part of it. But the lore does sort of go down... The, and it's not me making up the law. The law in the game actually does explain some of this stuff. So, I think it's really good. I think they've done a good enough job on it, to be honest. It's like I was saying earlier. I think a couple of things just need to be maybe renamed. But just for a little... Uh, is that titanium as well? Oh, yeah. That's copper. I can't, I can't really make any... Uh... What do I need to make? Rules. Fibers and sticks. We've got any fibers and sticks. bad reviews on Steam for two reasons, Koyubi. And most of it isn't because it's a bad game. One, because there's a huge contingent of people that know nothing about Dean Hall. They just think they do from Daisy, but they're deluded if they... It's people that know nothing about the games industry, unfortunately throwing Dean Hall under a bus. Um, it, it, it's quite sad that people have so much hatred for someone when their facts are actually wrong um, and another reason is because of performance there's a lot of folks that I'm gonna be honest have no right to be expecting the game to run well with their potato rigs anyway um, 
but that that's the same with any game you know there's, there's always that little contingent of folks that are butthurt but it is it's 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 been very much it's, it's kind of a shame it's been quite soured because of the dean hall's uh role within the game but it's like i said very few people seem to well i say very few actually a lot of people do know the facts about what happened with daisy but the problem is it's the vocal minority who are deluded and live in their own little echo chamber who don't know what happened with dean hall And server issues, I think, was the other one, wasn't it? We had a day this week where the servers were on and off just during the morning part of the stream. I think I had, like, three disconnects, but nothing too major. I don't think there's much else I can do tonight, then, guys. Um, so, we're heading back out. We've got some... We've got 17 bone arrows. Uh, is that going to be enough... Sticks, leather, and bone. Uh, so, the problem is I need the leather... I really do need the leather. Um, I'm going to take some sticks. Uh, flipping out. I don't know what to do. I don't, I, I'm going to have to make some more iron arrows, aren't I? Oh, so, sorry. Stone arrows. We're going to be screwed, aren't we? Uh, which is fibre and stone. So let's take the fibre as well. Let's grab a little bit of stone that we had left. So we might as well make nine more. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing else I can do today. Uh, potato would be an upgrade for your rig. <laughs> well, no, I'm not saying you At no point did I say your potato. Well, your, your rig was a potato. What, what I said is that there are clearly people who... Uh, how, how, I mean, it, it, it's, it works both ways. I've heard of people on, on the Steam forums, if you go through the community boards, who have what I would... They're either lying, which is most likely... Uh, or they literally know nothing about PC gaming. So I've seen people with extremely high-end gear, including 3080s and TIs, saying that the game doesn't go above, like, 12 FPS. Well, you're either lying about your hardware, which I think is the most likely scenario, or you have no idea how to get a PC game up and running. Because, as you can see live on stream right here, the game is phenomenally gorgeous, running at extremely good frame rates. So, you, you can't you can't tell me on the Steam boards that you've got a supercomputer and, and then still in the same heartbeat saying it's not working very well. You, you need to fix your shitty rig, don't you? You're right, crazy. <laughs> yours is a yours is a rotten potato. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it is. It, it's 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 just it's just assholes, mate. Assholes being assholes. They'll always hate on a game for some reason, won't they? That's gorgeous having this. It'd be really nice to have like a little pier, a little jetty out there where we could do some fishing and things. Yeah, so in the morning, it's basically going to be leather then. And once we get enough leather to make a iron... Well, no, an ingots. Because the iron knife is actually really quite important, isn't it? Or, or is a bone knife good enough? Actually, hang on a minute. Did I ever unlock the bone knife? I don't think I did, did I? But I'm pretty sure you need the anvil to make a bone knife. So it's going to be about 46 iron to get that far. Plus, obviously, the smelter as well, isn't it? Come on, I need daylight. I need to get out. Uh, the shadow's messed up for you. Have you tried changing shadow cascade? Have you dropped it down to one? Uh, it, it's almost essential to have shadow cascade on two of four. If you drop it to one, you'll get some really weird shadow shenanigans going on. It's a beautiful game, Billy. It is. It's gorgeous. Um, what was that, monkey? Do you need stone in the snow or does wood work? Uh, well, wood would work. It, it just it would need constant repair. Uh, in, in the same way that thatch or wood even during, like, the big storms. I mean... It's how much time you want to spend at base camp or, or can you get back to base camp before the storm hits to actually be there repairing it? Whereas stone, mate, is pretty much impervious, mate. 
I, I think I think once you once you have a strategy for getting into caves, my, my recommendation, my personal strategy, is not to fuck about with thatch and wood. I think it's a bit of a false commodity, to be honest. Uh, and unless you have to be building because there's no caves, um, caves are not too bad. And in fact, I could even argue, are, are we not supposed to be doing this? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you know, a cave is a wonderfully safe place. Once you've cleared the cave worms. So, yeah. But, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I, I would, if you're going into the Arctic and you're building in the Arctic for any, if, if you're building in the Arctic for something permanent, so in other words, an actual base with crafting stations versus building to survive a storm, I think you're wasting your time with thatch and wood, mate. Nah, DLS is DLS is really good in this uh, shop, is Yeah, DLS is fucking phenomenal in this, dude. I don't know if that's just a glitch your end or something, mate. It might be worth switching your drivers around. I've played extensively with DLSS. DLSS in this is one of the best implementations I've ever seen. I think uh, I think Control was about the of the game where I felt like deep learning super sampling was actually working well. DLSS in this is fucking god mode. Uh, you're doing the mission we just did. It's, it's, to be honest, Monkey, it's not a difficult mission. You have no reason to be building in the Arctic Zone, dude. No reason at all. Apart from for the last part, which is where you build the... Um, you need to build a shelter for the acoustic cannon. Um, I, I think just a one-by-one one stone structure would do it. Or build a one-by-one one wood structure and just keep repairing it, dude. The shadows look like a monochrome picture projected onto the ground. I don't know, I don't know what you mean. Have you got DLSS on? You, you, should, you shouldn't be having any problems with DLSS and shadows. You really shouldn't. You can actually see the lights from my drop pod over there. Just like little flickering red lights look. Uh, I think so, yeah. I think the bone knife is a tier one. Um, yeah, it is, yeah, because it's got no prerequisite. If it was if it was tier two lock, it would tell you that it, it needs to be unlocked via the crafting bench. So that's how you know, in order to make the iron knife, you have to have the anvil. So yeah, you're, you're fine with the bone knife, dude. And I think that would let you carve... Bears, I think. I'm not sure though. I think I think it oh gosh, what's that? Oh god, what was that? You should definitely not be out there. You're right, no man. I really want to get out. It's that first night, isn't it? Do, do you do you use all your resources to make a bedroll or do you just yeah, I probably should do really. Cave worm sport. They do, yeah, but they're so easy to kill. I mean, once you have... I, I would say as soon as you... I mean, you, you don't even need the longbow. Uh, I mean, I, I just came into this cave with bone arrows. Uh, sorry. Um, stone arrows and the basic wood bow. And, and literally, it's like seven or eight arrows. Once you've got the longbow and bone arrows, a cave worm has never survived more than two shots and, and quite often dies with one shot. So it's so easy to clear a cave. If, 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 you th if you weigh up the pros and cons, right? Let's say we've got a cave base and we've got a wood base. That wood base, one, it's very open to sniffing around from predators and things, which can also damage it. A cave, no danger at all. As long as you come deep enough into it, very little is going to see you or hear you. If a storm hits and you're not back at your wooden base and it's a severe one, it could destroy it, or at least destroy enough of the reef for you to then have to loot or could lose crafting stations. What the fuck is that sniffing around out there? Uh, storms cannot damage you in a cave. Um, lightning. I mean, you do not want your building getting hit by lightning, otherwise it will burn down if you're not around. So, or, or, or we're weighing up... Predator interaction, storms, 
damage over time, uh, lightning strikes, all versus three or four cave worms. Uh, does the new AD buff get annoying though? It doesn't. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Yeah, a, someone actually mentioned that. It, it's it's really not an issue. Um, I mean, you will get pneumonia. It, it, it's going to happen. Um, and there will be times when it will be extremely inconvenient. But you don't get it that often. Um, and to be honest, we, we, I've got the yeast. So in a minute, what we'll do is we will... Act, well, I'm not sure because I might not stay here, but... It's actually very easy to make the herbal crafting station and the mortar and pestle. And all you need is yeast. That's the only thing you need to get, which is which is why I always get some now early on, which I think I've put in there. Look, I've got eight yeast. So like, that's, that's eight remedies. See, the thing is, if I'm stuck in here at night and I get pneumonia, I'm just gonna, I'm going to wait it out. The only time pneumonia is a problem is if you get it at around seven o'clock in the morning. Then it's a pain in the ass. It puts you at quite high risk during your early hours because of the reduced. Um... But but there's an easier. I mean, don't forget, I'm making a complicated one. You can actually use the tier one antibiotic, which I just never unlocked. This one here, lot yeast, silica ore, and charcoal. Or is that was that was that is the yeah that is the one, isn't it? Yeah, that one. Not sure if that gets rid of pneumonia. I'm really not sure about that. Does anyone know? Because I, I decided to go for the one that very specifically mentioned pneumonia, which was this, the antibiotic tonic, which very specifically mentioned pneumonia. Uh, yeast, you just find. Charcoal, you're going to get on your campfire anyway. And epoxy, I think, is just a piece of sulfur and some sticks, which you turn into um, epoxy, I think it's called, isn't it? But yeah. I've really, I've really got more charcoal than I'll ever need. But leather, leather for the, we need leather for the bladders, the O2, the water bladders. We need leather to make everything there. So the le leather is the, today it's just leather, 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 leather. And then we can even make, um, take the bone sickle the return. I don't need, that's what I'm saying. I just don't need to, Starkey. Because, because like I said, I've already got, I mean, if, if I, I've already found eight yeast. Which is more tonics than I used in, like, probably 10 hours of gameplay, mate. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I just don't need the sickle right now. Maybe later on I will, you know. I want the lightning rod to put on a house. I'm hoping it works. I think it does, but what happens to zombies, if it gets hit, I think it destroys it. So, in other words, it saves the house, but it, it's, it's like a... It's like a consumable lightning rod. So what you might want to do is put a couple of three rods on the house and just keep an eye on them. Make sure you've always got one active. Uh, yeah, you are actually sorry. You've, oh, you've already answered it. Yeah, I'll go to pop when strut and you have to make another. Yeah, I remember. You, I think you mentioned it in Discord, didn't you? You just make your house out of hollowed out rocks. Yeah, they're really. I, I love the rocky glues. They're really good. Yeah. They're, I think they're quite cheap, those zombie. I mean, copper's ever so easy to find in, in a cave. And the lightning rods are... I mean, what is it, 10? So it's going to cost you 20 ore per copper rod. Now, in this cave, I don't know if I've got all... I've got 60 copper ore. So, you know, I've got I've got enough to build a... a, a see, I just... I think it's a bad idea making wood. And I just wouldn't bother. I just live in a cave, personally. Or, or, or at least live in a cave long enough to get stone up and running. Is that what it is? I did wonder. That's why I didn't take it, Joshua Kazam. I, I did. I was worried I was going to waste the point by trying to solve the problem, but it didn't actually solve. You see. See, look. The worst case scenario. There, there you go. Look, I've just got pneumonia. That's like really, really bad because it's seven o'clock in the morning. But that, that is like the worst case scenario there. That's what I'm saying, though, Starkey. You know, I don't need the 50 yeast. I, I, I need, like, six or seven for a whole playthrough. Uh, and, and I don't have any use for wheat. I haven't unlocked anything to do with wheat yet, Starkey. So, again, it will just be a point that's... I, I put it in there for things that make no difference yet. And that's what I'm saying. You know, you're probably further into the game than me, then. 
You can make a dehumidifier. Yeah, that's right. In fact, we never looked into that, did we? Do you know where that is, dude? Is it a tier two? Or I think we saw it back down here somewhere, didn't we? Do you know... Is it a station or is it... Do, do, do you know where that is, bro? I actually... You know what? It's a really good one. I completely forgot about that. Thank you. How do you make a dehumidifier? It literally tells you on the menu, doesn't it? Down here, look. Um, is it here? Oh, chance of pneumonia. Counter with a dehumidifier. Oh, it's level 30. Ah, right. That's probably why we've uh, not gone back and investigated it then. There you go then, guy. I mean, that would be great. Uh, and there you go. And it's even less reason to have the sickle that you see. It's... Once, once we start making all the fancy foods, like, like, so I assume with the wheat you can make breads and things, can you? The icon above my lungs. You mean the icon of lungs? That's pneumonia, and it's really fucking bad, dude. It's it's the it's re, it's the reduced stamina. It, it's like a, it's a death sentence if you've got a bear or a wolf chasing you. It's really bad, especially since I haven't spent a huge amount of points yet. I still don't know whether to stick with my solo points or start working into survival and combat i really like the look of the of the arrow archery tree but then we've also got firearms you know <laughs> which i'm looking forward to construction yeah you know I, you know i'd like to but you know there's, there's very little point in me having points in thatch and things but you have to because you have to get this this tiered rating up you see I just haven't really had a chance to explore it all yet. It's a freaking awesome game, honestly. It really is. It, it just... What's his shit? Why is it so dark? I going to say, that can't be right. Right. Okay, well, that's that's good. Uh, shall we switch to the bone arrows? Do a bit of base hunting here today. I reckon we've got a couple of cheeky morning kills in anyway. Good start, boys. Good start. Let's just make sure we've not got any bears sniffing around. So it's leather, leather, leather. That's all we really care about today. 1,000 dollars. I think I, I, I hit something earlier, Starkey. I, 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 I was quite... Ooh. I think it was like 700, I think I saw. I, can't, I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what it was against, to be honest, mate. But I thought, ooh, that, that's, that's a nice... Uh, <coughs> finding in the goddamn bushes. There's another one over there as well. It, you know what, Eggy? I was just talking about this. L literally. I, and I don't mind repeating myself, dude. I think it's one of the best parts of the game. I, um... One of the things I find problematic with some of the games... Let, let, let's take a certain zombie survival game, right? Where... At the beginning... The game is actually quite a cheeky little bit of a challenge. You, you, are, you, know, you are running around with some really basic equipment. And I always said about that particular game, I, I never had an issue when there was an update and I had to start a game. Because, to be honest, all the fun was front-loaded. Once you've gone through a cycle of X amount of days, your character, you couldn't die. Honestly, mate, I, I used to play that game like half oh, asleep, just having a chat. I might as well have just been just chatting, mate. And yeah, I couldn't have fucking died if I fucking wanted to, mate. And that's what I like about this. I, I've just I've just had a battle up there, right? With a bear, some wolves. Uh, I got nibbled by a piranha on the way out, which actually gave me the poison debuff. I'm also about to get attacked by a piranha here. And, and it is, it's the, it, the thing is, you, but each time you're a little bit better, you know? Your, your character stats are a little bit better. Um, you always start in a new zone as well. So each time you drop down, once you get deeper into the game, you're, you're in a new zone, so it's unfamiliar. So here's great. You know, I would never have come back and built here. I just have my mega base over there in a normal game. But oh, this idea of these little, little restartable homes is what is actually making it more fun. 
it, it, it's I, I love the compartmentalization of it i've got the persistence and progression of a character that is always getting stronger uh, and and for the very first time now i've also brought down my very first uh, I, I don't know what they call these 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 3d printed hardware uh, items I, I was like you i i when i when i listened to people talking about the game i was very confused i was thinking i don't really understand how that gameplay loop is going to work because it's so alien to all the other games that I play in, in the survival genre. And you know you know the reason, uh, one of the other things? This is the first survival game I've played. I, all, all those other games are not survival games. You know, there's nothing survival about surviving against zombies. That, 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 that's a shooter. <laughs> but but in this it is you know the weather the environment the the naturally occurring fauna are, are what are killing me you know time and time again and and that is fun it, it, it's a really weird one dude because i'm very like you I, I i thought the same thing i thought i'm i'm really not gonna get it you know whoa have I switched out to bone arrows? Uh, what arrows am I using? I'm uh, not sure I can F that up completely to be honest. Don't like the sound of that. How are we doing on leather? We've got 65 leather so far. There we go. Oh, what's that? Drink. Good hunting around here, actually. Really good hunting. Now, a rabbit. We could always take the rabbit back and use it as bait for some predators, couldn't we, if we clear an area? Yeah, it's a really weird one, Eggy. I think it's one of those games that you probably have to... I, I, the other thing about this game is it's not a sort of game that you're going to play like for 10 or 15 hours. Uh, and I think there, therein lies another issue with some of the reviews on Steam. Um, I, I think a lot of players expect rapid progression these days. You know, they, they, they couldn't take their time to play a video game if their life depended on it. You know, it, it's the rat race of humankind right now. Everyone just wants to play the latest, shiniest thing uh, and, 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 and then move on to the next thing. This game is a commitment, dude. Uh, and I've said a few times, uh, and I think it confuses people when I call it like an MMO, even though it, it, it literally isn't anything like an MMO in terms of its mechanics. It's MMO in spirit. Th th this is a commitment to your character and progression. This is, you know, you are not going to clock this game unless you use what I'd call, not exploits, but let, let's, let's just say there are ways to expedite. Um monetary and financial gain in the game which would give you a huge leg up every time you started by farming certain missions for space books but if you're going to play it in in the spirit of the game you have got a ridiculous amount of time in this i mean e each mission so far has taken me a full seven hours on average i think i'm on the f i'm on day five streaming it and i think this is my fifth expedition um, I'm not doing anything to particularly cheese or expedite XP game. Oh shit, oxygen. Fuck. I totally forgot about oxygen. Um, ooh, what a knob. That's twice I've done that. Uh, was there any oxide down? There was in the corner here, I think, wasn't there? That was a bit of a noob mistake. Wait, is that a bloody cave? Yeah, cheers, Otter. <laughs> Did you swear? Yeah, I was, I was, I was telling a little tale earlier, mate. Uh, my, my PC was doing a similar thing. Well, I'm not saying that that was your problem, but where um, my monitor wasn't detecting my outbound HDMI signal. And it all seems to have been stemming from a Windows update. Thanks, that Grumble. Who's that? Silent Box, thank you for the 11. And Nomad, thank you for the tier 1 as well. Cheers, Nomad, thank you very, very much. And Scruffy Nerd Herder, thank you for the 4. Very kind of you. Nomad, thank you for the tier 1 there. Silent Box, thank you for the Prime and the 11. Uh, Killers, Freeman, Jabaran, Metal Troll, Space Gamer, thank you for the follows as well. Same to you, Nomad, Joe, Stan, Jesse, and the lads, lad. Thank you very much. Zanzibar, thank you for the 3 and the Prime. Thank you very much, bro. Well, I mean, we do need to obviously put that in there. 
what we'll do is we'll get some more I think, should we head back and i mean how much have we got we've got 65 leather it's not a huge amount No, I've not bought the candy. No, I mean, f food, oxygen, water, I haven't been having major issues with. So I haven't I haven't really worried about that. I, I know it's going to really help out. Once we do get... What was that? Once we do get it. I think I'd like to get the knife. For me, it was, it was the pickaxe and the knife, I think, for my first 3D printed goods. I think I think when I land, those are the two things that I, I struggle with the most. Get, getting the knife up with the metal tools. I mean, obviously I can make the bone knife, but I do like to get the metal tools as early as I can. I mean, I don't really need to. You know, this mission, like I said, you, you could probably just go straight there now. You know, it, it's you know if I, well, right, if I show you the map, I've only got to go over there. You see, I'm sure I could go and finish it, but. As soon as we've got a storm go coming in, let's uh don't think I can make that one. Yeah, look, yeast. Look, uh, another patch batch of yeast, you know, more yeast than I'm ever gonna need. In fact, yeast doesn't doesn't have a spoiler time, does it? I hope not. Otherwise I shouldn't have picked it up. In fact, let's just check. Does yeast have a spoiler? No, it doesn't. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good, uh, Josh, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I suppose I'll be work. I know it looks like there's like, I don't know whether it's a desert, but a very barren, arid kind of environment coming up. So I was hoping to unlock that by getting some space. I'm only like 25 bucks, I think, short of the knife. And like you said, I, I should imagine either the, the O2 or the water one. I'll, uh, I'll probably get next. I mean, I, I, to be honest with the O2, the oxidizer with the bladder is, is... I swear that thing lasts about an hour, even at the most basic tier. You're right, Dark Race, find any exotic? Oh, no, I'm nowhere near exotics. Or at least I don't think I am, anyway. No, no, nothing like that yet, dude. We're still, uh... Still working our way through the new mission rules, really. Thank you, Silent Box. Thank you. That was, oh, that was a terrible shot. Uh, that thing's long gone, isn't it? The thing is, will it bleed out? I actually don't know. A rabbit. <laughs> it's like a little jet ski rabbit, or he ain't, he ain't mucking about, is it? Let's get this oxide, and then we can get the oxidizer made while this storm's in coming. Yeah, it's, it's the water bottle I think I'm tempted for. I, I go as far as to say it's the water I struggle with the most, mainly because my water bottle or, or water bladder actually has a small leak in it. So, whereas the O2 bladder just seems to last a crazy amount of time. And it doesn't seem to be that hard to get the T2 oxidizer up and running, although I am about to find out about that now. I could really do get... Oh, my God, look at that wolf pack over there. Oh, my God, there's five wolves over there. There's one there. There's another one back there. There's two literally kissing here, and there's one just crept through the corner there. That That's a big wolf pack, man. Uh, that will I mean, Jesus, do, do we risk it? Problem is, if I get attacked up close, I've only got a bloody crappy knife. Oh, shit, I haven't got any stain. I've only got a crappy knife, haven't I? Oh, I have, so sorry, yeah, it's the bladder, isn't it, Cedar? Sorry, no, you're right, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah, sorry. Dude. Uh, did I not just... What's that? Oh, it's silica. I wonder if I can get the wolves. If I attract the wolves over and then shoot them in the water as they come across, that, that might be a decent strategy, right? So I find out they've already sniffed me out and they're literally two feet behind me. 
Now, how are we doing on arrows? We're doing all right. Let's make sure. We... Yeah, look, there's three there. Look, I can see three really clearly. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> Christ! I hit him. I hit him. There's the other one. There's the fourth one. Oh, wow. Look at them little devils. They're coming down here, aren't they? This is where they're heading towards. Oh, shit. They go fast. Perfect. Bloody perfect. All we've got to do is hope nothing comes behind us. Um, actually, let's... Where we are, we'll find out we're just attracted a bear. Okay, all right, good job, good job, sir. A very warm welcome to Gold Subdes. Survived the storm as well. Man. Des, how are you, bro? How's things, man? How are you? Try to keep it listed out. <laughs> we will get rid of these, I think. Bit close to home. Okay, looking good. That, that was nice, man. That was nice. So we're up to 98 leather. That's brilliant. Now, there's at least one wolf over there. Because I saw five. Let's go and have a look. No, yeah, I think I'll, I'll, isn't that the whole point? Is that I'm working up towards the exotic star race? Isn't that kind of like the overarching story? Is that the exotics are that that's like another sort of currency within the game? I think, isn't it? We we discovered earlier. I can't see the fifth one, which is strange because you would have thought they would all have. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to head back into the cave, I think. Oh, shit. Careful, sir. Cave worm respawn. Oh, shit, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, what the hell? Still got me, still got me, still got me. Uh, we're okay, we're okay, it's only one. Um, right, let's have a nibble of that. And O2, now we said we made that, didn't we? So if we make a O2 bladder, but I'll actually make two. So one for me, and one in the oxidizer. Which we put, like you said, cedar. Where did we put that, mate? <laughs> we did make it, didn't we? We did. I'm sure we made it. Oh, it's round the back there. Yeah. Uh, so we can put that in, and put our two bladders in, and doubly doozy, mate. How are you, Des? How's things, mate? Uh, you're right. Who was that? Did I miss someone? You took everything out and reinstalled. Then in Bice, I had to turn on XML, something to do with RAM. Now it's flawless. Oh, you, you didn't have your RAM timing set up through the XML profile. Uh, what, what's it called? It's not XML, is it? It's uh, XPS. Is it XPS? What was it called? Yeah, I know what you mean, dude. Oh, well, I'm, I'm super chuffed for you, Austin. Nice one, bro. At least you got it all up and running, mate. <laughs> nice one, dude. And that wasn't what we were talking about yesterday, was it? <laughs> Congrats, mate. You found a bug with the oxygen machine and the oxygen bladder. Uh, what is it, Essio? What's Is it a, an exploit or just just a quirky, uh, quirky thing? Right, well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pop everything organic back in there. So that's like organics, 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 organics. 
And then we'll pop the oars in there. And obviously let's get this cooking now. Now we could probably switch over to coal for that, couldn't we? If I just take a little bit of coal. Oh, well actually taking it would help. And throw that in there and activate. Right, so that, that's food coming on board. Oxygen sorted, water sorted, blah, 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 blah. Shall we make a water skin anyway? Doesn't hurt. Might as well take one with us, right? And then that's filled up and ready. So next up, we want to make the knife, don't we? Which means I'm going to... Well, hang on. Making the knife is going to require... What about a bedroll? Do I really need a bedroll? Five sticks, fur and leather. Fiver, fiver, fiver. Uh, fur. You might as well, right? Oh, hang on, and don't forget to activate it. Um, so, I'm not sure what's next. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm going to need to find another cave if I'm going to make the iron tool, aren't I? Um, which will require me to make some more standing torches, won't it? Uh, so, that's fibre sticks and sulphur. I don't seem to have any sulphur anywhere, do I? But we will take half the... It's half the fibre and a stack of sticks. So at least that will enable us to do that. Should we go hunting now for a... What about, what about arrows? What about arrows? What about arrows? Sticks, leathers and bones. So sticks. How much leather we got? It's a risky business, isn't it, man? It's a risky business. 19. Get a little bit of XP, don't we? Yeah, we just we all we want to do is get like another little batch of um Could be anywhere though. I mean it's 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 lucky to have found a cave this close to home anyway, isn't it? Uh so if you right click the full bladder and consume whilst in the oxidizer, it will literally loop trying to fill it, wasting fuel and oxides and won't go up. You have to move it in and out. Oh, okay, I see. Got you. Alright, nice one. So work's going all right, is it? There's the, uh, you're right, Rev. And there is no guessing along with her. No one likes her. It's just the thing everyone deals with and people largely ignore her. So it was, what, is this like your new, your new manager, is it? Yeah, new mo to be honest, pneumonia is not a problem, dude. I think as long as you go in and out pretty quickly during the day, you, you, you tend not to suffer the, the pneumonia, so sort of debuff very often the, the, the biggest hurdle is if you don't have a bedroll and you have to spend all night in there the, the worst case scenario which has just happened to me is that at, at dawn i have pneumonia and i think it's something like a 10 minute debuff and it, and it does it does put you at high risk because of the the reduced stamina but um once once we're up and running we can easily make the, um, I've got so much yeast, it's ridiculous, so. We can easily, oh my god, look at all these rabbits. I don't really need the fur, though, do I? Can I just kill a deer? Yeah, we did. Oh, it's a wolf. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, I was just saying earlier. We've had quite a chat about that uh, earlier. I, I think. I think the pneumonia debuff offset against the risk of damage from storms, the likelihood of a whole, a whole bloody. Oh shit! I didn't bring food. Oh shit! Oh shit! That's actually really bad. Because I need the. F Ooh, what's that? Oh, I do need the food, don't I? To offset the poison from the cave worms. That's something like a that's something like a bear. Right, there's 
there's nothing down here. Bad shot, mate. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, they're playing arrows as well, man. Yeast. And a bite. Now, the problem is there's no point me getting the bite. Yeah, look, look at this. There's yeast is everywhere. Man. There's no point. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Where's me bow? Guys, what happened to my bow? Where the hell's my bow? Dudes. I think, did, I, did I drop my bow? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that, that doesn't seem right. What the hell, bruh? I think I must have I think I must have lost it. I'm gonna have to go back and get some food anyway. Shit. I reckon I must have mobbed it somehow. God damn it, dude. What a knob. It's in the inventory. It's not. Uh, and no group. She's a person who has the same job as me. Who thinks she's in charge of everyone, but isn't. Is, is, sorry, is actually. Oh, so it, it's just a job's worth knobber. I suppose there's always one in any place of employment, right? There's. So uh, what is it? Is it not really having a major impact? Yeah, to just choose to ignore. Unfortunate, but not uncommon, right? Let's hope there's no goddamn cave worms. Let's make another bow. And we'll throw all the organics back. And let's get the food that we wanted anyway. So not a total disaster, but not quite what we had in mind. Did I not make the bow? I did. I forgot to pick it. I always think it's going to go into my inventory. I haven't quite got used to that yet. There we go. <laughs> Let's try not to drop it. See, there, there's something that would be nice in a video game, actually. Um, we've come a long way, haven't we, with inventories and icons. Uh, I, I would like to see all games with slots enable us to hard lock them in with a padlock. You know, I, I, it'd be nice if I could come down here and right click that and lock it. And no matter what happens, I will never be able to move that. And if I do a corpse run, it will always put a bow back into that slot and things like that. There'd just be like a little, little evolution of the uh, the inventory clicky-clicky systems we're all used to. Oh, and the other one, I'd love to be able to see. I'd love to be able to see. So in this game, I, I can't even split by number, I don't think. I can only split by half. I would love to be able to pick that up and now use the scroll wheel to choose how many I want to take. And I can't remember what game that was. I think it was Raft. And I remember gushing over that. I thought it was like freaking genius. It was a really, really lovely system in Wrath. You know, it's, it's like I say, you know, it's not going to make or break a game, but sometimes it's it's not. Oh, sugar. Sometimes it's nice to to see how other games do it, and then sort of oh no, you poor little thing. I'm going to have to go and run. What you've been playing, Rev? Are you, uh, you you up to anything, dude? What did you end up going for? You right, chunky bits? Oh, hang on, what's that coming over here? Oh, and the other thing is, they must add, in my opinion, for this game, and I think this is actually quite important, as opposed to just being a quality of life thing. I would highly recommend that they add a loot or button. Um, the game is an extremely detailed game with, with a lot of general environmental details with a really nice heads-up display built in with some opacity 
which during a thunderstorm, because of the very small and very quite white, so they're technically slightly green, cursor, it can be really hard in a blizzard to know where the hell your cursor is. Um, so I would love to see them add a take all button, because there's nothing worse than harvesting a creature, going to the inventory window. I wonder why that texture is always that same texture, isn't it? And struggling to find the take all button. When you know there's a wolf about to eat your butt. So I would highly recommend. I don't see any reason why there shouldn't be a take all button. As opposed to having to click a button with a, with a mouse. It just seems a bit ass backwards to me. Yeah, you've not quite heard what I said, Steppy. When I say a take all button, I mean as in a hotkey, as in a keyboard button where you press F again and it takes all the items instead of actually having to uh, click a button with a mouse. Now, we want to find another cave, so we're, we're a bit far from home, aren't we, if anything bad happens. Keep getting the berries, and we'll keep topping up on those. A little bit of stamina boost, isn't it? Might be able to do it in control. So I did have a look for the key bindings, and I couldn't see one for table. But if, if there is one, let me know, mate, and I'll, I'll get it programmed in ASAP. So like I said, there's nothing worse than fumbling about knowing you really want to take something. But sort of saying, having to hit escape or something to, just to get out. Yeah, you, know, you know, maybe they, maybe they, maybe they did it deliberately. You know, maybe it's a design choice they've gone for. But how you doing, Gray? How's, how's things, man? How are you, bro? How's it all going? Oh. What we'll do, if anybody wants a copy of Icarus, yeah? I, I, I don't know how I'm going to get it to you because we're going to have to buy it courtesy of script, right? So is there anyone in chat who does actually want a copy of Icarus? Because what we'll do is we'll do a giveaway. I'm just not sure how to get it you. Because obviously if I have to buy it through Steam and you're in a region where it's going to be a knob, which has happened, we know. I'm not sure what I can do. So it's going to be really important I have access to you on Discord so you don't feel like I'm scamming you or something. Because obviously... If, oh, there's a cave. We found a cave. Uh, right, anyone, anyone, got, anyone got their phone out or a piece of paper? Right, G1443. Anyone able to make a note? G1443 for me, please. Perfect. Absolutely bloody perfect. Let's just hope she's got some... Oh, I didn't get sulfur. I forgot to get sulfur, guys. Let's hope we can find a little sulfur deposit somewhere. Steam gift card. Yeah, that, that could be an option, couldn't it? Yeah, Steam gift card. I do if that falls under, under the same... I, I don't know. I... I... I, you know, I could buy a buy a copy and just get the code and send you the code, you know. Buy it through. I mean, so you know, if, if it's, I guess if it's in Europe, it shouldn't be an issue. But if it's in America, the might or you know, you're in another part of the world where the price variation is pretty bad. It won't always let you gift the game, will it? For, and to be fair, for obvious reasons, but. Wow, no sulfur, dude. Come on, let's go. I actually went past three sulfur nodes on the way here. And I remember thinking, oh, sulfur, but I don't need it. <laughs> but I do. There's a bloody wolf over there. Look. You all right, Gray? It is. It's Friday, mate. What are you going to do to celebrate, bro? Cheers, guys. G1443. I mean, I, th I think we'll be all right here because we'll be able to just follow the cliff around, but... 
I know what I'm like when I, when I want to come back tomorrow. He'll be like, where the hell was that bloody cave? Oh, did I just see some? That's sulfur. No. Shit. Sod's law, innit? Every video game I've ever played, you, you can walk from A to B. And you'll go, oh, look, sulfur. Sulfur? Look, some more sulfur. The second you need some sulfur, it's like there's some inherent force at work within the gaming world. And it's like, ooh, we know you want sulfur. Let's despawn all the freaking sulfur. I find that really hard. Sulfur's like normally every. Oh my, what the hell is that over there? Is that some sort of like desert bio? Oh, I'm not going over there then. Uh, it's getting bloody dark. Buffalo. Buffalo, dear. Everything I could possibly need except sulfur. Much easier with the code. Yeah, it, 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 well, you'd, you'd like to think so, yeah. Come on, dude. Give me a little bit. I only need, like, like literally just a little bit. I should have brought it with me. Oh, no, because we're using it to fuel the... Uh, Oxidizer, weren't we? I'm never gonna find my way back up there, am I? What was it? G1443, yeah? <laughs> so maybe it's a good job we did make it out. Uh, uh, you can turn off the item highlights if they bother you. What? Do you mean like that? Is that what you mean, or? What, so, so I don't get the white outline, or? So tempting to kill them, but I I'm up against a bit of a time limit here, aren't I? How can there not be any sulfur? Go back to the main lagoon area. <laughs> you play avoidance strategy, are you, Gray? <laughs> You're a naughty boy, bro. You're a naughty boy. You're not feeling too well, uh, Gray, no? There it is. Just found some. Perfect. There we go. Keep a little missing out. Okay, let's make count. Should we make how many can we make? Five. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it. I'll do it. So I don't need any more then, do I? Let's take a nibble of that, a nibble of that. We're near the water, so we might as well top up the flask. Shit, we'll Man, we're so close to dinging as well, aren't we? We've nearly got another level out of this. Uh, oh, it's broken. Have I got any stone? I've got no stone, have I? What do we want? Repair that. Yeah, I, I, it's going to make such a difference to my start once I've got the 3D printed knife. The knife and the and the pickaxe. It, it's going to be a revolution. The moment I have to repair this so often as well, because it is. It's about. I mean, does anyone use the spear? I mean, I'm sure this uh, stream one foot. So it's around here. So it's almost dead in front of me, isn't it? Uh, does anyone actually use the spear? I'm sure it's a fantastic weapon. But the thing is, I just find the knife is pretty good against wolves if you can get the headshots. So. And 
bloody dark again, isn't it? I reckon it was up there. Oh, did I just see sulfur there? Oh, what? The sulfur there? G1443. It is. It's dead in front of me. In fact, is it just up there or not? Yeah, it is. I, I think I must have gone left, didn't I? I think I took a left around the, the cliff here. If I carried on straight ahead, there was literally sulfur right there. <laughs> oh, man. God damn it. Did I, did I see... Uh... Oh, it's because it's you're green like Yan. There, let's all. How are you, mate? How's things? How you doing? Maybe it wasn't down here. I haven't, I haven't gone past that one. Well, there it is. At least I think this one's going to be a pain in the ass. I can already feel it. Okay. Uh, let me guess. Got no wood. No surprise there. <laughs> uh, oh, it's still light here. Uh, you love the skill required to throw the spears. Best AP weapon when you learn it. Uh, so, so they are worth it, aren't they? So the spears you can throw and use as a as a melee weapon. So I don't, I can't remember if I ever tried one in the beta. I, I don't. I think I did. I don't think. I don't think I remember throwing them. little monkey, eh? Oh, look at the iron. Iron, iron, iron. Oh, iron. Oh, this is rich, dudes. This is super rich. Are you play what are you playing at the minute, Des? Have you got anything uh, anything new and excited out there? Are you picking up things like Rimworld and stuff? Wow. Freaking iron jackpot. I love the way the arrows come bouncing back out. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like it spat them out in disgust that you killed it. Water, iron for freaking days, and God knows what else, what else is back that way, but I think we'll call that a winner winner chicken dinner, right? A little more of these there. And we will mine through the night. And we'll use our fancy MXC pickaxe as well. Get rid of you. Looking good, boys. Looking good. And let's just do an arrow check. Oh, shit. Down to six arrows. That's not actually good. Uh, let's make a back up. Oh, no, I can't. Jesus. God, there's even iron at the entrance. We'll leave the entrance till later in case a bloody bear comes past. Let's get the easy ore first. So you uh, you hold right click to throw them and you can also throw the knives. I, I did actually throw a knife uh, and it hit a tree and bounced off it and I couldn't find it. <laughs> I, I was a bit, a bit upset with that. 
Yeah, got it. Uh, you're so, uh, Kenna Bridge of Spirits, Grum. It's a very cute and has insane difficulty spikes on some of the boss fights. It's very good. Kenna Bridge. Is that on the Game Pass? It sounds familiar. Is it, is it quite a cutesy game, is it? Uh, what's that, Randy? 300 damage kills the cave worms, I think. If you're just under that on your first shot, maybe there's a talent point. Uh, yeah, in the archery skill line. Yeah, I mean, I quite often kill a cave worm with a single shot, but normally two. But never more than two. So, yeah, I, I, I should imagine you're spot on there, Randy. I bet if I switched out to, like, the fleet arrows which i think would be i think that's exorbitantly expensive though and they also have a higher chance to break than the bone arrows if i remember correctly so the fl i think the flint arrows because uh, flint arrows are technically iron ore arrows aren't they another example of where i think they just need to change the names a little bit I'll tell you what this um I know the durability goes down fast, but once you've got this unlocked, you've got it unlocked forever, haven't you? Well, come on, don't be a knob. Ah. Yeah, because I, I did use a bit of durability at the start, hammering that stone until Dicoid came up with a good idea of not using it on trash tier nodes. Yeah, there's double, I'll tell you what, the archery tree line is, is phenomenal. The ones that I really like the look of were the perks where it has a chance to slow down your target. You know, like, the, the, what, what do they call it in, like, RPGs? Uh, like a crippling shot or something like that normally, isn't it? And then even further down, there's an even better one where it actually completely immobilizes them, I think. It's in talents, isn't it? Uh, combat. Yeah, check this bad boy out. Where is it? You've got... Oh, there's one other way you shoot two arrows as well. Um, so you've got a chance for arrows to strike... Arrow strikes to immobilize targets. Only 5%, but there's another one up here somewhere. Uh, which is like a crippling shot. There's the double craft one. Arrow strikes slow your target. Three points into that, you've got a 15% chance every time you lob an arrow at it. And, and there's a chance there that you can fire two arrows so the, the archery tree line is so tempting for a player like me which is why i've kind of like stayed away from it in a way because it, it feels like i always do archery but that's because i really like archery <laughs> but th this is gorgeous man this is gorgeous that the whole skill tree is phenomenal you can go all legolas with double arrows oh it's beautiful mate can't go wrong with it Have I ever played Hunt Showdown? Is that the kind of PvE, PvP hybrid game? Where, where you sort of tend to play as like a, like a little team? You, you versus sort of like PvE and PvP critters? Is that, is that that one? Did we just ding or something? We need level. Oh, so close, level 22, dudes. So close to level 22. Um, let's repair everything. Free up a slot. I'm not going to bother with that. Let's consume, consume. <laughs> Oh it's, oh, it's a PlayStation game, is it, Des? Oh, what, was it a PlayStation exclusive? Uh, it, it is that one, is it? It's, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, I can't remember how I watched playing it. I mean, it looks, it looks all right, but to be honest, when it comes to PvP these days, it, it tends not, if it's PvP focused, it tends not to get lucky. I, um, I'm, I'm extremely lucky. Uh, and I have to remember this. I'm extremely lucky to have a chat in, in our Twitch channel that at times can be very, very engaging. Um, we have all sorts of matters. And, and that's what I love about Twitch. It, it, it's not about, you know, 
playing necessarily video games online, even though I love that side of it. Of course I do. I love my video games, but it's getting to speak to people, even if, you know, you don't necessarily agree on a particular topic. I love the interaction. You know, there's so many games that I found out about that I would never have found out about through my own family and friends and circle of people that play video games. And, and therein lies the issue, you see. If I'm playing a PvP game, I don't like playing games badly. Now, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm a terrible gamer, as you know. So I'm not here to say that I'm a good gamer, but that doesn't mean to say that I don't try. <laughs> and and the, pro the problem with PvP is... Did you just hear that? Can you hear that? Is there something in the goddamn cave? I think I'm just going to wait a second, uh, especially as soon as I'm encumbered. What, what are we going to drop? What, what do we not need? Uh, I need to drop two kilos worth of gear. Uh, I've, I've gone a little bit too. I've gone a little bit too crazy, haven't I? Um, two kilos. I get. Oh, I'll tell you. We'll, we'll drop. We'll drop some fiber. And we'll leave it. We'll just head straight back in the morning. Um, sorry. So, so my point is, if I'm going to play PvP at all, right, I, I, I don't want to let a team down by me being distracted. And you know what I'm like? I, I'm distracted all the time. So, <laughs> but I, 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 maybe I shouldn't use the word distracted by being engaged with an active Twitch chat, you see? If we're having a good discussion about a particular video game, especially one I've not played, I'm trying to get, you know, like Myth of Empires, trying to, trying to gauge flavor, you know, what personal experiences people have had, then, then that's what I'm thinking about. And, and the game is something that I, I'm playing as best as I can in the background. Um, if I play PvP games, I need to be focused. You know, you, you can't be looking at... I mean, I, I fell down a crevice in the Arctic Zone playing this game yesterday because I was too busy reading Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to play PvP, you can't play PvP games when you're not looking at the stream or your, your active game screen probably like at least 30% of the time, you know? <laughs> so, and, and so I'd have to play PvP solo because I, I, no one's going to want me playing PvP on their team because it's like, Grum, can you pay attention, please? You, you know, like, what are you doing over there? You saw it in New World. How often did people like Zar, Shades, Missy... Talc and all the other Pistaki, all the other people that you know that, that we played with, just like for fuck's sake, Ron, why, why, why the fuck are you over there? I, I quite often would suddenly start following some random other team, thinking it was our team, and <laughs> that's not even a PvP game. So I love PvP, I love it with an absolute passion, and, and if I play like over Christmas with friends and family, say on their consoles. Things like Battlefield and stuff like that. I love it. I absolutely love it. But I can't stream it, if that makes sense. It, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't make me a happy streamer, you see. Now, when you've got 20,000 people watching you in a Twitch stream, no one really expects you to keep up with chat. No one's saying, you know, oh, you're right, Grum. Oh, I hurt my leg today. And we, we have a five-minute conversation about your gammy leg. You know what I mean? It ain't going to happen in a 20,000-view stream, is it? The only time you're going to get recognised is if you drop a sub, drop 20 quid, or do a really funny text-to-speech. You know what I mean? So they, 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 there's no expectation on them either, you see? So it, it's, bo it, 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 it's a double-edged sword for me. One, I wouldn't enjoy it because I can't play the game well and I'd feel like I was letting people down. But I also wouldn't be engaging with anyone in chat, you know? You're anyway, right, Randy, you're 40 years old. Or you can play Hunt Showdown and love it. Icarus has me on a hiatus. <laughs> what? Because, what? You, oh, sorry, I wasn't sure what you meant there. I wasn't sure whether you'd stop playing Icarus because it would bit you in the arse harder than a PvP game. I see what you mean now. Yeah. yeah you're right, Bumble Horse. Well, thank you. You're right, Pixie. Beep, babies. Babies. You gotta focus sometimes. There's only 12 players in each match. Yeah, yeah. I should imagine it'd be really hard, mate. Yeah, I, I definitely. I, I, I just feel like it would just be a, a mess of a stream, really, to be honest. But yeah, you know, I'm sure it's a cracking game. I, I'm sure there's a lot of. I'd, I'd love to play things like Daisy. You know, I really would. I, I, I used to watch a lyric play Daisy. Uh, a little about the only dude I watch on Twitch these days. He, he kills me. But yeah, it's uh, it's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? 
Very different kettle of fish. Right, what time is it? 1.28. Uh, now, there's no point in getting any more iron, and I can't make a box to store the surplus iron in anyway. Now, we will be taking back... 168. That's that's like 80 ingots. That, that, that's perfect, mate. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, you might. So, so it's when you say uh, it's a hunt... Uh, is it a scary game, then, or...? or why don't I play Daisy? Because exactly what I've just exactly what I've just said, Jordan. Because Daisy really is PvP, isn't it? And you know, I've, I've just said why I don't play PV or focused PvP games. Oh gosh, yeah, you're right. I didn't see that. I actually didn't see that. Holy wow! If I if I'd seen that, I would have dropped the 18. I think. Let's get some food, Danis. I assume I can't make a bed due to what? Fur. That's a shame, isn't it? It was. We, we could have rested for the evening. What's that about Crytek, Rev? What was uh, what was that? I tell you, I did enjoy playing. Uh, they did send me a copy of the Crytek. Uh, so Crisis One through Three, I assume. Overhauls. What, what do they call it? It's like the Metro Redux Edition. They, they, they remastered it, didn't they? Uh, I've never really played the original crisis as in from beginning through to the end you know played it through to fruition i've tinkered with it and benchmarked with it as i'm sure we all have but um it felt really good actually i i, I think i might have a bash with that it seemed like it still seemed like a pretty cool game i don't think i like deep rock galactic though it, i don't know there's something about it just it doesn't appeal to me if it was for the team player i'd just go and play the division I, I'm not a big fan of Deep Rock. I think Daiko very kindly bought me a copy and I really wanted to give it a bash, but it always seems so low down on the priority list. It, it doesn't really grab me, to be honest, mate. Punch Showdown's actually made by Crytek. Oh, I didn't know that. I, 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 to be honest, mate, I, I wondered what they'd last made, so... Icarus Online, something to do with this game? Nothing at all. No, I, I, I got confused by that on, on YouTube uh, thumbnails, actually. What I did notice it was that a certain YouTuber, I can't remember who it was, had got a picture of, uh, you know, the thumbnail for, for this game, and it had got his character, and it was clearly his character, you know, very, very much looking like that, sitting down in a desert with a car next to him. Like, like uh, I don't know, some sort of, like, super space tech vehicle. And I, as far as I know, there's no vehicles in this, so I don't know what that thumbnail was all about. Oh, should we do the giveaway? Should we do the giveaway? So, right, I, let, let me let me go through this in detail, right? Because I don't want any fucking around. I can't promise anything, all right? But it, for anyone that knows me, you know I will do everything to make sure this happens. We're going to buy a copy of the game, courtesy of Script, okay? He, he gave us some money to buy some copies of the game. I can't... Obviously, with the way Steam works and everything else, look, I'll, I'll jump through every hoop I can, but, but I'm not just going to blow wads of cash just to get one person one game. Hopefully, it will go without a hitch. But I, I just want to make sure there is always that chance that if you live in that obscure country, <laughs> that I just can't get you a coffee, all right? I, I, th I think the chance of it happening is extremely low, all right? But I just want to add that small disclaimer, okay? This is not a scam. We've given away literally hundreds, in, in, for probably... I dread to think hundreds of games on this channel um and, and things have gone awry a couple of times but that's more the receiver's end where they're in chat they win a game and then three months later they come back to say that the code doesn't work and i'm like uh you know it's like 12 weeks down the line you know you're trying to get a copy for your mate or something and i have bent over backwards and gone out and bought another copy and then said sorry assuming it's you know an error i can't do that anymore i'm not financially able to to play that let's be mr nice guy so we're going to give a copy of the game away we're going to do it as a keyword raffle it will be icarus all you'll need to do is type exclamation mark icarus into chat if you win it you need to be on our discord all right that's, that's the only way i can do it because i'm going to have to sort it out after the stream okay uh and it might even be as late as tomorrow but we'll, we'll get you a copy because i've got work tonight um but I'll try and do everything I can to get you the copy this evening uh, at the end of the stream, all right? But you need to be on our Discord. I, I need to have a chat with you uh, about, you know, 
I don't need to know all your personal details, but I need to make sure I'm sending it to a region that I can send it to. And you'll have to obviously add me to Steam and everything in order for me to do that. So I know it sounds like a nightmare, guys. And if I could just go and buy a code, I probably would try that and it would be a lot easier. But for now, you need to be on our Discord. If you're not on our Discord, go over there now. Exclamation mark Discord in chat. Go to introductions. I've just got pneumonia. That's extremely frustrating. Um... And just type in introductions. At the end of the stream, we'll sort out your permissions, all right? You'll have full access and you'll be able to interact and, and DM me and all sorts. But that's the only way I can do it, guys. I, I, I'm sorry it's like it sounds like jumping through heaps. I wish life was uh, simple, but sometimes it isn't. Right, let's get this set up. Raffles. It's a keyword raffle. Keyword is Icarus. Right, that should be up and running, guys. So if you're interested in a copy of the game, I'm going to need you on the Discord, and I'm going to need probably to have a chat with you just so we can friends one another on Steam. And after that, feel free, free, free. Just leave the Discord. It's not a problem, guys. Try the G2A site. Yeah, but it's, it's, yeah, but they're not always... Yeah, but... <laughs> Uh, Dean just posted on the Icarus Discord that they are preparing architecture changes for the back end and there's a small chance the service might get interrupted without notice. What, so it might happen today, Linwin, or... Oh, scripts in chat. Scripts, scripts, scripts. I, I, I was going to say, I didn't think I'd seen you today, dude. Uh, you, so th this, is, this giveaway is actually courtesy of scripts, so thank you very much, script. Uh, that code you never gave me for the giveaway didn't end... Honestly, Railway, I've actually had that happen, mate literally things like that it's like oh no that wasn't my name no you've got the wrong person you must have sent it to someone else no no i can assure you this is my twitch name this is yeah <laughs> see back back then i, I, I was a bit i wouldn't say flush but I, I, you know i could afford a 10 15 20 pound game here and there it, you, you know it, it was it wasn't gonna break the bank but there's no way i could do it these days mate uh, he just posted it as a warning in case the game goes down. Oh, no. So, so it could literally happen. Is it like lengthy downtime, Linwin? Thanks for letting us know, mate. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice one. Uh, nice one, script. So uh, I'm just going to nip to the toilet. I'll be straight back. Um, and then we'll pull a winner. I hope you know how precious you are to us. You are one in a million. Never change. Keep us laughing, keep you laughing. Smile, have a great day.
G two A have always had a bad rep, haven't they? Thought, but to us, they're all all the same. I think the difference with G two A was G two A really aggressively went after streamer promotions, didn't they? I don't think I ever watched the stream during one era where. Can you hear the dogs going? Uh, all the big streamers were sponsored by G2A, weren't they? But the dark side of it was that it was all about credit card fraud. And it's actually far more complicated than people think. But G2A were kind of thrown under a bus, weren't they? But that, all the key reseller sites essentially are very similar. Very, very similar. Oh, Juppy, thank you for the bits. Uh, let's have a look at... Oh, I've not seen that. Let's have, let's have a re-listen. What, <laughs> what was this, Juppy? How are you, Juppy? How are you? How's, I how's hope you, you know how dad? precious you are to us. You are one in a million. Never change. <laughs> keep us laughing, keep you laughing. Oh, Smile, you have a much, great Juppy. day. Thank you for the 100 biddies, Juppy. Thank you for the very lovely words as well. Thank you very, very much. How's Dorian getting on as well, Juppy? Uh, okay. <laughs> Karmic balance screws, is that what it is? What level are we on, Dank? Uh, 22. No, 23, nearly 24, dude. Holy wow. You're right, sir. Mario, a Grimbody of the impending existential crisis of how in the holy F did the Unreal Engine manage to rekindle my want for a Matrix game? I have no idea. I, I don't know what you mean, dude. It, it was this uh, from the Game Reward Awards yesterday or something. Right, let's, let's pull a winner. Let's pull a winner. So, you will need to be on Discord, guys, okay? Um, and, and then I'll, I'll, I'll just send you a brief chat later on. It'll be around, I would have brought around, around the four o'clock mark. Oh my god, it's nearly two o'clock already. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Now, look, if it doesn't work on your PC, I don't care, all right? I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I can't be held accountable for that side of things, all right? So, look, I'll do everything I can, trust me. But uh, if it doesn't work, then you're not getting another game out of me, all right? <laughs> so I'm going to close it. And the winner is Bumble Horse. Congratulations, Bumble Horse. And can, can we just make sure we, we get the thanks to the correct person, which is obviously script. We'll see how this goes today. Uh, <laughs> and as long as I don't end up spending hours stressing out, then we'll, we'll obviously get some more copies out there. But thank you very, very much, script. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Freeze. Thanks for putting a Debbie Downer on it, mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. You little ray of sunshine, fella. Uh, you had a ray playing around with Matrix away. So is, is there a new Matrix game coming out or something? Or There's an Unreal Engine 5 tech demo on the new consoles that is Matrix marketing. So is it actually a Matrix game or is it? <laughs> something just happened that made my day a scammer called it's been a while <laughs> you really enjoy them don't you Advina? <laughs> yeah all right okay let's go it's a perfect time to leave the cave so uh, is bumble horse there you are there bumble horse you are congratulations bumble gz gz winner winner chicken dinner my friend Now, we just want to get home without dying horribly. So let's go stealth as we come out of the cave. Now, we have got pneumonia, which is not ideal. Is that a bear? That's a bear. You couldn't make it up, could you? There's a bear when I've got pneumonia. That is That just sucks, dudes. And, and like, it's exactly where I need to go as well. What a giant douche nozzle. Well, that didn't sound good. What's my... What is my actual stamina? Uh, I could... The stamina's not too bad. I could probably take him as long as I don't off it. But I, I think we'll try and... Try and get around him. I just got to remember not to pick anything up, otherwise I'm going to go encumbered and then, then I'll be dead, won't I? Not, ch not chasing that little shammy goat, is he? You watch me back into another one. Yeah, we want to go... We want to be down here, don't we? Oh! Bison. 
Alright, I think we got around him. Good stuff. <clears throat> I was going to say, if it's just a tech demo, do, do, does anyone care? I mean, we, we've seen tech demos in Unreal Engine before, haven't we? And they are amazing, but it doesn't mean the game's going to be any good, does it? It was that voxel one that I was super impressed with. That, that was just someone outside. It was just like a someone with a rather passionate understanding of Unreal Engine. Remember that um, video they did with the procedurally generated world, full full voxel. That was amazing. Man. So we want to follow this river all the way back home, don't we? Yeah, but that's it, though, isn't it, Mario? This is the whole point. It's, it's like watching a film, but it, it, it's a tech demo, dude. You know, when you start adding in gameplay mechanics, it all comes at a hell of a cost and production values. It doesn't mean it's going to be... I, mean, I think we all know Unreal Engine is going to be amazing, dude. But, but to get excited over a tech demo... <laughs> I, I wouldn't hold your breath, mate, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I know script. Yeah, yeah, we know how... We made it all yesterday. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got the mortar and pestle or anything yet, though. Well, we did have. We, we made it yesterday, script. I need the mortar and pestle to make the epoxy, which I think is sticks for the tree sap and sulfur. Then I need yeast in the herbal, herbal sort, of, sort of station mixed with the epoxy to make the tonic. But um, this is my main camp over here, so I just want to—I want to get the iron knife, and then and then I think we're ready to start thinking about heading towards the first survey radar. Oh, is there any way to get rid of the actual quest on the left-hand side of the stream? Is is there a hot button, for, you know, a hot key for it? Because it takes up an awful lot of real estate, which, which I don't need on there all the time. Does anyone know? You alright then, Juppy? Are you okay? Are you, uh, let me just scroll back and make sure I've not... Thank you for the, thank you for the bits, Juppy. Very kind of you, mate. Don't mean anything, Caskill. It's a tech demo, dude. It's, it's, it's all smoke and mirrors, mate. They're just, just making it out, so, you know. It doesn't... Anyone can make a tech demo on, on a limited budget to try making a multi-million pound video game and still have it looking and playing well. It means nothing, dude. Unreal Engine's going to be amazing. Unreal Engine is already amazing, so... You said the internet went down as well, didn't it, script? Christ, I've seen amazing things with uh, CryEngine. But uh, how, how many people actually even adopted that one? But yeah, what were we, what were, yeah, Mario, we were talking about this the other week, weren't we? What's going to be the first game that we know is being built from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5? We, we came up with one that we knew of, didn't we? Can you remember, dude? Oh, I don't need that silica. I don't need silica. And I, I, literally what I just said as well about going over encumbered look. Ender person's getting into Unity. He was excited to show me some stuff last night. It's certainly a big one still, Unity, isn't it? There's no doubt about that. It's, um, we've seen some wonderful Unity games. We've seen some very, very janky Unity games. I always get excited, a bit like you, Mario, when I see a game is Unreal Engine. I, uh... I, I, I've, seen, I've seen very small-time new developers use Unreal Engine phenomenally well. You know, it, it's a no-brainer that, that, that it's just going to keep getting better and better, but... I'd, I'd rather I'd rather see something, you know, up and running as, as gameplay rather than, you know, a tech demo. Because tech demos tend to... Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the voxel-based procedural gen one that I saw was very interesting, but actually, you know, d d does it work when you put it inside a gameplay loop? Probably not. It was oh it might have been Stalker 2. I actually forgot about Stalker 2. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, because that got delayed. What wasn't that actually due out this year? And then got delayed for some reason. <laughs> it's still one of the most bizarre ever experiences for me. 
was going on Reddit, okay? <laughs> and making the terrible mistake of asking, I've never really played the Stalker series before. Anybody got any mods that they'd recommend? Oh my god. <laughs> It was like I just walked into a room and punched everyone's mom in the face. It, it was both amazing but terrifying simultaneously. It, it, it truly was an, an awakening as to just how rabid some people are about their video games. It, it, it was phenomenal. On one hand, you've got a faction of people that would, would, would rather cut your own throat and say that you should play stalker with any mods for your fir first time and then you'd got factions that would splinter off that that would say you absolutely have to have mods these days to make the game you know a, a little bit more quality of life friendly you know the games are old but at no point could ever agree on what those mods would be <laughs> I sort of very carefully crept out of the conversation. Sort of, <laughs> the literally the proverbial sort of backing up very slowly. Sort of like, don't make any noise. Don't. don't. <laughs> it's so funny. They they really do not look about with that game. I tell you. But you know, but in the madness, in the madness, it was amazing. You know, that there were some really interesting thoughts and and explanations as to why people felt the way they did, and I kind of admired that. It's nice to see such a such a huge community so passionate, even if they actually can't agree on anything. And, and I thought that was wonderful. I, I, I thought, wow, you know, I was, I was expecting like a, you know maybe one or two responses. It was like, oh shit, I'm just like fucking stalker World War Three, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it, script. Yeah, you, you'll know if you've if you've ever asked anyone about a stalker, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. <laughs> Absolutely mad. But yeah, it'd be really nice to play the story. We did play... Which one did we play? All the way through. And I loved it, didn't I? We actually played it all the way through. I can't remember. It was... Uh, is it called a Pripyat did we play? Or was it Shadow of Chernobyl? I really can't remember which one we hit up in the end. Wonderful game. I mean, it was ancient. I mean, the game was ancient, man. You know? And it still felt and played brilliantly. Really enjoyed it. What I'm worried about is that the new Stalker would just be a pretty alternative, or maybe even less pretty alternative to Metro. But I do hope they stick to the original sort of, uh, I suppose, gameplay loop. It did feel like it was quite, quite, quite a difficult game, Stalker, to be honest. Mod Skyrim. I, I still say if you're going to Mod Skyrim, dude, and then you've never, you, you, you don't, you don't know what you're doing. And, and you're willing to actually go and say thank you to all the mod workers. So already now I've set up, essentially excluded everyone from the chat. <laughs> that that one I was on about the Phoenix Project. The same things with the Phoenix Project, you can actually install it manually. Is it called the Phoenix Project or the Phoenix? It's not called the Phoenix Project, is it? It's the Phoenix. I can't remember. I can't remember what it's actually called. Cool. But you can actually you can actually manually do that. You don't have to use Jabberwack. So you can actually go and do your own downloads and say thank you to them. What else did I need? Did I need some more stone as well? Just to make the furnace. We are getting a little bit of exposure here. Aren't we? Yeah, congratulations, Bumble. Uh, make sure you run our Discord, mate. And I'll, if you could drop me a DM. That'd be even handier because then I don't need to find you. Is that is it the Phoenix flavour? That's the one. The Phoenix flavour. That's the one. You right, Jim Dog? No, you're too late, bro. Too late, mate. I'll expect a message later, Jim Dog, saying, uh, so where's my game then? I was the only one that uh, joined that particular giveaway, so uh, where's my copy of the game, matey? Oh, we, we used to have that roulette, and then I found it annoying for you. It, also, the roulette game was fundamentally flawed on the box, because there was a way to guarantee a win. <laughs> 
so we, we actually had to stop using it. Yeah, Chippy's deep stinky. What's everyone doing tonight then? Anyone playing the Halo Infinite over the weekend? I'm hoping to have a bit of bash work. What's he going to be doing then, Joshua? So he's he's obviously very interested in all, all the tech and gaming and things, isn't he? On YouTube. What's his plans with Unity, bro? Has he got, got a little idea for a game? I know Elagon and one, one of his lands were very uh, engaged in, in, in some Unity and some Minecraft projects and even some Roblox stuff, I think. It's nice, nice to see kids getting, uh, you, you know, oh, nice dudes. 24, boys, 24. Yeah, it's nice to see really young kids getting involved in these engines from an early age. Goes to show how accessible they are, doesn't it, as well. Oh, Sasha's officially five months old yesterday and she's doing rolls on her belly. I thought we already knew about the rolls on the belly. Hang on, is this different to the sausage roll? And from her belly back... Oh, she can go back the other way now, can she? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, nice one, Rev. Nice one, Pixie. Oh, I bet you're well chuffed, didn't you? So she can do the full sausage roll now, then. Well done. Well done, baby Sasha. That's it. She'll be up and running around like a, like a mad little thing soon, mate. Then, then the real fun in games begins. Now, we want to make that, don't we, to start. Can I actually craft that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's doing the full sausage roll. So, sorry, did I, did I miss it in chat? Sorry, guys. Sorry, Rev. So, uh, you, you were saying you can actually explore it in the Mario. So, so, is it something you can download on, like, your Xbox and stuff, is it, dude? We want to make that herbalism bench as well, don't we? But then I can't make the mortar and pestle. Oh, because I need a little bit of silica ore. Uh, I've got some of that just outside the... I actually threw some on the floor a minute ago, didn't I? But that's why I didn't keep carving it out. It's got a little... A little... And you need four bits for the mortar and pestle, don't you? How much did we get? Did it tell me how much I got? Stone and stone. That's all we need. Well, we'll have to we'll have to have a little bit of a research sesh, Mario. We'll have to, have to see if we can find the first game that will be coming out built in UE5 from the ground up. Because there's plenty in production. It just depends on which one's going to hit first, doesn't it? Mortar and pestle. Right, okay. So, let's put you back over there. Let's grab you, you, and you. Drop you all down there. It's going to get a bit cramped in here again, isn't it? Um, I mean, we could make. Well, I can't actually. You, know, you can't. You can't do a stone. See, this is the problem. I can't do a stone floor because I need the the, the smelter and the anvil up to make the nails to make the stone floor. Don't I? So. That's going to have to go in first. We make like a little... A little hub. Ooh. Make a little hub crafting area here, couldn't we? Okay, right. So we want to make some tree sap. So if we make eight of that... And then it's some char... Oh, it's sulphur, actually. Um, where are there sulphur kicking about? Was there some sulphur just outside the cave? Yeah, there was. Let's go and get some sulphur. We'll need it for the oxidizer as well, won't we? 
Uh, so there's going to be some Fortnite spin-off using UE5. Um, and what's that? What, what's this UE spin-off then? I still wish. I, re I, I, I actually really liked. What was it called? Fortnite Save the World or whatever it was called. I actually thought it was a really freaking cool game. Does anyone remember um, an Xbox game called Sunset Overdrive? It wasn't, it wasn't amazing, but it was kind of cool. It was at least a little bit, I don't know, it was a little bit fresh. It was colourful. It was fun. I, I kind of liked Fortnite Save the World. I, I really did. I was having a lot of fun with it. And, and then Battle Royale became Flavor of the Month, and, and that was the end of my, my dreams. <laughs> I think Wentex has been playing something to do with Fortnite recently. Uh, we will, yeah, yeah. Well, I was thinking, you know what, I was thinking about leaving that in case we just need some uh, uh, nails or something later on, dude. Save the world, dear. Save the world's really good fun, dude. Yeah. It is. I had a lot of fun with it. I, I know it might not have been, you know, everyone's cup of tea. But I, I, I thought they were onto something with that. Alas, it, uh, it was not to be, was it? So well, we might as well smelt the copper down. Do you actually, here's a question, you get, do you actually get experience for smelting? Does anyone uh, check that? Activate. Uh, There's a lot of ingots we're bringing on board here, boys and girls. That's a hell of a lot of ingots. I'm going to get rid of those and I'm going to put that up there. Right, so what did I need the sulfur for? I can't remember. Oh, to make the epoxy, wasn't it? Have I lost the torch? I feel like I... Just have another floor torch. It seems very dark here, doesn't it? Uh... Oh, it's because oh, the campfire's not on. Right, so if we drop the sulfur in there... And then we can make the tree. We've already got... Oh, wow. Did I make eight tree sap? That is not what I meant to do. Uh, I can make eight epoxy. That's four per. That's two. Okay, that's perfect. And then if we take the epoxy and pop it in there with... What else was it? It's presumably with the yeast, right? Anything else we need to pop in there? Yeast, 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 32. Must have been something else. Uh, oh, charcoal from the campfire. That is not going to be a problem. So there we go. Looking damn sexy, boys. Looking damn sexy. So we should be able to make two of those. Perfect. And we'll leave them in there because then we'll just take them when we leave the cave. Then I mean, we haven't got we haven't, we haven't got a problem at the minute. That's coming along nice. So we want forty ingots, and once we've got forty ingots, we can make the anvil. And once the anvil's made, we've got a metal knife. And at that point, we are kind of up and running, and, and up and running very nicely. I'd like to point out. So that's stone. It is. So let's just go and do a little bit of hunting while we wait. What's the situation with arrows? 45, more than good enough. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, I, I liked, I, I actually really liked Sunset Overdrive, Mario. I thought, I thought it was a, a, a you know, yeah. all right, it might not set the world alight, but at least it was something different, dude. You heard that Valheim's going to have another update that introduces a new cave. Yeah, I think Billy mentioned that a while back, mate. Yeah, it's... Uh, that's probably the only thing that would bring me back, to be honest. You, you can add all the bosses in the world. I don't think it's going to be what will bring me back to the game. I kind of know the gameplay loop, and I, I did enjoy the bosses. But I think, I think it was... Uh, if you're not careful, you just jump from boss to boss to boss, don't you? Um, I'm doing a lot of building to try and slow the general progress down. So yeah, dude, being able to do kind of side spelunking adventures into um, caverns or actual dungeons and things. That would be so cool, mate. Like old abandoned crypts and things. 
I really liked that side of the game. I felt that was... I, and I noticed the deeper into the game, the less that happened. So, you know, for example, in the snow biome, I don't think there was any spelunking at all that I remember. Now, that was really just about sort of divining rods for ore, wasn't it? Whereas the the swamp had the, the crypts, didn't it? Um, I, I think the early game had... I can't remember what they called them. But the, the burial crypts, wasn't it? Night, yeah, someone else mentioned Nightingale earlier. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, but it sounds interesting. Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Was there anything else that anyone anyone saw yesterday that, that really went, oh, yeah, that's looking like the sexy beast, super-duper mama of all games? Did we hear anything more about the day before? <laughs> uh, any updates on that one? I mean, that's due to release in July next year, right? And it's like it's like they're trying to sell us the greatest game. It's like the division mixed with Days Gone, mixed with The Last of Us, mixed with Snow Runner. I mean, can it, can, is it even feasible? I don't know. I hope so. Jesus Christ, I'll be over the moon if it is. The day before it doesn't exist. <laughs> is it a scam? <laughs> is it actually vaporware? Is is it is it just is it a tech demo? Is it? Uh, let, let me guess. It's an Unreal Engine Five tech demo. <laughs> yeah, te tech demo. Te tech demos are great. Te tech demos are great for just even an R in, but it, it means nothing when it translates to the gaming world. It really doesn't. We've seen way too many games in the PC industry that just struggle to even run on, on super hardware. Tech demos, completely different. Completely different, essentially, construction pipeline. Now, there's, there's got to be something, right, Greg? There, there has to be something there, man. But, like you say, just is it is it going to be what they promise? This is the danger when a, when a company promises so much, right? I mean, we, we get excited, but ultimately, you know, we and they are setting both sides up for failure, aren't we? I love the idea of just being able to drive around in a car and being able to shoot zombies. It's all I've ever really wanted, to be honest. It, it's why Project Zomboid is so appealing to me, in a way. And, and let's let's be honest, that that is... <laughs> <laughs> Look, Project Zombie is a brilliant game, but it's also, you know, it's, yeah, it suffers the fact of, a, of another old zombie game. It's old, isn't it? It looks old, it feels old, it plays old. You know, it, it is for the old, the older folks, I think. A little bit of a nostalgic blast from the past, but it, it, it's still a revolutionary survival game. You know, it, more like a simulator, isn't it? But I would like to play something that was a little bit more modern, you know? Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, shit, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I, I did want to start investigating the area we're going to be going to, but I've come the wrong way. I'm just going to look around here, because this looks a little bit like we're heading into some sort of, like, I don't know, like, arid desert area, maybe? You'd be a big de-stunt, have you, uh, Jeffy? Well, it's not so much about it's not so much about your your physical age. It's just a lot of people like to play old games, don't they? But they still feel like you know they play the retro games, and then Project Zomboid has been around so long now that, that it is. It's an old game. It looks old. It feels old. It plays old. But there is no other simulator like it. Oh wow! Are well, they palm trees? Oh, let's just be careful. Oh, wow, check that out. Is that like an oasis or something down there? I think Project Zomboid with uh, with a, a small group of people would be a, a, a monstrously good community playthrough, to be honest. That a little wolf? Oh, my God, check this out. Am I, am I going to... Oh. Oh, we're not allowed in there yet. We're not allowed in there. 
we have to, I presume, oh shit, we presumably have to do the quest that allows us, because I noticed with the Arctic biome, didn't it? It says you have now unlocked the Arctic biome. I kind of like that. <laughs> that, that. That's another reward for completing the mission there. And, and to be honest, I should have got it. Because you know what's going to happen? I'm going to go in there. And I'm, I'm going to ruin the fun. We, we need to be more focused on what we're doing. And then once, once it's unlocked, it's unlocked, isn't it? God damn it. It's my little... Uh, this is what I was saying earlier about my little... Uh, ooh, shiny sort of tendencies. Oh, I never thought about scorpions yet. Oh, God. I think there could be like little little critters running around. I think that's one of the things that excites me for this because because it's you know you see it and you see like uh, you know you know nothing about this hysteria to survival game, don't you? And then you see like what the hell is he wearing a spacesuit? What's that all about? Um, I think that's one of the things. Wow, look at the draw distance. Um, wow, because I can actually see the wall that, that that third waterfall which is up along from our canyon. Like, wow, Jesus Christ! And that's the cave over there, isn't it? That we went to. Um, yeah, I think one of the things that excites me for this is is the, the the scope and potential. The same way I felt about Ark, to be honest. See, Ark's got that kind of like underlying law where they can kind of do pretty much anything they want, really, can't they? Uh, I guess that would have been part of the original design philosophy for this. Like, let's not creatively shackle ourselves by making it sort of fairly tunnel visioned in its early concept stages. I mean, we could be going anywhere, couldn't we? Who knows what discoveries mankind will make. Uh, the kids uh, disturb me, so starting to shower in the mornings after they've gone to school. Never fails a child or animal bothers me when I'm taking a nice hot shower. Yeah, it's prob probably not a bad... You can enjoy it a bit then, can't you? I can't see my cursor. Can anyone see my cursor? Oh my god, dude. Once I take my, it's probably all right if you're playing the game all the time because I'm I quit looking over at Twitch chat, and then I tend to do it while I'm carving. You see, so I hit the carve button. I know I'm going through an animation. I look over at Twitch chat. I look back. I don't know where the cursor is anymore. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? <laughs> Crumb is ancient. Yes, Moss Greg on the door. So apparently I'm not real. Apparently I am actually an AI construct. Apparently. Apparently, the original Grum was so perfect that uh, no one believed him to be anything other than an AI construct. So they created this version of me, which is like a babbling buffoon. And people easily swallowed that. It, it was very believable. <laughs> Look at these, these flickering pumpkins. I remember someone on the Steam forum saying, well, since the last update, all my pumpkins are acting weird. And I thought, oh, that, I don't know what you mean. Uh, and obviously flickering and all that. And I thought, well, I haven't seen anything like that. And ever since that patch, that's all I see now. Magic pumpkins. We found another cave, guys. Oh, wow. We had one at G1443, didn't we? So we've actually got one in... Is this FG? Is it G15? So we've got one at G1573, I would call that. Nice. I'm gonna play Halo. I'm, I'm hoping to play Halo over the weekend. My mom's actually had to come up to stay with us for a bit of rev. We've had a bit of a, a bit of a. Well, I'm not gonna go into it. Um, bad stuff again. So, we grum mums up for a little bit. So, I'm, I've got to go to Birmingham anyway. So I, I might pop in and see if I can get a little bit of game time with one of the lads on a bit of Halo before I head off to work, so quite fancy seeing it up and running properly. I've had a little dinkle, little dinkle tinkle my end. And it does it does look freaking awesome though. Right. Let's go and see what is over there. And I assume that's the best route to take, isn't it? It's 327. Let's go and see if we can have a look what uh what is coming up next? Let's make sure we keep the keep the feed stacked. <clears throat> you get some really nice bonuses from the feed. I think it's like Starkey said as well. If we can start getting some of the the better foods, like the wheat and things, I think I think that's what we do before we leave this. Oh, got it. Before we leave this uh this drop, maybe go for the the advanced cooking station. Just see what we can start making. Because I finally now know a use for yeast. 
Berries, we understand. Lilies, I've got no idea, but presumably some sort of healing. Watermelons, we know, are a nice source of hydration. This is the wheat here, so at least I know what this looks like. And it seems to be reasonably bountiful, but again, only when you're not looking for it, I suppose. I'm sure the minute we make a, a cooking station and we want to make some bread or whatever it's going to be, there won't be any wheat in a, in a thousand kilometre radius around us. You're enjoying it, Rev, yeah. Has it been playing uh, okay since that ridiculous issue with the HD texture pack and whatever? <laughs> Windows has to store out, or Microsoft have to resolve their Windows store app policy. It, it is literally putting them behind on PC. They're, they're just never going to freaking be a contender, are they? It, it's, it's just ridiculous what, what a mess of a shambles that Windows store is for gaming. And, and it's like I said on Discord... It's only because the Game Pass is such phenomenally good value that I think any of us even contemplate playing Game Pass on PC. Oh shit. Yeah, that's what I had to do. Yeah, for, for me it was... It was I, I tried all the other fixes. Um, and not nothing worked. And for me, it was the HD texture pack. Untick it. <laughs> Come out. Boot it up again. Redownload another ten and a half gig HD texture pack, and, and off I ran. And I thought, I wonder if this is going to happen every time I start the game. Up. Yeah, I'm thinking that it does, it does. It did say something about medicinal. I don't know whether it actually says something about health with the lilies. If I see another one, we'll have a quick look. I think it does kind of allude towards what what they are for. I think, anyway. You don't like the Steam Store? Uh, I, I, I'm completely indifferent about the Steam Store now. Yeah, I, I made a big mental shift. I can't remember now. So it might even have been three years ago now. Love I always Earth think it was like last I year. I need but... to lurk, finish stuffs here. Bless ya and her family. Awesome. Hugs. Thank you very much, Jeppy. Thank you very much for the bits, my friend. I hope you're uh, I hope you're well, mate. Stay safe. And continue to de-stink regularly. <laughs> Thanks, Juppy. Thank you. And oh sorry, Wario son. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's just uh, oh and cantaloupe, thank you for the follow as well. Silent Box, thank you for the 11. Nomad, thank you for the sub earlier. And Wariosun, I am so sorry, bro. Thank you very, very much for the prime, dude. You're an absolute angel, mate. Thank you. It's a really good-looking game, Ben. Yeah, it is a really good-looking game. No, no doubt about it, man. So, I mean, I've actually noticed some, some stutters for the very first time in the whole playthrough today, just in this area. I'm not sure whether that's because of anything with the game or if it's an issue in my end. But just a couple of hiccups back there. I wonder if it's because we're, we're coming into like a new zone and it's loading it all in, perhaps. But yeah, it is. Oh, there's a wolf for that. Thank you very much, Wario son. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, dude. I've noticed the wolves in quite low level. I shouldn't have said that out loud, should I? You watch a, a, a level 3,000 wolf appear out of nowhere now. They did say this area was very heavily wolf infested or the whole mission seemed to have a, a wolf sort, sort of vibe. Where's the cursor? Some more wheat up there. Look. I'm actually trying to train myself now ever since the yeast. I, I did know what it was, but you, you go past it when you, you, you... What happens is you start blanking it out because you know you don't know what it's for or you can't use it. So what happens is the lily starts becoming part of the background sort of foliage. And then when you need to start finding it again, it, it, you've kind of ignored it for so long. It just says medicinal resources. So who knows? 
We'll have, we'll have a look at the tech tree. I think each time we drop down, we'll, we'll try and unlock like the next phase. So obviously this run is to get space bucks for the knife, isn't it? I'm, I just didn't realize it's getting late, isn't it? Space bucks. You know what I need to remember to bring each time we come out, guys? Please, please don't let me forget next time. Um, standing torches. Because if I find a cave, I can spend the night in there. I feel like I, I might have to. I might have to dash back. I don't know whether to start thinking about making a base, uh, a stone base, perhaps over this side of the map. Even if I find a cave without the standing torches, what do we record? That's only sulfur, though, isn't it? Three's better than none. And there's some more sulfur, look. I, I, saw, I saw a cave earlier, but it's a long way from where we're heading. I mean, if, we, if we're going to make a second forward base, we might as well make it... Oh, careful. If the mission timer runs out, I think that's it. I think I think you're dead. I think it's permadeath, isn't it? Does anyone know? That doesn't. If that timer runs out, that means you can't you can't escape Icarus. I, I think I think it's game over, right? Uh, Schedule maintenance is estimated to begin at 5 a.m. NZST. What is that? Oh, two hours from there. An estimates it will last for a minimum of 40 minutes. There's also a long post on Discord. Oh, is this is this like what's the what's the projected outcome of this change, Linwin? Is, is this like performance? Is it is it something network focused? Have they said anything about what you know? Obviously taking it down. What are they taking it down for? Cle clearly, quite quite an important something. So something to do with the back end of the game. Which is normally indicative of like a performance or, or a, you know, may, maybe uh, an exploit or bug issue. Crash report issue. Yeah, I, I, as far as I know, that timer is what... If that timer runs out, that is the last time that the orbiting station... Orbiting station is able to pick you up. Once, once that clock is gone, it is no longer in an orbit able to extract you. And that's it. You're, you're stuck on Icarus. As far as I know. And that's your character fucked. <laughs> to be fair, I think in the early game, it's extremely unlikely to happen. Uh, I mean, if you die, you, you know, I, I could just like kill myself now and, and I would... Oh, shit. I would presumably end up dropping pretty close back to the original drop pod. So bang, you know, even if you're on the other side of the map, you can sort of like auto kill yourself, I assume. But I've got no intention of finding out. I, I, I can tell you that for a fact. Um, I need a cave. I need a cave or at the very least, there's plenty of rocky glues we could use. But a cave would be better. Cave would be infinitely better. Come on, give me a cave, guy. Give me a, give me a cheeky cave. I look, I look. Oh, is that a cave? No oh, shit. I thought it was as well. <laughs> They're changing things, Linwin. We're changing things. And we're hoping it will make things better. If not, we're really sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tomer runs out, you actually do lose the character. You can leave and fail the mission. You can leave and fail the mission. Yeah, so I I if you were really struggling then, Script, you could die to a wolf, couldn't you? And go back to your bedroll. Hope you've got a bedroll near base. Or if it doesn't, it does look like, even if you don't have a bedroll, it looks like it normally puts your your secondary, tertiary, whatever it will be, drop ships. And well, they're not actually drop ships. They're more like drop pods, aren't they? Because they, they unfold the sides, don't they? So they're, they're not like a, a, a full blown, fully kitted out drop pod. 
I, th I think you'd have to really have had your eye off the ball. But I think what happens later, I think the point is, that I think the reason why it's a mechanic is that later on there are some really high risk reward missions where you probably really do want to be playing multiplayer and heavily strategize. You know, who's going to do what? You know, a really small window of opportunity. You know, there's probably drops that are like just like one day or something like that, or maybe even less, who knows. And you have to travel maybe a large distance, or you really need to have people working together to establish a base early on. Uh, I, I guess that's the whole point in it, you know. It's, it, it's not meant to be punishing early game, but it's meant to add a whole layer of heavy risk versus reward for players who have, you know, probably seen a lot of it. No cave at all. We're really close to where we need to be, guys. Oh, oh shit, water. Oh shit. Not to mention oxygen. Oh shit, dudes. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake, haven't I? Oh, I've made a terrible, terrible mistake. Is it too uh, is it too let's go back? It is, isn't it? There's no way I'm getting back there at night. Oh no! I've completely dropped the ball here. Completely dropped the ball. We head towards the rock. Oh my god. No shelters about to hit as well. Or exposure, should I say. I'd have been alright if I hadn't deviated going all the way up to that other zone. Damn, exposure is upon us. No caves. No rocky glues. I think. Go that way or that way. 50-50, right? Uh, it's not it's not it's not a particularly bad storm I think I can weather it no that's what I meant that, that's what I'm saying scripts if you're on the other side of the map let, let's say you were all the way over here and you've only got like five minutes and you can't possibly make it back to the drop pod I, I could just insta kill myself come down on another drop pod and I, I'd, I'd only be like two minute walk from the main drop ship wouldn't I that's what I mean, even if you're stuck on the other side of the map, you know, 10 or 15 minutes worth of travel. Uh, so, so there are some that are right down on a six hour timer and there's no respawn, only revive. So if you're not playing with anyone else and you die, that's it. Wow, dude. That's freaking awesome. Wow. That is scary, man. But kind of cool. Let's tank that down. Drop that up there. Drop that up there. That's at least going to keep you going for a night. Yeah, the storm wasn't too bad. I wanted to. to be fair, this Enviro suit and these light storms isn't a major ball, ain't. But finding a cave would be nice because if we can, then this was worth it because we're in a really close proximity to set up a second base of ops to put a bedroll down but we might be being a bit hopeful I'm trying to find a cave at night <laughs> look at that up there oh wow it looks we've got one two three four orbiting bodies of some sort Oh, this is bad. This is really... I really should not be out here. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, my heart lurched. I really thought I could hear something breathing heavily, though. Come on, give me a cave. One cave, man. Hmm. 
Ouais, c'est une bip, elle est. C'est un sain, faire la main. I still haven't found one of the hidden rock caves, have I? So I still haven't seen this so-called alternate texture, which is kind of like a cave where we actually have to breach. So it's not an open cave. We actually have to breach through some stone in order to open an entrance into the cave. Damn, dude. This is a nightmare place. Keep seeing things in the distance, but <laughs> those freaking nighttime noises, man. Slowly goes it. This was a really bad idea, wasn't it? And if I die... Oh, shit. We are a hell of a long way from home. It's only, it's only 11 o'clock, guys. And, I, and I'm out of water. I think I'm dead. I, I don't think I'm going to make it. I, I have no water at all. So e even if I start heading back now, I think it's too late, isn't it? For food, I could probably... Well, for food will be fine. I mean, I have got a load of berries. So we could probably buy ourselves a short period of time. If we can find a cave just to get in there. But caves are not proving to be particularly abundant, are they? <laughs> God damn it, dude! Why did you come at night, you knob? I, I would not do well out in a forest at night, I tell you. All those weird noises, mate. There's something that clambers around on my roof of an evening, uh, and, and that conjures up images of like Wendigo esque nightmare creatures. Oh no. Oh no. What's that? Shit. What, what is that, guys? Is that something? Are they trying to get at me? Oh, man. This is a nightmare, dudes. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got a big batch of berries. In fact, I've got close to three hundred. So we've probably got a full cycle of water available. But I don't know what that is over there, man. Is this something that's trying to get to me? And it, oh fuck! That was a really unlucky throw, wasn't it? If I kill it, I'm just going to bring in other predators. If I don't kill it... Damn, 
dude. Do we just wait the night out here with some standing torches or... I haven't actually got any wood, but I have got some sticks for fuel. <laughs> it, it could be a rabbit. It, 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 for all that, it could be a bear stuck on a bloody rock. I, I mean, I'm, I'm reasonably confident it isn't, but... Yeah, it's a chamois. I'm not going to find a cave, though, am I? Yeah, I think I need to go around and get back onto that main mountain ridge. If we're going to find a cave, it's going to be up here, isn't it? Oh, I really, really, really don't want to die. Like, I really don't want to die. Uh, if we split that, consume a stack, eat some meat. Oxides out as well. See, what I was going to do was, was head along, find a secondary cave in there, and then bring all our gear over so, so we could at least make progress towards this mission area. But coming at night was such a stupid thing to do. There, there is a lantern in this, yeah. There's, I think there's actually literally a handheld lantern. I'm sure I saw it in the tech tree, dude. And I, I don't know if there's... I mean, there's got to be some sort of light on the on the suit because there is a hotkey for the Envira suit, which just says, like, light, L for light. So at some point, there must be a module you can get. How's Icarus? Should I wait for new content? Dude, if you play this game kind of like legitimately, I don't like to say that word it implies there's, a, there's an illegitimate way to play it, but if you're going to play it like how it's probably meant to be played and you're not going to cheese the game by using expedited XP game mechanics, and space buck mechanics. You don't need to be waiting for content for this one, dude. This is the one game where the content is just forever, dude. I'm only on day five, and I'm on the fifth mission, and I dread to think how long some of them will take me. I, I really do dread to think, mate. So yeah, don't, don't worry about content. There might be other things you want to worry about, but content definitely isn't one of them. And that's without all oh, iron. Now, iron's normally only around caves. Ooh, and who is that? Oh. You think this could be one of those caves where we can hack through? Or? Uh, does anyone know? Oh, God, what was that? Does anyone know if this might be one of the caves? Could it be this here? Or? <gasps> Ooh! We're okay on weight. We've got to be careful because I'm going to suddenly start... Oh, dudes. wonder if this is it. Oh, dudes. And I only knew that because the iron was outside and I've only ever found iron in caves. Holy shit. What we gotta do now is hope to God, right? That nothing comes up behind me. Have you seen the new trailer for Starfield? Oh no, I haven't, Otto. No. No, I haven't. This is Bethesda Gameworks' new 
spacefaring game due out next year, right? No, I haven't seen that, mate. Now, that one is worthy of commentary. No. How's, uh, how's it looking, bro? What, you, are you uh, streaming tonight, Mario? What, what are you up to, bro? Are you... Did you say you were going to wait to play Halo? I can't remember what you said, man. <laughs> it better be something good. I, I think they know they can't drop the ball with Starfield. That doesn't mean, you know, you know just because you don't want something to be bad, though, doesn't mean that you can make it good, does it? But, uh, you know... You've got to assume internally they are saying, like, this needs to be damn good. You know, we took a real punch in terms of general public perception of us. You know, we, we were the company that could do no harm, really. And since, you know, obviously Fallout 76, I mean, I actually think Fallout 76 now is a really good game. And, you know, I, and I didn't play it when it first came out, so I, I don't know how bad it was, but... That is a cave, guys. We're in. We're in. Holy wow, that is so cool, dudes. That is actually really freaking cool, man. Now, I need to know that I've got to run. I'll be, right, I'll be able to see, won't I? Because I'll be able to see that torch. So if I've got... That is a cave worm. I've got no visibility on him. And that's the problem, isn't it? I'm going to play the dash in game. Can I make another torch? I can. Let's craft another torch. Drop that onto slot five. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we'll replace that light. A static light. Uh, shit. Close. Uh, I've made a bad mistake. I might be able to make it. Did he still get me? He still got me. Oh well, not to worry. Not to worry. It's alright. It's my bad. My bad. I should. I should have just come out. I thought I, thought I could ride through it. We'll ride it through. We'll ride through. Because uh, we must be close to getting water. Once we get water, we're okay, aren't we? Because we've got the oxide. Then we can... It'll be morning anyway by the time. Did, did I light the torch? After all that, did I actually get the torch lit? I didn't, did I? Oh, I did. I did. Yeah, look, I did exactly 300 damage. Gentleman in chat was saying, like... Oh, shit, dude. did. That's me playing badly. It's playing really badly. I was freaking huge, dudes. Can you hear something breathing in here? Man, there's iron for days in this place. And that looks like water. Don't like that iron node there. <sighs> Cave worms on multiple angles. We've got to be pretty close. Uh, I think we do I or don't I? I'll put one down. Shit, what happened there? Oh, God, that's not what's it torch. That is there. Do 
Jeez, mate. Uh, that's all these sticks gone there, isn't it? There's the water. Did it. We made it. Okay, boys, we're in. We are in. We seem to be relatively safe, although I'm not going to... I'm still not convinced there's not more cave worms deeper in there. Shit, I just heard one. Asshole. How many arrows have I got? Whoa, what is that? Gold ore. Dude, these, some of these caves are vast, man. Jeez, you, you can make a cool base in these, couldn't you? Holy shit. Damn, and th this will be a really nice place to come and do these three missions then, won't it? <clears throat> yeah, that's right. That's what he was saying earlier. 300, 300 kills. So if, if, and I, I sometimes I'm doing like 287 scripts. So he, he, I think he was saying that like a couple of points in to just up your damage in the archery tree or whatever it is. You, you'd be pretty much guaranteed to one shot them, wouldn't you? There is, there is, um, there is a light above. When you get to, uh, I think that tends to signify that you got to the end of the cave. I've noticed it's fairly consistent. It's like a nice little visual tell. So as you come down here, you can see the light up there, and I think that's normally over the final part of the cave. It normally means that is the end, you know. So yeah, it's just a nice little way to know you get in there. But yeah, now, do we come and bring all of our stuff over here? That would be the wise move, wouldn't it? And, and what, what have we been saying? Here, Chris, is a game to take your time with. And I think in a single day, right, I could get back to home camp, pick up the majority of the crafting stations, don't need to bring the heavy iron or anything over because there's bountiful amounts in this cave. And I think we'd be good to go. Because when we get back, we, we can get the iron. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Because when I get back, I can repair everything. We'll have loads and loads of stuff to recraft, won't we? Can you craft any vehicles? Um... I don't think so, no, but like I said, what was really weird, there was, there was a YouTube thumbnail of a guy that I... I, I I've not been watching anyone else. He, he, I, I've never heard of the guy, to be honest. There was another guy I was watching do a preliminary run, and um, the, the other guy, I wanted to watch him to see how someone else did the very first mission. Sometimes it's nice. You know, when you're playing a game like this, it's really easy to overlook things like shift-click or control-click to split stacks or... Um, you know, rapidly moving things around inventories. You're like, how the hell did he do that? I didn't know you could do that. So I, I sometimes do watch somebody do like the first level of something once I've done it. And I, I noticed on, on one of his follow-up videos, there was a thumbnail of him sitting in what looked like a desert. So this is a YouTube thumbnail with, with like this like No Man's Sky-esque Roma next to him. But I, I don't think there are vehicles in the game. So no, I'm, I'm confident there aren't. So I, I don't know why that thumbnail had that, and, unless it was clickbait. What does the hidden rock face look like? I, you know what, Jan? I, I didn't even notice it as being anything special, dude. The only reason I noticed it, because I saw iron. And I just went, oh, iron. We only normally find that outside a cave. I mean, I don't know, dude. I actually thought this was it to start with, dude. It's kind of, I don't know. I mean, how would you describe that? <laughs> I mean, it, it's all of this, basically. So, but to me, that looks like that. It all looks very similar, really. But yes, I mean, that, that's a big iron node there as well. I think we did really well there, guys. What I think what I'm... No oh, sorry. Did anyone answer my question? I do apologize. Guys, I'm so tired. I, I do apologize if I'm not keeping up. Did anyone say if they knew a way to get rid of the journal on the left? You see where it says Headstone Geo Survey? Is there a hotkey to get the fucking rid of that? It just remove it off my screen. Yeah, yeah, we know that, Chronicus. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what led us to understand about this one here. 
But but it, we, we didn't know what we were looking for, Chromicus. You know, we've never seen one before. I think I guess anything that's pretty vertical. And a massive giveaway is the iron node outside. So. Right, now if we die now, it's not a disaster. Uh, can we get someone in chat make a note of J16? I mean, I think I'll remember this one, but J16. I didn't start making a note of these myself, did I? So it's basically J1655, isn't it? It couldn't be any more specific, that one. Oh, no, it's not three o'clock. Oh, get out of here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's not fair. I don't want to go. Oh, that's shocking, mate. That is absolutely shamblingly shocking. Game is like crack. <laughs> Make a bed. Uh, no, I'd have, to, I'd have to hang around killing animals. And there's, there's really no point, to be honest, dude. If we can get back, and bring over our equipment to here. We have got a really solid, solid base to start exploring. So I, I think we play the smart survivalist game here. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it. Uh, to be honest, Monstro, all I, all I wanted to do was get a forward base because obviously that to there was a long way. So we're, we're in perfect reach of both of these on a daily expedition. If we find another one, great if, you know, if we get caught at night. But we couldn't have asked for a better cave there, to be honest. Especially since we discovered it at night and I really thought we were screwed at one point. Or what, one of the best survival tips I can give anyone, right? And it saved my ass on several occasions now is... Oxygen is never too bad in the beginning missions. I'm not saying it won't be later, but Oxide is fairly abundant. You know, you can see it here. You can see it here. I can see another one over there. Wherever you are, there's normally Oxide. And it's, it also has a really nice shimmer. Uh, I don't know if that's a graphical setting, high, high thing. But at night, you can sometimes see the twinkle. Uh, especially the ground line ones like that over there. So oxide isn't a massive issue. Oxygen isn't your biggest nemesis. Um, food tends not to be too bad. As long as you've made a little stack of meat, it lasts a long time, to be honest. So for me, one of the biggest issues I have tends to be water. And all I will say to you is, as you travel, don't worry about... I mean, I know people go... Blah, 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 and they, they pick everything up constantly, spamming through... Oh my God, there's another cave right there, look. I think that's I think that's when the stutter hits, you know. I, I think it is. I think it is it's when it starts. Oh shit! And we've got a weather event coming. Is it a bad one? It doesn't look too bad, does it? So actually, that. Oh my god, we must have passed that last night, you know. Yeah. So as you're travelling, just keep picking up berries. I do, I do like to hit these to get sticks because sticks can be quite tricky to find at times. They, they seem to be a lot harder to get than anything else. Like they're, they're not hard to get, but they are harder to get, comparatively speaking, so just about everything else. And the other one is berries. Every time you see a berry bush, pick them up. Before you know it, you've got a good stack of 100 berries, and that will get you out of a bind on water. And they're also really good, constantly eating berries anyway, because they give you a really nice little stamina buff. Uh, plus 50 maximum stamina. Like last night. I mean, I've, I've probably got three st Oh shit, that's a red two. Trees are falling all around, aren't they? Oh my god. Jeez, man. That was that was worse than I thought, to be honest, guys. 
That's when the Arctic, that pickaxe there would be a godsend. So you can just instantly smash out a little, little rocky blue. Yeah, I think they are. I think the map is static, Chronicus, yeah. Which is why I find it really weird that they won't let us do annotations on the map. I'd love to be able to make a little note. So cave 1, unexplored. Cave 2, explored. Cave 3, large cave, lots of iron. I'd love to be able to play the, the sort of add notes to the map. It, you know, and build up knowledge. Imagine that map over a period of, like, days or weeks of playing it. You're starting to pinpoint crucial resources and caverns and things. Uh, your map would be... Uh, what was one of the most important items for survival? It can be a map. A map is like... It, it, it can literally just change everything, can't it? You, you know, knowing where you are on a map in your hand. It, it's one of the most awesome things ever, right? And, and to add that to this game by my map being unique to me, you know, you know, so someone in chat going, Grum, I, I, I'm, I'm, the storm's hitting, I'm going to do the same mission with you, I'm in H14, have you got any caves, man? So they'd be like, yeah, yeah, let me show you, there's one just here, you know, in H1433 or whatever it's going to be, and, and I'd love to do that, and I still don't understand why the fog of war resets every time we come down. The map to me should be constantly becoming unveiled. You know, if I started over here on my first quest, I should have a little fog of war down here, unveiled with my map annotations. Uh, that, that is my only criticism of the game, uh, and I think it's a huge criticism, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I think they're underestimating how much we enjoy cartography in games. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And, and for people that don't want to do it, that's not a problem. They don't have to do it. But for people that really want to take the time out, you know, really checking out all these caverns and places to explore, it would be wonderful. Is it really bad that the wind is in here? Yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, you can mark the cave on the map, the bad part. Yeah, you, you can't. Like, just you know, I quite often use the marker just to set a, a, an approximate direction for where I'm going. I'll put that one there and then I'll put one down there. It just, it just stays on the radar. Yeah, you have to unlock the messier. I had the same thing earlier. So it's like when you do the Arctic biome, you have to complete that Arctic quest to unlock the Arctic biome for future um, spelunks, I think. Take care, Grant. Look after. I hope you're feeling a bit bad, mate. Take care. Was that the one you wrote about, Monstral? Yeah. <laughs> I could do it. This is another thing OBS needs is a button where I can hit it without having to move a slider and just get it to reduce the volume to like 70% and then hit it again and it goes back to 100%. I think it depends on what people are missing, and I've done it, Bob. Yeah, I've noticed that if I've got my, like, my earbuds in, which you think would be better than just listening to, because my phone's only got like uh, one speaker, so it's not even stereo. Um, but if I've got my earbuds in, I sometimes struggle to hear a streamer. But if, I, if it's because it's only coming through one speaker, it's like it balances it better. So I never have a problem on my phone. See little beady eyes over there. Look. How are you, Bob? How's things, fella? You all right, mate? Are uh, you right, Thuck? He's making a shelter in the right, the right way to hide away from the storms, or does the game expect you to do something else? I think I think this is a legit tactic. Yeah, I think this is. I'm not sure how you do the Arctic biome otherwise for that first quest, because I think what you could do is you'd hit level 20 or, or even before to get the, to get the art of the fur and what you could do another strategy would be every time a storm hits would be to create a wooden uh, sorry 
a stone structure. So we, you know, because you can you can strip it down. You know, you need one floor, one ceiling, four walls, and and that and a door basically. Uh, in fact, you wouldn't even need a door. Uh, you could just lock yourself in for the night. And and to me, that is more. And again, I don't want to use the word cheesy, but less immersive than digging a hole in the rock, I suppose. I, I quite like the uh, the rock digging. Like I said, the alternative is to build a little one by one and lock yourself in there. At least this way, I'm still open to the elements as well, and trying to get the campfire down can be quite tricky. It's, it's not as easy as it necessarily looks, and you saw me yesterday, I actually breached through the back of a rock, didn't I? Which, which really scuppered me, so... So you're sore tired, but you haven't pooped yourself. Or, or piddled the bed. I suppose it's a bonus, mate. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Take it as a win, right, Bob? <laughs> no incontinence last night, mate, yeah? See, you know... Always look on the bright side, mate. So, yeah, I, th I think... Uh, I think... I, I assume it's meant to be a strategy, thought. I would have thought... Otherwise, how else do you protect yourself from the wind and, and, and the storms? I mean, I, I would still probably freeze to death without the campfire and thing there. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I've got no intention to trying it, obviously. But... Now, we want to hit. We want to hang around in a minute, don't we? Let's, uh, let's get a wriggle on. Oh, wow, well, that looked like a wolf there with his tail and his, his like, head up in the air. Is anyone playing uh, Project Zomboid over the weekend? Uh, multiplayer. Okay, we're in a good spot there. So I think we just mark... I mean, the cave's presumably there, is it? I think we did really well. See, that's what I liked there. I, I, I made a mistake. I, I, I got a little bit distracted with exploring. And we, we ended up going up here, didn't we? And, and even over here. So I actually went backwards on myself. And in the same day, I still tried to push through here. And we ended up nightfall. And I, I, I would have died, I think. I think if I'd killed that wolf that we saw. During the, you know, the level one wolf. It's almost like the game went, yeah, level one wolf, mate. Take it. And you know what's going to happen. You're going to kill the level one wolf and it's immediately going to bring in probably a bear. It's night time. You know, you've, you've only got one torch illuminating the area. Uh, I, I feel like the game is really, really, it's got a really nice box of tricks at its disposal try, trying to catch you out. Oh, where's the cursor, man? Where the hell is... That's why I need that take all button, dude. Um, Zara, thank you very much for the 13, Zara. How are you, mate? How's things? Down to 35 hours, which isn't a problem. You still haven't tested the reveal? Oh, I never went back and did... Oh, actually, I was going to do that yesterday, wasn't I? Yeah, I should have done that, shouldn't I? Apparently, some of the ravines... I think it was in chat yesterday. So someone did say some of the ravines are like deep, deep. Like as in deep, deep. Like if you fall down... Because I fell into one yesterday, didn't I? But it was only about, what, five, six foot deep? Um, maybe a bit deeper because I don't think I could see over it. But yeah, apparently some of them... Because you, you can break a leg, can't you? Yeah, I, I've got loads back at camp, Monstral. Yeah, I, I just want to get back now, dude. Yeah, well, we're doing all right with bones and whatever. Hopefully, we won't need that many. I'm not sure what this mission's going to... Uh... I, I normally always hack the, the bone out. But we're, we're a bit against time here. I do need to get back to camp. But the grum mum might be in the house. I don't think she is, though. I, I, think, I think the plan was she was coming here and then the girlfriend was taking her to an appointment. So I don't think she's here. I heard the dogs barking earlier. Yeah, really enjoying it, Zara. It's a really good game, mate. 
Uh, it's, it's a classic Valheim for me. It's what you make out of it, not what the game really is, you know. I'm sure this mission here can be done by, by someone who wants to do it quickly, like literally in minutes, you know. You land in your dropship, you get a couple of bits and bobs, you race over there, you do whatever the supply crate is, deploy it, and, and off you go. But every time I drop down, I feel like I'm back with a... I don't know, a, a very dangerous planet. And, and to treat it with a bit of respect, you know? And, and it keeps my XP going as well. And, and each time I'm learning a little bit more... You know, what, what do I need to make early? Well, what are my real obstacles? How much iron do I actually need to get that iron knife? The iron knife is a problem. So that now tells me to unlock the, the 3D printed one, which is what I'm working towards now. I think if I drop onto a planet with a good pickaxe, uh, which means I can get stone. Uh, well, maybe not stone, but I can get iron with a nice yield really, really quickly. Um, that helps me make an anvil. That means it gives me access to nails. That gives me access to stone building. Um, and the knife so I can I, I don't have to worry about you know I can kill a buffalo and still skin it from day one you know so that's going to help with skin and leather uh, which which I need lots of to make bedrolls and things so it does but by playing it, each mission as a uh, respect Icarus she'll bite you on the ass if you try and rush it I mean we haven't I shouldn't say it out loud have we? I don't know what level we were when we landed today but we haven't actually died today and we've been in some pretty close calls i mean we got attacked by bears wolves god knows what earlier didn't we uh we've come up with a nice little strategy that someone did mention i think i don't know if it was Jabosh or someone suggested about trying to swim backwards uh it works quite well actually in fact it works really well so if you've got a pack of wolves behind you jump into the bloody water And pew them with the arrows as you, as you go backwards. And you should be all right. Are we going in the right direction? Yeah. So it's over there somewhere, isn't it? You broke your leg. Really, SCI? Is it, is it bad, bad? I mean, what, what, what's, what's the time on it? Because you, you can get splints and things, can't you? Yeah, I don't want... How, how are you doing now, SR? Because you had a really bad day, didn't you? And you uh, you took a, a little, a, a very short break, didn't you? How, how are you getting on with it now, dude? That was a bad shot. I'll have a look around, make sure there's no bears. Yeah, I think that, that's my strategy, Monstral, is, is every drop, no matter how easy it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of this one. Oh, it's broken. Uh, every drop that we do, uh, at least twofold. One, don't rush it. Enjoy making a little base. Um, I'm looking for to get like the dehumidifier, which will change my cave living a little bit. But yeah, each drop, enjoy making a small base. Uh, either a stone one or in a cave or both, whatever. Um, get the mission completed, you know, w without rushing it. Uh, and, and play it as a, a legit one-life survival game, almost. And then once it's completed, maybe treat yourself to some nice unlocks. And like on the last mission, I decided to treat us to the stone building. And that feels really cool to have so much of that unlocked. And it was really nice playing about with the trap door, for example. And the ladder, and being able to have a high vantage point if a polar bear attacks and what have you. Not not sure how well that would have worked out, but that was the plan. So yeah, sort of. It, it's not just come down, complete the mission, grab the cash, and move on. Yeah. And and it is as well. You start learning the areas a little bit. Uh, there's, oh, there's definitely been a couple of um, missions, you know, in the same area, and you start to feel like you're getting to know Icarus a little bit. But I still wish that I still wish the fog of war was static, uh, as in once it's unveiled, it stayed unveiled each drop. I really don't understand why that is not the case. Purely because I don't want to make too much noise. I, I just if, if you start running around, dude, we're that we're that close to home now, and you never know if, if I go slower, I can sometimes get the drop on a deer or a bear. I just start running around like a headless chicken. It's just another thing 
you know, a survival experience, you know, running around. It's just going to end bad, man. you got to bear in mind, I'm not just looking at the screen. I'm looking at Twitch chat and the screen. So if, if I'm sprinting like this and I look over there, at, at, say, your comment, I, I could be like three feet away from a bear by the time I look back. So you had an AFK moment. Uh, I left my dude with a torch too close to a bench. Came back to your house burning around. <laughs> <laughs> I had that at the end of a stream. I think it was on Tuesday, mate. So I got... I, I was looking out the window of our brand new little thatch building, yeah? And it was dark and it was the end of the stream. And um, I thought, oh, what, while I'm doing the outro commentary, I'll just pop the torch on, you know, just so we can see outside the window. Didn't think anything of it, mate. Uh, about five seconds later, my thatch wall was on fire. Yeah, the, the I I Icarus... Icarus is... She's a fickle mistress, mate. She's a fickle mistress. That one texture, man. It's always that one texture, though. I really hope they do come up with a better ground texture. Because really how, how high fidelity everything else is. The ground texture itself is pretty pretty bad. That's the kind of thing we look at in Skyrim and immediately add some sort of like 4K freaking resolution texture to it. Uh, here's something I didn't know. If you have a water container equipped, it will cool you down, which isn't good. In no, yeah, you don't want to be doing that. Uh, have you got a special suit then? Because I've never had um, a water slot. But yeah, I'm, I was very cagey during the evenings about consuming water. Because as you say, it gives you minus 4% cold resistance. And if you've got a slot here, like the oxide... Uh, so the, you know the oxide slot? So it's constantly topping it up to 100. If you put water in there... It's going to be constantly topping your water up, which means you're constantly going to have, you said it, the cold buff. Which is great in the desert, but you do not want it in the Arctic, do you? You're right, Kabo. You've been pushing too fast a couple of missions ahead of you, but only level 15. And that would be that would be my concern. So how did you do the Arctic mission without the fur armor, Kabo? What did you do for that? That would be interesting to know your strategy with that one, then. You know the one where you have to make the acoustic disruptor? And you have to go and pick up the three components. One in the normal biome and two in the Arctic. How the hell did you manage that without fur, dude? Well, you haven't even played it. You're reading tips and tricks, Dive Boy. Dude. Dude, disappointing, bro. Disappointing. Oh, you've not done that one. I was going to say, well, I'd love to know how you survived that. That, that. that would be a hell of a story to hear. Pro probably why, then. I, 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 should. I think that mission is very much designed to say you really want to be level 20 for this one. Because that's when you unlock the fur armor, isn't it? Got to be a cave respawn. Make a bit of noise. Yeah, we seem to be alright. Yeah, because don't forget, uh, there, there is like a, a noise meter for those of you. You were just asking me about running. Bottom left uh, is, is something that's easy to overlook. You see, you've got my oxygen meter, my food meter, and my hydration meter. If you look to the right of that, if I jump look, you can see it spike. That's my... I don't know whether it's a stealth meter or just an audio meter. But like I said, you know, r running through the foliage, you'll see that go up. Whereas if you're walking or obviously stealthing, it will stay much lower. So, No, Darko, that's what I was saying. That, that's exactly what I was just saying. Um, part of the commentary on the stream earlier today was they... There's, there's two quality of life things that they really need to add. Uh, and one of them is a take-all button, not a clickable button but a hotkey button um, when you're looting corpses. It, it, it's the, the game is, is almost a victim of its own high visual fidelity. It, it can be really hard at times to see where the hell this tiny little cursor is. I mean, I'm playing... you got to remember, I'm playing this at 4K fucking resolution, right? So... <laughs> it is not fucking easy to see shit, mate. The, things are very little at that resolution. Uh, so we get rid of that. 
we'll throw in the food in there. I'm a bit spoilt at the minute. Oh, I'm dreading it. It's the, the glory days of PC gaming soon to be over for me. Uh, raw meat in there. So, so, well, I'm pushing this game, so I. And obviously we want to take that. Take that. Where's my... Oh, where do we put the oxidizer? Where's the oxidizer? Oh. Fill up the canteen. One of, one of the best things you can get, I think, is the oxidizer. I, I would just so highly recommend it. It really is wonderful for, for oxygen. And that gives me such a huge buff. It, it, it's not even funny, to be honest. And then, so, basically what we'll do is we will strip out our primary crafting stations. Um, and we'll be on our merry way. So that's it. We're, we're, we're done. We've managed to nail it. Yeah, exactly, Daikoi. Static placement in the menu would be another alternative, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. There was something else we suggested earlier. I can't remember what it was. That would be nice. And I, I actually have forgotten what it what it was dude it was uh, there was another sort of really good suggestion we had so everything just looked like shit uh can you not oh i'm not sure what's windows powershell as opposed to what i use which is like windows you know pro 64 or whatever it's called i don't know what windows powershell is mate switch to a bigger cursor yeah but why would you want to do that mate when the game looks so big but he wants a big nasty cursor yeah, that's not really a solution. That's more on the on the head of the devs, I think. Mean. Uh, you'd recommend outpost gameplay for beginners. Um, there's no there's no evil critters though. I was a bit gutted about that monster, unless I've misunderstood. So if you play outpost, there's no bears or wolves, right? And I think that's a bit of a shit way to do it, to be honest. I think it should still have the dangers. Um. I, I, or at the very least, give us the option of playing outpost with or without the predators. It seems a bit. I was quite looking forward to outpost until I found out there was basically no real risk from the more random predator events. Oh, slot locks. That was it. Yeah, it'd be really nice. And, and that wasn't this game. That was all games. Yeah, it would be really nice, uh, so especially where you've got buttons that drop things. Um. So, you know, I, I can easily drop my bow just from clicking a button. So it'd be really nice to be able to lock these in place. So in other words, uh, and the other thing is, you know, when you've got a full inventory or you, you're just clicking around and you suddenly end up with these down here because you control click them. It'd be kind of nice to, in, in a way to sort of say you can't put anything else in here unless I put it in there. Um, I think that would just be a really nice thing to start adding to these survival games with inventory slots. And, and then if you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. But if you want to, you can. You know, lock that bow. No matter what happens, I cannot drop that bow unless I unlock the slot and then drop it. Yeah, it sounds... I don't, I don't like the idea of Outpost without the threat pumper. I'm actually really gutted. I, I, a little piece of me died with that because I was really looking forward to Outpost. I thought that would be something I'd do off stream. Start building a little base, playing about with some of the shapes seeing what I could build, but but still having some fun, you know, hunting and practicing my, my, my bear tactics and things. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, if they're going to add a mode like that, at least... I, I think it's reduced XP anyway, isn't it? So, you know, maybe add it so it's still reduced XP, but maybe not as much reduced if you have the Predators available. <laughs> Parashell is a modern command prompt. So what's the difference between that and... What, what's the difference between that and... What's the difference between that and Windows that I use? You haven't really answered the question. Parashell is a modern command prompt. I don't know what that means. Uh, so yeah, a take all key would be really nice. Just play the 30-day explore missions. But you, ha you have to leave them though, don't you, Rubbers? That, that's the whole point. Outposts you can go back to at any time, can't you? So I can log out here now, go and play Outpost, and then carry on here. If I do the 30-day mission rubbers, I have to come back into the ship, and then when I go back down, everything's deleted. So that, that, that's not a solution. 
<laughs> if you can lose them, trip over a rock and wasn't there was a game that had that, wasn't there? We've played a game recently where if you where if your character stumbled, it could drop what was it what was in their hands. What the hell was that? I can't remember what game that was. Yeah, we've played something with that actual mechanic, so yeah, you see, it's completely different to what we're saying, Rubbers, yeah. I, I get it, you know, Outpost is great. I, I, it's a really nice idea. And a spe oh, we've got bloody what's it. Um, we're going to be logging out, aren't we? So what we'll do is I will again... Where's my herbal bench? It's over here, isn't it? I've just got pneumonia. So what's going to happen when we log in tomorrow? What's going to happen is I am going to essentially be having to run out of there because the cave worms will probably respawn so what i'll do is i'll we'll log out like say here and before i actually log out today i'll i'll consume the pneumonia pot so when, and then immediately log out right ladies and gents i'm afraid it's 3 30 i have to love you and leave you thank you all ever so much for watching it's been an absolute pleasure as always we need to get a wriggle on. i didn't realize how late it was thank you all very very much zora thank you for the 13 there we will of course be back tomorrow we stream seven days a week uh, monday through sunday so saturday morning tomorrow i do believe so we'll be back here quarter past eight with some more shenanigans here on twitch obviously playing some more icarus uh, all being well anyway um if you want to come join us on discord please do so exclamation mark discord in chat will get you a link to the discord server if you do join us over there just post an introduction say a quick hello post an email post anything if we see your name in introductions we can invite you into the rest of the discord you don't need to do anything yourself you'll see the icarus section and a whole bunch of other things bumble horse i'll try and get in touch with you as soon as i can i do i've got a few things to sort out and then i'll try and get you the icarus code as soon as i can um don't don't worry about hanging around bumble all right all right just just wait, wait for the message respond when it's convenient for you and we'll sort it out as soon as we can and we'll try and get another copy given away tomorrow as well if all goes well today um exclamation mark twitter will get you a link to the twitter feed if you join us on twitter you'll get a tweet like i said every single day of the week quarter past eight letting you know we've gone live here on twitch and exclamation mark youtube will get you a link to the youtube channel if you do join us over there please consider dropping a subscription uh, i have got work tonight i've got loads to do grum mum's here as well or she, she will be shortly um yeah, wow, manic. I'm absolutely exhausted. But Icarus is freaking awesome. Highly recommend it. Really, really enjoying the I can't wait to go to another biome as well. Uh, it looks like we've got the arid desert sort of areas. We, we saw a sneak peek. I could, see, I could see some palm trees in the distance earlier. And you were saying it was quite easy to spot the hidden caves because of the texture differential there. So we're looking forward to seeing all of that. And hopefully this mission is close to being complete. If all goes well fingers crossed and then we'll unlock that beautiful 3d printed knife which will make a big difference to future drops i will leave it there thank you for the subs the resubs the bits the follows the donations the gifted subs throughout today's stream thank you all so much for so much support uh, we have been saying for a long time mad times for a lot of people a lot of heartache uh, you know retro today I'm, I'm sure we're all thinking of you mate oh uh, yeah all, all my con deepest condolences retro and, and i hope the family as well as can be expected mate We'll be thinking of you throughout this evening, obviously, mate. Um, and, and the same to everyone else. I, you know, it is it's difficult, man. That this <laughs> no one seems to be catching a break right now. You know, a few people are having some cracking times, but it, it's just like the world's gone mad, isn't it? It's uh, it really is difficult. So can come and have a chin wag on Discord. Can come and join us for a seven hour stream every day. All, all lads and lasses down the pub having a bit of a chin wag and a bit of a giggle. Like, that's all we can do these days, isn't it? So uh, thank you for making my time so special. Thank you all. I'll leave it there. Thank you very, very much for watching.
Let's go, 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 let's go